Hannah Artificial Intelligence initialized. Roll analysis. Titan. Bombshell. Well, that was more fun than Mardi Gras. Born into a life of crime and hardship, Bombshell used her street fighting skills to eventually become a celebrated MMA fighter. Growing tired of a self-serving lifestyle, she found inspiration in helping the greater good by joining the task. Searching. Kronos. Your pain was my pleasure! As a sadistic killer, Kronos' savagery is legend in the lifers community. Grid search. Reason for initial incarceration has been redacted. He recently escaped prison with Baron, gaining notoriety with other criminal organizations outside of just the lifers. He is considered armed and extremely dangerous. Beginning Titan Combat Evaluation. The Titan is best at drawing aggression and disrupting the battlefield. Most effective in close to medium range and damage to multiple enemies at once. Titan's primary weapon is the Hammerhead Rocket Launcher. Loaded with airburst rockets, these projectiles can be remote detonated mid-flight if the trajectory is not favorable. Rocket jumping and blind firing in low gravity scenarios can provide increased movement speed. Additional weapons found, the CRISPR Lightning Cannon is fueled by electric energy that is practical to deploy during close quarter or zero-g combat scenarios, damages primary target, and can chain to nearby assailants. Favorable defensive tactics include the Neutron Mine. This device creates a dense field of gravity when detonated, slowing down enemies within its immediate zone. Best armed near a captured objective. To decrease distance from targets, the Titan can activate inner kinetic energy to perform a powerful leap that sends out a shockwave of damaging electricity on impact. Secondary application is a brief slowdown to those in the impact zone. A feat of instant death for any other human, the Titan's Berserk is extraordinary. The grid is currently unable to calculate the amount of electric energy produced, as the Titan can focus this energy as a weapon. Additional curiosity, this exercise is so extreme, it enlarges the subjects in both size and health. Scientific anomaly noted. Evaluation summary. The Titan excels in disruptive combat and snare tactics, and can inflict high levels of damage in a short amount of time. Also, the Berserk ability is just unbelievable, even by grid standards. Trust me, I've seen it all. Analysis complete. Uploading data to the grid. Hannah out. This is back or with another stream of art. Today is Sunday, June 21, 2020, and we're coming back to do this pretty awesome place to our Love Records fan album, which is gonna be pretty nice, pretty awesome, pretty cool, which is which is always 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 tasty. Coming pretty late, coming pretty late, so I'm gonna say sorry to the people. Sorry to the people that was here waiting for me very early. Sorry. But you know, there is so many reasons why. There is so many reasons why I was coming kind of late today. Yeah, yeah. I went to the grocery shopping today. I was waiting for my computer to restart because I don't know if you knew. To yesterday, my computer was. Once I begin, once I begin the streams, once I begin the stream, my computer say, "Oh no, you got to restart," you know. But you gonna, you can restart at 11:34. So they give me an auction. To, to to later on then at 11 something it came back again hey we need to restart the computer like a, if it is something so important so important you know maybe updated stuff that i don't even use in my computer but it is what it is everybody complaining but they don't do nothing they they just they just you know back in the days you used to click a drop down menu select the the, the, the time you wanna you, you can restart back in the days you say oh no update tomorrow you know or don't update but now it's like oh, oh you update or you get screwed which is pretty pretty bad which is pretty bad i'm gonna say welcome to the stream a6 2020 welcome to the streams i heard you coming ready to have some fun i'm gonna say cowdy joke welcome to the stream 
Cody Joker, welcome to the streams. I hope you're coming right to have some fun too. And thank you for the host, Mr. Cody Joker. Thank you for the host. Thank you for the spread the word about my channel, bring more people to the stream. Hide a pack corner, hide a pack corner, welcome to the streams. Hide a pack corner, welcome to the streams. I hope you're coming right to have some fun too. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty also. Awesome. Belushi, welcome to the stream. Belushi, welcome to the streams. I hope you're coming ready. You know, ready to rumble and have some fun too. Boss Layer 69, welcome to the stream. Boss Layer 69, welcome to the train. I hope you're coming ready with everything, you know, with everything ready to have some fun because today we're gonna do a pretty awesome, pretty awesome stuff. Today we are gonna do the first page, I believe. Yeah, the first page for our lower for an hour. I don't know if you knew. Every Sunday in this in this channel we do one page for our low breaker fan art book. It's a fan art book that we are doing it from the game low breakers, you know, where we draw the characters of the of the of the game low breakers. Like uh, the character you saw in the tray in the intro, like the Titan and stuff like that, you know, we did the banger. Pretty awesome four pages for the bangers. We did the uh, the enforcer. You know, four pages for the enforcer, pretty awesome, pretty cool. You know, we ha we had the Titan, the Titan for the for the law. Remember, every single character has the law on the breakers. We did the law, we did the whole law. You know, Titan for the law. You know, and assassin for the law too. You know, pretty awesome, pretty now, nice, pretty nice. And now we are gonna we are gonna do the the characters from the from the from the breakers. You know, Gunslinger for the law. You know, as you can see, pretty awesome. Pretty nice, you know. Joker no for the law. Pretty cool dude, you know. Pretty awesome. Battle medic for the law too. Healing all the time without mercy, which is pretty nice. Belushi's nice art. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ray for the law. Ray for the law. Thank you, thank you. It really, it, I really like when the people like it because this is for you guys. Harry for the law. This book. It's a PDF uh, file that is gonna give it to you for free. So if you like it, you know it means that we're doing something nice. You know, Bangor for the for the breakers now. You know, a lot, a lot of cards, man. The enforcers that we just finished <laughs> with four pages too, and now we are gonna do the Titan, the Titan for the breakers. You know, which is a uh, a pretty tough guy, a pretty tough guy, you know, I don't know if you saw in the intro, was killing everybody without mercy, yeah, he was destroying all the peoples. <laughs> Boss right here says, oh, that's a lot of arts, a lot of arts, that's going to be totally free for you guys, totally free, once we finish, we're going to give it the link for you to download, if you want to do a... Uh, you wanna do a teacher, you wanna do something, you can do it. You know? Uh, a lot of those characters, a lot of those car characters maybe are gonna have like a, a, another pass to make it look better. Maybe, I don't know. You know, but whatever it is, it's gonna be for you, the updates and everything. It's totally free. Just to say thank you for the people that support my stream, that come in all the time without mercy. Every time I come in, you come in, guys. So, you know, we need to do something for you guys. You know, we need to do something for you guys. Because it's a, it doesn't matter if you talk, it doesn't matter if you don't talk, it doesn't matter what you do. You still, you come in here, you support him. It doesn't matter what, you know? It doesn't matter what. So that's why I'm trying to do something for you guys. Something that I say, thank you for coming. Thank you for your support. I thank you for keeping my channel alive, basically, you know. Thank you for keeping this community alive because without you guys, without you guys, there is no community, there is no nothing, you know. So you are making possible, you are making possible everything that we do over here, which is pretty nice. Yeah, it's a lot of art, but uh, I believe there is, n there is no a lot of stuff. There is no enough stuff for, to do for you guys, for real. I'm not just trying to be nice or anything like that. It is the truth, you know. We can, I can do many things, but uh, it doesn't matter what I do. It never gonna cover. It never gonna covers the sacrifice that you do, you know. The the interest that you have for 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 the things that we do over here, because you can easily, you can get easily go and do something else, you know, you can easily go and do something else, 
I'm not coming here, but so you decide. So you decided to come to the stream and watch my streams, you know? This is priceless, basically. Yeah, this is priceless, people. So it doesn't matter. And many, many other things are coming in the future. Many other things. Maybe another fan album, you know? A video game is coming too. I don't know if you know about uh, Domino Rising. I don't know if you know about Domino Rising, the game that we are creating over here. It's going slow because of the time, but it's going, you know? Slow, but it's going. Remember that video game is like, it is something that takes more time, you know? It takes uh, more time, more stuff. So we are trying to do something that is nice, you know? But that is nice, but at the same time, at the same time, simple to play, you know? Simple to play, simple to download and everything, you know? With simple characters and stuff like that to have fun. I don't know if you like Dominos. I like Dominos, but, you know? And once the game is done, it's gonna be a pretty nice game. To learn how to play dominoes for people that doesn't know how to play dominoes and to play dominoes for people that really know how to play dominoes because this is gonna be online, you know. You're gonna be able to play against the people and you're gonna be able to play uh, uh, by yourself against the computer, which is pretty nice, pretty awesome, you know. Well, this thing is going slow, it's going super slow because programming is hard. Let me check it out my sound. It's hard. Yeah, programming is hard. Programming is no it's no easy. Especially when you have to do the art, you have to do the level design, you know, put the code over here, code over there. When you have to do everything by yourself, it is pretty hard. But the best way is to not think about it. You know, not think about it and do one thing today, one thing tomorrow. And when you when you notice you know, after a month, two, three months, you got something, you know. This thing, I did in less than a month. The, all of this, this thing you see over here, I did in less than a month. Not even. Maybe weeks. So, those days I had I had a, a little bit of time. I said, oh, let me begin the, the, the domino rising thing, you know. I, I did it, but no, I, 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 time is difficult to find, you know. Time is difficult to find. But I don't know. You never know in the future we are gonna be able to find maybe a couple of weeks and put it put it in this, you know. But if I finish the artbook, the Lawbreakers album, maybe I could do streams about this. I don't know. Because programming programming and stream at the same time it could be pretty OP for me. Lower do work to the stream. Lower do Love with you, welcome to the streams. I hope you're coming right to have some fun. It is pretty nice, pretty awesome that you finally wake up early again, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Love with you says, finally I wake up early again, like it yesterday. Yeah, that's pretty cool, it's pretty nice. Love with you, that you are making it into the streams a couple of days. But let me tell you, don't feel bad. People, don't feel bad, you can make it. Don't feel bad see you cannot make it. Because I don't want you to feel compromised. I don't want you to feel like you have to be here all the time. You know, I don't want that. I want you to be to have fun and to enjoy the streams, you know, to have fun and to enjoy the streams. Every single effort, every single thing that I do over here, my way of streaming non-stop talking all the time is for you to have fun, you know. Ask questions, get stuff, you know, Let, let's have a conversation, let's have a conversation. I don't want people to come over here to feel like a, like a, they have to, you know, to be special. You are special in, just by, by, by being a person, you are special. You don't need to do nothing, you know, you need to do, just came over here and you are helping. Just by coming over here, you are helping, you don't have to feel like a compromise or anything like that. I don't want you to suffer. I want you to be happy. You know, this is my motto. I want you to be happy. Is that This is my motto. You know, I don't want you to be like, oh man, I have to be there. If I don't have to be there, I don't feel bad with myself. No, no, no. That's the, that's the last thing I want. So, the day you can come, can come in, come in. The day you cannot come in, not come in, you know. Another thing is, uh, you can be here. 
in the in the chat you don't have to be talking all the time you don't have to be active you know i i really like people active but you don't have to you know you don't wanna you don't have to you just be there you know do your thing enjoy your content because at the end of the day you got the freedom you got the freedom to enjoy the content in the in the in the way you want it yeah it doesn't matter what i say over here at the end of the day you got you are the one taking the decision and and getting the content in the way you want it because this is uh this is how it's supposed to be people this is what it's supposed to be people yeah people i'm gonna say to everybody to follow my twitter don't forget to follow my twitter you know a pretty awesome place follow my twitter pretty awesome place to know about all the things that I do in the channel, you know. If you wanna know what I do in the channel, if you got any doubt, check it out my you know, pretty awesome place. Don't forget to follow the Outrage uh, Twitter page, which is the the application that we are using. You know, follow Outrage. Outrage Twitter. Yeah. It's the application that we are using to create our every single page of the Low Break Fan Arbus. People, don't forget to check it out, the Wacom tablet, Wacom tablet, which is the tablet I'm using, the device, you know, the, is the device that I'm using, this one, in the, in the bottom, you see the bottom? This is a laptop with a Wacom tablet, something like that I'm using. You know, it's the, it's the device that I'm using to create, you know, to create the, 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 let me put a heart, yeah, let me put a heart. Because there is no way for me to represent Wacom in emojis, so I, go, I always put a box or a, a heart, you know. So follow, follow Wacom Twitter, people, which is the device I'm using to create the Low Breakers Fan Artbook, people. Don't forget, don't forget, I almost forgot, I always forgot about the, the, the principal stuff, the Low Breakers Twitter. <laughs> You know, we are talking about the game. We are doing the art about the game, but we don't, we don't, we don't share the the Twitter almost on, almost. You know, check it out the Lowbreakers Twitter. Lowbreakers Twitter. Let me see if I can put uh, some guy that looks like a, the Titan. You know, follow Lowbreakers. Lowbreakers Twitter, which is a pretty nice place. To know about the game, one of the best games ever. One of the best games ever. And let me tell you, I'm playing a lot of games. You know, I play a lot of games. Low Breaker has something that no fifth person shooter over there has. If that thing is, the game was super fun, super fun. A lot of games, fifth person shooters and everything like that out there. We like it, we enjoy it, it's uh, interesting, entertaining, but sometimes they lack fun, you know, they lack fun. Uh, the new ones that are coming are super boring, I cannot stand it, for real, you know, because they are not like this, they are not like this, you see, this is gameplay for somebody else, this is no trailers, this is nothing, look at how cool it is, you know, anybody can pick up, pick up breakers and, and make a show, it was nice to watch, nice to play, it keeps you motivated. The only game that keeps me motivated, Glow Rocket was like coffee, keep me motivated. You can burn calories in this game too. You know, you, you're gonna be sweating. This is the, that's another thing. Any other game you play, you kinda get bored, ah, no more matches. This game was like a one more match, one more match, sweating. You know, you can feel like, man, this, this game is making me sweat. You know, it's, it's, it's burning calories and keep me away, keep you away. It's like coffee, man. It's all the time. It was like, like you want to play another one, another match, another match, another match, another match, another match. It was, it was so good that people was able when the, when the match was like a, when the people was, was not playing no more. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why people stop playing. But when the people it, it, it stopped playing and the community went, it, it was getting small, there is a lot of people, including me, that was willing to wait one or two hours for a match. One and two hours for a match, people. That was that good was low breakers. Why people stop playing, it's a lot of stuff together. It's a lot of stuff together. 
you know, the CEO, the company say something, people stop playing. The 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 coffee is too hot, people stop playing. The the my favorite esport player they stop playing, I'm gonna stop playing too, you know, you know, st stuff like that, like stuff that doesn't even doesn't even make any sense, man. Stuff that doesn't even make any sense. But what happened? I wasn't like that. I was playing all the time, 760 hours on record. You know, it's a basically a badge of honor. You know, almost a thousand hours. My 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 goal was to 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 do a thousand, two thousand, two thousand hours on the records because the game was super good, having fun all the time. A lot of friends. The community for was the community was pretty nice. You know, we we met a lot of people. A lot of very important people, you know that 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 it, it, it really it really it really give give um, and create stuff in the community, you know. Very awesome streamers we 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 meet a lot of very awesome streamers. This game this game it brings a lot of cool stuff, you know, because we're talking about Cliff Lesinski. Cliff Lesinski. It's, a, it's one of the developers that is still, he always is always around. He got a lot of friends, a lot of very uh, creators, you know, like uh, the guy is from Ricky Mori, you know. That I believe, I believe the guy from Ricky Mori, he 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 he, he put something in this game, like the 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 ball guy is talking and everything in the voice of Rick or Mori. I don't know what one of those guys. If they are friends, so maybe basically. Basically, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna say it was like a for free, but kinda, you know, kinda was like that because it, they're friends, you know, they're around all the time. And um, those are things, that, those are things that we need to value, you know. We need to value how people, how people that are pretty busy, that doesn't have, doesn't have to to be with a bunch of gamers, you know, <laughs> wasting the time. They're willing to. To came down, you know, and came down from the from the laboratories, came down from the from the places and, and give it something to the community, which is pretty nice. This is that's that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. People, it's not about it's not about making money or anything like that. People, no, no, all the times like that. It's about keeping. It's about keeping the community alive. It's about supporting the developers that really bring new things in the market you know it's about it's about supporting those artists that create stuff create stuff for you to have fun which is very important right now right now we are living in a society when people are not having fun you know problems over here problems over there and right now people are not having fun people are dying in the middle of the streets in, in, during the day and crazy stuff like that is happening so if we find somebody that is willing to put something out there, you know, that it makes you happy, it makes you forget the problems, we need to support those guys, man, for real. We need to support those guys. It doesn't matter if they make them 20,000 millions. It doesn't matter, people. It doesn't matter if they put in the time, if they put in the, the effort, the sacrifice to make you happy. I believe it's worthy. Everything is worthy, you know. That's what that's why you have to focus on. That's that's why you have to, to do the thingies. You know, I believe it's worthy. People, let's say thank you to Hasogino because Hasogino is another person that makes a lot of people happy. Maybe you don't know you don't know him, but he's a supporter of my of my channel all the time. You know, he doesn't have to come over here and support my channel, you know, because he's a guy that supports many channels, you know, he knows a lot of people, you know. He hit stop sometimes for going to all those streamers to come over here, you know. He stopped for coming for many awesome streamers that, that I knew because of him. And he stopped going to those guys and came to my stream. So when you say, when you see uh, uh, Hasegidon, please say thanks to him. Thanks to him, man. For real, I, I really mean it. Say thanks to him. You know, you know, because he's a pretty awesome dude. So you can follow, follow him. You know, he's he's not streaming right now, bro. He's he told me the other day, I'm making everything possible 
to come back to stream. You know, he's making everything possible to come back to stream. You know, let's give it some motivation to Hasugidon, you know, with some follows. Let's give it some follows. It's free. Follow with somebody is free. Give it some follows to Hasugidon. But when, when he came back, we can go all together over there and watch the streams and support him because he's a pretty awesome dude. He like to put people together, you know, he like to support the people and everything, so let's go over there, you know, and ch give it some follow, and when you see in the, ch in the chat, say thanks to Hasukidon, because he's a guy that has been basically keeping my channel alive. I know all of you guys are putting his, you know, his piece of the pie, you know, to make sure my my my, my channel keep, keep, uh, stay alive, but people, uh, Hasukidon is a person that go a little bit father you know let's say thank you to those people like has they, they go like a one step forward you know with the support subscribe to my channel for oof, two years and two months you know giving the beats giving the hoes giving the stuff so you don't have to do it but if we find somebody like has doing it let's say thank you to him i thank you it's, it's nothing you know thank you it's free you say thank you it's nothing it's not something that is going to compromise or anything like that people this is the schedule for the next week this is the schedule for the next week tuesday we are going to be playing space lords in june 23 wednesday june 24 we are going to be playing Apex legends again you know, Thursday, June 25, we're gonna find, we're gonna play Fly Fly Time, which is a game from an indie developer, Simos, Simos Studios, you know, which is pretty nice, pretty awesome dude over there. Uh, Friday, we're gonna play uh, June 26, uh, that David, David that is a game created for I, I, I always forgot the name though, of the developer because the developer has a pretty complex name, <laughs> yeah, pretty complex name. Let me see, let me see the beat, David. Yeah, the, the, the developer is Fermenter. Yeah, Fermenter games. Fermenter games too. So those are indie developers. It's not like a we are gonna, con we, it's not like a we are gonna string indie games from now on. It's like a, that is, those, those two games are pretty, Pretty nice game from indie developers. I want to show you guys so, so you can support them so you like it. You know, there is other other uh, there is other indie games I want to show. You know, so from time to time we are gonna popping up some couple couple indie games from time to time so you can you can check it out. You know, Saturday June 27, Space Lords again. This is gonna be a long stream of Space Lords. You know. And then Sunday, June 28, we are gonna come back to the another page for our Lebrek finale, which is gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be pretty awesome, and I hope, I hope you like it too. I hope you like it too, which is, it is, it is basically my goal, my goal, go, go, go in this, in these streams. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty cool. Yeah, people, let's jump in. Let's jump into the oh, to the stinky, stinky card. People, stinky card, 200 points only. 200 points only. You know, um, I believe uh, we're gonna keep in 200. You know, we say like, oh, maybe next month we're gonna do 300, but I, I don't believe, I don't believe we're gonna go 300. I believe we're gonna keep it. Uh, 200 at least for the next month you know we this month is almost finished you know this month is almost finished could be that the next month uh, pretty sure pretty sure we are gonna keep uh, we are gonna keep uh, uh, in 200 see something happened maybe the 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 month after tomorrow <laughs> yeah Maybe the month after tomorrow, see something happens. Is 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 gonna be the month that maybe we're gonna uh, do something something about. But don't 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 worry. You know this month and maybe next month, nothing's gonna happen. With we are gonna keep it 200, 200 points because I don't know if you know. I don't like I don't like to be changing stuff all the time, especially when. Especially when the people are having fun. <coughs> Sorry. 
especially when the people are having fun and everything is working good I don't like to be changing prices and stuff like that but yeah yeah so don't 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 worry it's gonna be 200 points this month maybe, maybe next month but I believe yeah next month is gonna be 200 too I'm gonna make sure it is like that you know because we make a review we check out the numbers if the numbers are too high we need to uh, I'm sorry but we need to put a to raise a little bit you know the price but see the numbers are good the numbers are not that high we we keep it like that you know it all depends it all depends on the support too you know it all depends on the support too so the more support the price can go up man we're talking about five bucks and right now but maybe in the futures depending on support could be 20 or 25 i don't know what is the next thing yeah, 10, could be 10, 20, 25, all depends on the support of the people, you know? So you, you know, all depends on the support. See, see, I see that people are supporting pretty good, you know, I put it up. See, I see that there is no, um, a lot of support, just keep it like that, you know? Just try to, to give it something to the people, to say thank you to the people that come to uh, the stream. Yeah, people, we are gonna do the first page for the Titan. Now that we finished our four pages for the Enforcer, you know, and uh, we are doing pretty good, you know, we are going, we are doing, even though we skip a couple of days, you know, and we're coming kind of late today and everything, we are doing pretty good. We, uh, 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 yeah, but you don't want me to hear rambling all the all night long. I had to do this one super fast, people, because it's, se it's almost seven in the night, seven in the night. We still no, no begin, you know. We still no begin. Supposed to be at five. We had two hours. Two hours, you know. Well, the first hour is because I was doing grocery shopping. I tried to come by early. I tried to come by early. But it was impossible for me to come by early, you know. I don't have no car, so I had to, I had to uh, use a taxi and everything, a cab, in order to come back home. So it takes right now with this thing that is happening, they taking so much time. You call it, it they take even half an hour. That that guy, that guy that I called, it, it took like a one hour to okay? come. Maybe you say why? Because it's supposed supposed to be better now. No, you know. Let me tell you something. The logic, the logic tell everybody that's supposed to be better, right? Like oh everybody's in the house. Uh, uh, you know when they go out, maybe they don't wanna go in their own cars. Oh, I don't know. You know like in times of crisis like this, service like taxi stuff like that are the ones that people use a lot. You know for many for many reasons. Like in these times like this, you can expect it to be like a you know, uh, people using more taxis and more stuff like that, but it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Like people work less in these times, right? Like uh, right now, it's better to oh, you go to some place, you don't have no car. It's better to use a taxi, not go walking or anything like that. You know, and now, especially now in summertime, the the sun is pretty crazy. It's pretty hot. The sun is pretty hot. You know, so you can expect people using more taxis and stuff like that. But let me tell you, it's not happening. It's not happening, man. Like nobody's nobody's working. Like taxi taxi stuff, it's not working. No, it's, they're not working. They are in the house, you know, uh, because a lot of them can can collect. You know, they don't have to work to get money, so they are in the house. You say, and you call a taxi, it takes forever, forever. The guy the guy came in, said, "Man, there's nobody." I, it's only me. There is nobody else working. You say, "Well, really, dude? Yeah, yeah. They are in the house. You know, taking it easy, getting the money in the house and everything." Because over here in USA, over here in USA, a lot of people can kind of get money. You know, so you're not working, you can go to the office and get money, stuff like that. You know, I don't know a lot about that because I always working. I always work. I live over here in USA too. But I always working. I never stop working, man. And in 13 years I had in this country, I have been working all the time. You know, 
Uh, the only days I don't work is, is my vacations, you know. The only days I don't work is my vacation. Uh, after that, I always had to be working, man, doing something. Yeah, I am the kind of person that always doing something too. You know, it's not just it's not just the that I have to. You know, it's like a, I I really like it. I really like to be doing something. You know, that's why. That's why we're doing the, the, the streamings and the low break of an hour and the video game. In May, I got a, I got a job, 10 hours job, you know, every day. Yes, on top of that, I want to do the low break of an hour and want to do the, yeah, want to do the, the video game, you know, stuff like that. Because I am like that. I always busy, man, doing things. Yeah, but a lot of people, it's not like that. A lot of people. A lot of people they see the opportunity to not work. <laughs> a lot of people say, "Oh, I can be my house getting money." I'm not gonna go nowhere. <laughs> you know, they don't go nowhere. They gonna stay in the house. They say, "No, no, no, I'm gonna take this opportunity to be with my family and everything." We should understand it. It's understandable too. You know, I'm not gonna say that they are lazy or anything like that. You know, a lot of people. They work, they don't see their family, they don't see the kids, they don't see their wife, you know, sometimes it's one day, one day in a week only, sometimes they only see the, the wife and everything, so, which is kind of crazy, kind of crazy if you ask me, yeah, it's super crazy, so these days I did, they take, the, they take the time, they take the time to be with the families and everything. Super crazy stuff without mercy. Yeah, people. Yeah, people are gonna go a little bit faster with this one because I don't wanna to be one o'clock in the night. You know, you know me. I don't wanna be one o'clock in the night talking about jazz, yelling at the screen because people over here in the house they all work. Everybody works over here. So at that time, 12, one o'clock in the night, people are getting ready to go to, to go. To, go to work you know or they are going to the bed to sleep because in the morning they had to wake up in the morning and go to work if I continue uh, rambling you know after 12 one o'clock in the night what's gonna happen they're gonna come in my attention they're gonna say hey dude you, 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 you still over there doing the streamings you know the work is for I was gonna say yes you gotta do something, man, because I gotta go to work. I need to sleep. You talking loud, you know. I don't want that happen. It didn't happen yet. It didn't happen yet. But you know, common sense, common sense tells me that could happen at some point. So that's why I don't like it to stream past twelve, past one. That's why you see. That's why you see my streams. My stream from Monday, from Tuesday, from Tuesday to. My stream from Tuesday to um, to Friday. My stream from Tuesday to Friday. I mute. You know, I'm not talking on those days. You know, that's why. That's why I don't talk because I don't wanna. You know, I don't wanna wake up people. Wake up people. I don't want that. You know, that's why. It's not like I don't wanna talk. You know, I know. You know me, man. I wanna talk. I wanna say stuff. But at that time, at that, at that time, I cannot be doing it. That's that's what it is. That's why. Uh, let me say this thing, man. Because if you don't save, they save for you forever. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna da, do that. Breaker one. Titan breaker one. Whoa yeah, I don't want the. The computer server for me because it get deleted. It got deleted, you know. See if I if I don't save it. Remember, people as always, uh, the final product is not gonna look like the original. Maybe close, but not like the original because we want them to do our own, our own uh, version of the Titans, you know, our own version of the Chronos. We don't want to copy the original or anything like that because it's not fair, you know. Those those developers put a lot of effort, money, money, <laughs> you know, a lot of money. Watch it, welcome to the stream. Watch it, welcome to the streams. Watch it, your fire. 
I hope you're coming ready to have some fun, which is pretty nice, pretty awesome, pretty cool. Thank you for your support. Thank you for coming to my streams. You know, MBE 2016. Welcome to the stream, MBE 2016. Welcome to the streams. I hope you're coming ready to have some fun too, which is pretty nice, pretty awesome, pretty cool, pretty good. Watch it says until what time you will be streaming today? Oh, maybe we're gonna be streaming until 1, 12 or one in the night. Pretty late. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty late. Maybe one one is gonna be like uh you know the the time. Yeah, that's why I'm going kinda fast today with the drawing thingy. Because I don't wanna be at that time. Uh, gelling at the screen because it's not good. It's not good. It's not good for me to be talking at the time when the when the people are sleeping, trying to sleep or go to work and everything. Second name, welcome to the stream. Second name, welcome to the streams. It's pretty nice, pretty awesome that you decide to come to my stream to give you support, Mr. Second name. <laughs> yes. Thank you for for your support. I hope you coming ready to have some fun. <laughs> I hope you. <laughs> no, watch it. This is not this is like that. Oh my god. Second day, welcome. <laughs> I hope you call me right to have some fun. <laughs> you got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, people. That's what it is. That's it. Second day, you love with me, bro. you my friend. No, no. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not about you. It's, so, it's something that <laughs> it's something that <laughs> it's something that happens over here in my screen. No, no, it's not you, man. Second name, you're my friend, man. You know me. You know me, man. We're here to have some fun, man. We're here to have some fun to be happy. So don't be happy, man. <laughs> Thank you for coming, second name. I really appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. Your support. Yeah, that's what it is. We're gonna be here until one, maybe. Yeah, and this is gonna be our own version. Remember, people, that we are not trying to do the MBE. He is always love back. He's just a happy guy. Oh yes, let me tell you. I always try to have fun in some way, shape, or form. Don't feel bad because I laugh at the same time. Something happens, or oh, when I try to say something because um, uh, it's like that. You know, I try to have fun, man. I, I I work every day, ten hours, ten hours every day. When I came to the streams, I forgot about everything. I forgot about everything that's happening in the world, about everything that's happening in my life. I'm keen, I'm keen to have fun with you guys, you know. I know. Don't take it, don't take it wrong. Don't take it wrong because it's not about you. It's, 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 it's always. Sometimes you see something in the screen. Sometimes somebody says something. I came from another country, so there is a, so many words and names and stuff, you know, that that in my country it means something else. You know, it means something else in my country. Sometimes it. Because they're different on language, the language are different. Uh, some names for my country are pretty funny, but it's because the it's because the it's because the the difference of language sometimes. MBE says I appreciate it. No, I, I appreciate that you you understand. MBE 2016 too. What's the three or five? Say I'm here to work at 3 a.m. So I will give you a ring. A ring if you are still up. Oh yeah, that's okay. Watch it. That's okay. You can you can call me so we can talk. Yeah, I'm gonna be over here. You can tell. You can you can give me a ring. MB 2016. This is really a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I really like it. I really like it, the drawing, the characters of the of the game, for many reasons. You know, Love Rocket was one of my favorite games. It's still, one of my favorite games. Uh, people that didn't play the records didn't know 
didn't know what they were missing, you know. It was a lot of people trolling the community, you know, talking bad about the game, talking bad about the developer. Instead of playing the game, because, dude, people, see, you come into the gaming community, you're supposed to have fun, you're supposed to play the games. How you come into the gaming community and not play the games? So that for me, for me, that doesn't make any sense. And a lot of people spend a lot of money in the breakers I didn't play. A lot of people bought merchandise. A lot of people spend a lot of money in the breakers didn't play. So that, that that doesn't make any sense to me, you know. NBA, uh, watch the trio says Gotta hit the sack. Oh yeah, man, you gotta sleep. You gotta sleep. You working in the night? You gotta sleep, Mr. Three or Five. I don't even know how you make it. How do you stay awake at this time? I don't even know how you stay awake at this time, man. For real. You gotta. <laughs> Second knee. <laughs> Second knee. Say hello. Don't worry. I know why you laugh. Second knee. Are you Spanish? Are you Spanish, Second knee? Because if you're Spanish, you maybe understand. Si you are no Spanish, maybe you don't understand why. It's because the name. The name in my country is like a something fun. Your name, it sounds like a something fun in my country. I'm Spanish. In Spanish, the name is like a fun stuff. Oh, you are. <laughs> you are Spanish. Oh. Yeah, but it's because the name. <laughs> what? Second name is low. Don't worry. I know why you're laughing. MBE to SST. Bye bye, watcher. Yeah, thank you for coming, watch it 305, thank you for your support, really appreciate it, hoping, hoping we can talk tonight, after the streams, yeah, it is pretty awesome, it's always awesome to talk to you, I said watch it 305, second name, say ha ha, see, <laughs> watch it 305, I'm a trucker, guys, delivering all that crap, you guys order like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> have a good night, fellas, yeah, thank you for coming, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming, Washer 305. Yeah, to Washer is a, is a guy, a very important guy, part of the system. Without him, without him, is not able, you are not able to, to get your stuff, your PlayStation 4s and your computers and your, your video games. Yeah, he goes around and around. Yeah, I don't know how he, he managed to be awake because he's supposed to, he work over time, overnight. So I don't even know how he managed, how he managed to stay awake at this time, man, for real. What she says, have a good night, fellas. Second name, good night. What she, and you're in life. <laughs> Watch it to find your last post. <laughs> what the? Oh my god. What's happening over here today? <laughs> yeah, hoping to see you soon, Mr. Watch it to your Hoping to see you soon. Which is pretty nice, pretty awesome, pretty good. Yeah. People, yesterday was a pretty awesome uh, day. It was a pretty awesome day. We were doing the, we were doing the the Common and Conquer, Tibetan War stuff, which is a pretty awesome game. We played a lot of Common and Conquer yesterday. It's a pretty awesome game. But unfortunately, my computer tried to to play a, you know, play play pretty crazy with the restart, and we had to. I don't know. I really, yeah. This, I really, this is the last moment. This is the last moment. You're gonna see when the when something popping on the screen, telling me that I had to restart my computer. So that's why I had to. I only did like a five hours yesterday. But let me tell you, I was having so much fun with this game. This game is hard. This game is hard. Anybody that play this game in easy or normal or medium? Look, you see. You see that thing in the middle of the screen? It's the computer telling me, oh, you need to restart. Basically, my computer was the one that, that decide, you know, when my, my stream is going to finish. Today could happen the same thing. Today could happen the same thing. I give you 
I give it to my computer today like a 40 minutes, 40 minutes before we gain the strength because I didn't want it. I didn't want it, you see? That's what happened. That's what happened, man. That's that screen in the middle of the screen, that thing in the middle of the screen. Today I give it 40 minutes because I don't want that, that to happen. Watch the 305 says, you have no idea, these people these people order, man. Some people try to be discreet, and here I come with a giant ball that sells something. All right, good night. <laughs> you see, people. All right, Washington well, Seven. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. It's pretty nice, pretty awesome to have you here. To have you here. I hope you come in. I hope I hope you come in soon or. <laughs> Uh, 307, 305. <laughs> What's it 307? I said 307. Oh wow, I didn't didn't notice. Yeah, happy to have. Uh, hoping to come to, to to talk to you tonight after the stream. Yeah, as you can see, people, you see the the, the thinking they put over there. Pretty crazy situation. We're trying to enjoy, enjoy the game, and the computer basically tell everybody, no, we are not gonna play, you don't wanna play no more, you know. This game was super awesome yesterday. We were uh, playing it, and the graphics is pretty good. The graphics is pretty, pretty, pretty good. And we had a lot of, a lot of fun. Watch the three five says, let it, brother man, let it, brother man. Yeah, I hope, I hope to talk to you tonight. So, uh, hoping you have a good rest, a good rest tonight, yeah. Sleep up well because you you, ha you don't have a lot of hours to spare. Yeah, I hope you sleep well so we can, we can talk after the streams. Um, if you have a, uh, you can work better, if you can work better too. Yeah. This, uh, this is this common conquer is about conquering uh, points, capturing points, and, and doing things, killing the enemy without mercy. You know, you know, build you build stuff, but it's a uh, defenses mostly, most of the time defense. The game has a, a little box, a little glitches like this. When you see <laughs> how the guy is like a graphical stuff, like a, like how the guy is like a, trying to help me. Trying to heal, healing me, but he's healing the building, I believe. <laughs> it's little stuff like that. Like you had to babysit your own units too. You had to babysit your units, which is could be, could be a cause why people stop playing this game. You know, you need to ba babysit your units over here. You need to be watching your units, moving it all everywhere because they, they don't seem to take decision by themselves. Sometimes they getting hit by the enemy. They just doing nothing over there. Just taking the the taking the bullets. You know, it is kind of crazy. Uh, it, that could be a that could be a, a reason why people stop playing the game. But it just still holds it. The graphics are pretty nice. The music is pretty awesome. Yeah, I could they could use better music. Since you compare the music with this one. And the music, music for the old ones coming and conquer. The old ones coming and conquer has a pretty nice, awesome with a lot of energy kind of music, you know. But this one has like a more orchestra, more symphonic, symphonic music, which is uh, it is good. It's good music. I'm not gonna say no, but it doesn't excite you. It doesn't give you the excitement, you know. I believe that's because the Lord. The lore of this common and conquer is pretty sad, you know. It's about family. It's about you know face you face your enemies uh, face to face. Um, maybe it's like a face your enemy face to face, or not to fight. It's like a to be friend in order to complete in order to complete something else. You know, it's like a lot. Let's ally with this guy. That, so you understand? It's like a more. It's more like a. This guy has been bothering me all the time. It's my neighborhood. It's my neighbor. It's always uh, 
you having problem with me? But let me let go over there and talk to him, you know. Not to tell him to stop or anything like that. Not to say, you know, let's share with the with the enemy. We, we, let's talk over there. Let let's get a, a, a peaceful solution. You know, it's 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 a very it's, it's, it has a kind of sad but a more uh, more humane uh, mo uh, uh, lore a history where everybody everybody is like a. Everybody's like a, a, you know, getting down. You no, know, uh, how how can I tell it? Being like a more sweet with with each other, you know. While everybody is trying to resolve his own problems, you know, it's, it, it has a pretty deep history, you know. The first thing that happens, the first thing that happens is when the enemy, King, one of, one of the enemies, go and talk, you know. He 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 stopped he stopped the the attack to 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 the other countries and basically make a pact with the with the with the other countries you know that's that's a pretty it's a pretty touching kind of kind of yeah it's a pretty touching kind of kind of history you know when everybody. I stop doing what they what they supposed to do. Um, you know, no flags, no borders. Let's get together because there is a there is a bigger problem. You know, let's get together. Bigger problem. Basically, basically, I don't know gonna say that like like uh, they they kind of they kind of predict the future. You know, like uh, oh, there is a bigger problem. Let's get together and resolve. You know, let's get together. Where the people that has the differences with our enemies and get together and resolve this problem. It's basically what is happening right now with the with the with the situation that there is a bigger problem that is affecting everybody. And we need to be together in order to resolve. You know, that's how we begin the game. You know, uh, you can see the enemy coming to the other guys that are not, that are supposed to be supposed to be the the other countries together you know and everybody's like uh wow this guy so he is it's incredible this is not, you know everybody's like this is madness that, that's what the, the the lady said this is madness like nobody believes that king itself is there to propose to everybody let's get together and resolve this problem that is affecting everybody, you know. This is basically EA. EA kind of predicted the the future right there with this game, which is that's why that's why this Common Conquer has a. Even though it's not the the, the Common and Conquer that I really like it, but it's one of those Common and Conquer that, that I consider are very special, you know, because the the things that happen, you know. This is the enemy. This is King. Can go over there and talk to the people. People, let's get together. You know, let's do something because there is a there is a power that cannot explain. That's why he showed them the sphere to tell them, dudes, there is something more that we don't understand. It's more powerful than everybody over here. And we need to be together. You know, we need to get together. That's why in this in this command and conquer, you see chips flying. She's, you see ships flying in the in the space and everything because it's, a, it's basically telling to the people this is not your common military uh, strategy again, no? This is something else. We need to be together. That, well, the thing that I don't, I don't understand is because I, the thing that I don't, I don't understand in, in this common and conquer is like, a, okay, Kane and you get friends but you're still playing you still playing against Kane I believe <laughs> or, or, the, or, or it's another fashion it's kind of confusing in that, in that part second names lots of remakes and remastered this year yes yes I'm playing this one because I didn't have the other one <laughs> yeah I got the other one but not the remaster not the remaster but but it is It is pretty good, you know. 
It is a pretty good. Let me see. Let me see. It is a, a still pretty good game. Yeah, the remaster is like a, the first one. I got the first one. Not remastered or not, but I got the first one. But I didn't want to play the first one because the first one, it's kind of simple strategy game. This one is like the last one. Belushi. Belushi. Congratulations on the redemption, Belushi. I hope you can get some loot. I hope you can get some games. Yeah, congratulations on the redemption, Belushi. Yeah. Yeah, second name, they, they have a lot of... They have a lot of remakes. Because you know what, second name? They kind of owe it to the community. They kind of owe it to the community. I'm going to show you why. You know, that's why I, that's what I like people talking. Because in that way, I can show you stuff. I'm going to show you. Maybe you know about that. Maybe you know. Come on and conquer. Maybe you know about this. You know, maybe you know about this. This is a game that everybody was waiting for. If they announced it. If they announced it many years ago, eight years ago. You know? If they did it, it before release, during the development before release, I believe it was like a the close beta. In the close beta, they decided to cancel. You know, it's supposed to come in 2013. Supposed to, but they canceled the game. You know, they say they say like oh the people didn't like it. The people didn't like it. What we did and stuff like that. Like like dudes, you're supposed to give it the game. You know. It's supposed to give it the game, but look at how cool it looks. I don't know why they canceled. You know, I heard it was like a the business model, the business, the business model that he was using. It was like a free to play. So the maybe the microtransactions. They cannot say like it's not gonna have microtransactions. It's gonna have another system, but. I don't know, man. It looks like the guys that were playing the close beta didn't like it for some reason. Like, it looks beautiful, the graphics and everything, but when you play the games, when you really know, you know, when you really know how the game is gonna be. But, I don't know, EA, every time EA touched the Command and Conquer, it's like a. It's something that they don't want to work on it. They don't want to touch the Common and Conquer. You know, I know Common and Conquer is kind of controversial because it really has like a, you know, countries from the Middle East against Russia, against China, against USA. Could be a touchy subject. You know, it could be a touchy subject. But, but I don't believe that it's it's a it's the cost to not work on that. At the franchise, the community, Common and Conquer community is huge. Common and Conquer community is huge. It's a worldwide phenomenon community. You know, if they don't wanna, they don't want the money. It's like I don't know, we don't wanna. It's kinda like they don't want it. But that's that. That's what I look like. That's what it looks to me. You know, it's, it's a speculation. It's just a speculation. You know, that's what it looks to me. That like they don't wanna touch the Common and Conquer situation. But it's crazy. Belushi, bro, change your gamer, I, or you can bang. Oh, no, that's okay, that's okay, Belushi. That's okay. Second name, did you see the EA player, man, the other day? Did not like it, expected more, honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. But... They cannot do announce uh, anything good. The the Apex Legends stuff, the Apex Legends stuff uh, was good. The Apex Legends stuff was good, but I don't know. It was like a an 
another season yeah another season is new con some some new stuff but well they have to they have to they have to show they had to basically show us something from the games they have there but a skate a new skate is coming you know cross platform for apex legends and stuff like that because uh, I didn't like it because it's something it is something that they kind of have to they, there is everything they show is, is stuff that they have to show you know it's like uh, oh content for Apex Legends uh, a new game but nothing was spectacular nothing was like a like a, oh new IP new interesting IP or anything like that even the, the little thing that they show for Apex Legends it was like a lackluster in my opinion yeah yeah it was okay I'm not gonna say it was bad it was okay and the 16 said it was okay yeah yeah, nothing is spectacular, but you know, it's the stuff they treat it. They treat it. They, they, that's supposed to be like a eight, a E three kind of stuff, right? They treat it normal, like a like a, a normal announcement. That's what it is. That's why people didn't like it. I, that's why I didn't like it a lot either, because they treat it like a normal announcement. Oh, people, we we got these things, these new things. That's it. You know, it wasn't like a E three presentation at all or anything like that. You know, it was like a Oh, it's, I don't know, it was like a super, super simple, super simple, that was super simple, yeah. Second thing, it says, um, Cyberpunk 2077 got delayed again, yes, yes, man, a lot of people sad, I'm sad too, but at the end of the day, it's necessary because Cyberpunk 2077 supposed to be like the real game, the real table game with the deep with the deep of the real game you know plus be realistic like a you know be realistic like a how 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 the future is gonna be for CD Projekt Red or something like that like a, you know have that real vision from the from the from the franchise that always been like a in a board game and, and books and stuff like that you know people have been fleshed out fleshing out the, the, the universe through, throughout the years from many many years ago you know we took it that game is like a, from the 70s I believe 80s something like that a long time ago they created our universe so they had to they had to make something that it really is good you know that really people look and they say wow man because that that game that board game has been around for a long long time you know and people are expecting so you wanna make a video game for something like that that has a huge community too you know maybe not you maybe not me because that's an old game you know maybe our fathers <laughs> something like that you know and you can see the developers are the develop the developer uh spawn mr Pondsmith. i don't know how they call it the, the first name john spawn something like that uh, the developer of the, of the of the of the game and everything the guy is, is no it's no it's not a little guy it's me it's let me see let me see cyberpunk cyberpunk the name always always mike spawn me yeah mike is mike spawns me that guy's no that guy's no a little guy you know that guy is is a can be my father <laughs> you know is we talking about a guy that, that has many years you know he's not he's not a little guy but he was a basically one of the creators of the, of the whole cyberpunk movement you know because his game his game cyberpunk was basically one of the one of the first ones that that created the movement the cyberpunk movement you know um, uh, yeah, it was it, it was more stuff 
you know, you got Blade Runner. Blade Runner, I believe, is older than Cyberpunk as a like, as a franchise. You know, you got Blade Runner. You got many other things. You know, but uh, that game was very important to flesh out the the, the universe of Cyberpunk. You know, which uh, which is pretty good. The, uh, Cyberpunk uh, 2077 is grounded. They try to to make a ground in reality. That's why it's so hard. That's why it's it's, it's pretty hard because because they wanna he wanna do something that is not just fantasy, you know, a sci-fi. He wanna do something that is that's more ground than reality. You know, that, that's why you see the the the, the cars it has like a it's like a standard cars with gasoline cars and everything. You know, they they are not like they are not like uh, electric cars. Yeah, they're gonna have electric cars and techno a new technology, but you can see the old technology over there too. It's gonna be pretty interesting, man, because it's like a. You see, you see the city in Cyberpunk 2077, the nice city, I believe they call it. And you can see the. Still, you can see the old war, the old war technology, You're like a, you know. Uh, Pretty, pretty stuff that, that we're really using right now, you know, it's not just fantasy crazy technology, you know, it's not, a, it's not a invisible technology, it's a, it's a technology you can see, it, you can touch, that's why the, that's what, that's why, they doing a pretty good job, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why the, that's why it is, it, it is so good, because uh, you can see stuff that you can relate to. NBA 2016 is a lot of pressure for the community. I would rather then take the time than rush so the delay is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, second name. Say Max Pond. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing the knowledge, second name. Thank you for bringing the knowledge. Yeah, NBA. Totally agree with you. NBA is 2016. Totally agree with you. Uh, I believe. I believe they have to take the time. Because what they're doing. It's pretty good. What they doing is pretty good. Uh, see, they wanna keep it good like that. They need to have to take the time. You know, they're doing something that it looks different for anything right now. It looks so different for anything right now. You know, and the gameplay mechanics that they're gonna put in the game, they're supposed to be fun. You know, it's a game that is gonna look good. It's gonna play good. It's gonna be entertaining, you know. You're gonna have a lot of gameplay mechanics. The lore, only the lore, is, is super deep, you know. Remember the the original Cyberpunk uh, tabletop. The tabletop game has a lot of lore, has a lot of stuff. So they had to put all of that, or maybe more, in the game, you know. Change it, change it because the the original game came in with some kind of logical approach different from 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 the nowadays like a pretty old idea of how the future is gonna be you know but now people has like a better understanding of how the future is gonna be you know because we got cell phones that in our pockets and stuff like that and at that time in the 80s you don't have that you have every technology was big and bulky and difficult to carry it it was crazy back in the days, you know, big radios, big, big headphones, big everything big. But now we got technology that you can put in, inside your ear. You don't even, people don't even notice that you have a headset in your, in your ears, you know. You got glasses like the, like the Google, like the Google, Google Glass that you can use. Uh, people be, maybe believe it's a uh, normal glasses. You have a freaking computer and you, and, you know. So everything changed, technology-wise changed. So now they have to adapt the whole game to the new concept. You know, it's, it's not easy stuff. Second name says, I hope my PC can play, can play it, and my GPU does no cash on fire. Well, so you wanna play, so you wanna play the game Cyberpunk 2077. I highly recommend that you get Nvidia GeForce. I highly recommend that you get your NVIDIA GeForce because 
in that way you can play your game in a cell phone with all the graphics you know NVIDIA GeForce yeah I believe they have they have a promotion in NVIDIA GeForce they have a promotion see you see you see you get the, the service and you pre-order they got something with the with the cyberpunk but I don't I don't know what how how it works but yeah it's gonna be like a when they release the game it's gonna be there in NVIDIA GeForce like at the first day of release um, and they give you they're gonna give you something see you got it so you pre-order and on Steam so you pre-order on Steam and you get the, the NVIDIA you you're gonna have like a you're gonna be able to play on the first day I believe and I believe you get something else too because remember remember NVIDIA NVIDIA GeForce now a link a link you a Steam account so you know how to rebuy your games so every game you have on oh they announced that a long time ago I don't believe I'm gonna find it yeah they link the your Steam account with the NVIDIA GeForce now so you know how to rebuy your games and it's a it's a pretty awesome concept that allows them to give you stuff you know they did something like that with Quake Champions too you get like a rocket launcher NVIDIA thing yeah man I wanted that rocket launcher like a, so badly man the NVIDIA Quake Champion NVIDIA rocket launcher man I get a QuakeCon one but I didn't get the NVIDIA one man I wanted but the problem was like they want to select some people they, they kind of select some people to get in the raffle not everybody got, got in the raffle like everybody got in the raffle but but oh look look this is the cyberpunk ad you see see cyberpunk 2016 we'll be arriving on GeForce now and soon real time ray tracing included yeah you're gonna have ray tracing and uh, it's gonna be included the first day from the first day in the in the in the NVIDIA GeForce Now so see your computer cannot move it remember you have NVIDIA GeForce Now or or see you want you can do Shadow Shadow it's another streaming service that I recommend I use it all the time you know that you can play your games on your cell phones like that so you got ways to, to, to play the game, you know? You, you got ways to play the game without having to burn without having to burn your computer. <laughs> yeah. So don't worry. Yeah. Look at how cool. You can do shadow or you can do NBA for now. Which is are the two services that I recommended, hands down. Because I use it by to a stream. I stream every day with those services. You know, without them, I'm not gonna be able to stream. You know, so uh, there is way for you to play pretty awesome games. You know, because I don't have a computer, I don't have a computer that move crazy graphics like that. You know, you see me playing, maybe you believe, oh, you got a crazy computer. No, my computer is broken. It's a broken mess. <laughs> He always <laughs> complaining because he restart, he restart all the time and everything. But thanks to NVIDIA GeForce now and thanks to Shadow, I play video games with all the graphics. That the other day I was, I was putting the graphics up. And somebody told me in the chat, "Wow, man, how you, how you are able to do that? You know, like I see if I do that in my computer, my computer will burn." I, I tell to him, "What is it? What's the, what's the power of the NVIDIA GeForce?" power of the NVIDIA GeForce, you know, nothing, nothing like, nothing else, it's not my computer, it's GeForce servers, yeah, that's why I support a streaming service, you know, a streaming service give you the graphics, it give you the power that you need for a very affordable price, very affordable price. Yeah, very affordable price. Second name, yeah, it looks awesome. I need to grab my internet, my internet first. Yeah, that's what it is. You need to, you need to have at least 20, 
20 megabytes up and down at least 20 megabytes I believe that's the that's the minimum for all those services you need to have at least 20 you know I got 50 because I streaming and do many things at the same time while I while streaming while I playing you know so to make sure I don't have no problem well, I had a little less problems I, I I got 50 but I believe with 20 you are good and let me tell you 50 is nothing 50 megabytes is basically the standard right now you know in USA so if you call the service you call any service they're gonna offer you that one the 50 so it's not a lot back in the day it used to be a lot but now now it's, it's almost the standard and internet so that's how it is man but yeah don't worry man with you're gonna have a stuff one thing I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get again the first day that's I know I'm not pre-ordering I'm not pre-ordering Cyberpunk 2077 could be the pre, could be the best game ever I really like what they do I really like to support them but I'm gonna wait for the release once I see a couple streamers playing once I see the reviews, I'm gonna get it because the game looks good. Everything that they show is pretty nice, but I know I'm not going for the for the pre-order anymore, man. It's it's, it's 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 sad that a lot of people are like me too. That a lot of people had to do that, you know. But it is what it is, you know. We we need to wait because. It has been so many times that you see a game pretty awesome in the trailers, pretty awesome everywhere. And then when you get the games, it's, it's not good, you know. It is not good. I, I'm 100% Cyberpunk 2077 is gonna be pretty awesome, but it has been so many times, man. NBA 2016 second name said, "Yeah, it looks awesome. I need to grab my internet first. NBA 2016 says, "Wow, yep." Second hand, open world games are usually really buggy on release. Yeah, exactly. That's another thing. People, man, that game, they need to do. We're talking about CD Projekt Red. CD Projekt Red is one of the most trusted developers out there. They need to put crazy servers. You know, they need to put crazy servers. The game is no, it's not online, so it's, it's like a single player game, so maybe they're not going to have a problem, but they need to have crazy servers for people to download those games, because everybody's going to be downloading that game in the first day. Everybody's going to be downloading the, this game. It has like a multiplayer component. The game has, is going to have some multiplayer in it. See, they want it, that multiplayer to work pretty good they need to have some crazy servers too you know like the norm right now the norm is like a oh the game's releasing oh nobody can play it because of the that's the norm right everybody knows the first day everybody's gonna have problems but they can they cannot they cannot be there that over there you know they cannot afford they cannot afford to to, to be like that they're supposed to be different. They're supposed to be first day everybody's playing. Because otherwise his name, City Project Red, is gonna suffer. Otherwise, his name, man, they're gonna take that. They're gonna take that. They're gonna the people in the news are gonna be talking all the things. They're gonna he's gonna say, man, City Project Red released that pretty awesome acclaim. Cyberpunk 2077, uh, it didn't work on release. They're gonna be crazy. See, they failed the release. It's gonna be crazy for them. So they need to, they need to make sure, you know. So people are expecting, people are expecting that the release super good. You know, no fail, nothing. So they need to. I don't know, man. I don't wanna be the Project Red on release day, man. Because it's gonna be crazy worldwide, maybe. Maybe they have to. I believe they're gonna they're gonna release everywhere. So they need to be they need to be prepared for that. Second, I said there is a special show Thursday. Oh, really? 
this next Thursday is gonna be a cyberpunk show we're well, gonna check it out or CD Projekt Red show right second age yeah multiplayer sometime later I hope it's not as grand as GT 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 B R 2 D R D T R T online let me let me tell you something today they were talking about multiplayer but they don't want to do the same thing that you <laughs> you know GTA yeah yeah but let me tell you something second like name they they were talking about multiplayer bro it's no nothing like that we know right now you know it's no it's no I don't believe it's gonna be like GTA it's gonna be something different you know they say they say that may, maybe maybe you're gonna play the game you're not gonna fail that you are playing like with with other people you know it's gonna be something different you know I don't know if it's gonna be the internet inside the, the internet that the game has it you know the, the the internet from cyberpunk is gonna be like like multiplayer or it's something in the game is gonna be multiplayer but it's not gonna be like a GTA nothing no it's not gonna, don't expect to be like a whole city where you gonna be around with other people you know doing crazy things it's not gonna be like that maybe you're gonna be playing your game your campaign if, if maybe you're gonna be able to to talk to somebody that is doing his campaign too or something like that I don't believe people are gonna be able to fight each other without a mission without something you know I believe it's, it's gonna be totally different it's gonna be totally totally different yeah it's gonna be totally totally different they say I hope so because they the GTA online GTA online in my case doesn't motivate me to get nothing you know doesn't motivate me to get nothing because it's everything costs a lot a lot of money in GTA and it's, it's what you say it's grindy it's a lot it's too much grind too much grind so I say why why gonna go for that see 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 it's too expensive you know another thing is like a another thing they found a, pro, a problem in the GTA game is like you don't you you shoot and shoot and shoot and when you die they, they, they give you the weapons back like there is no point to get new weapons or anything like that because you're always gonna get the weapons back and the bullets it's like a, there is no meaning there is no meaning to get nothing over there okay you can leave you don't feel hunger you don't feel thirsty you don't feel you don't need a house in GTA it's like it's like an arcade it's like a a little a little guys game it's not like Rust Rust they need to do the GTA online like Rust that you need to survive you need you feel hunger you, you need a house you need a car in GTA you don't even need a car you can go running everywhere it's like <laughs> there's no survival element over there <laughs> that makes it that makes it like a weird like a, oh let's do mission to get money and that says it, like no motivation at all to play GTA man artist I, I believe artist life is better the 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 one four four arma tree the 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 RPG for arma tree is, is better because you got hunger you get thirsty you need a car because because everything is far away it's, it's a huge map um, and see you go by 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 food you're gonna spend hours to go to the other side of the of the, of the city in GTA you don't have that in GTA you can go everywhere uh, by foot running you can go everywhere running do not have the Oh, it's too far away, kind of, kind of stuff. 
You know, they look far away, but it's not far away at all. You can go, you can go anywhere by foot, man. They they release the game, talking about realism, and you're gonna be able to follow people to the houses and everything like. Yeah, you, 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 you can see the NPC, you can follow the NPC, the, the, but the NPC never go to the houses. Never, they don't have life. They don't have life. They're just running around. They look at you. They react, they react pretty realistic, but that's it. <laughs> it's just graphics. It's no, there is no gameplay right there, man. The campaign is the best thing. The best thing that has GTA is the campaign. The campaign is pretty good. You know the mission, but no, nobody does. Anybody does missions anymore because the problem with the missions, the problem with the mission in GTA is it's like a, you accept the mission, and you go like another server, like a different place of the map, like a, you get separated from the rest of the people because you are in a mission or you are doing something else. It's like weird, weird man. It doesn't feel like a open world. GTA is an open world. Doesn't feel open world. It doesn't act like a open, like a real open world. Real open world, you know, get separated in a mission. You get the mission. You have to go through the missions, you know, without being seen by the other people, by being affected by other people. You know, that's that's how you do the mission. They got stuff like that in GTA. I don't want to say no. They got stuff like that when you have to go and take the briefcase and when you have to do this a lot. There is so many little things like that, bro. They are, those are like a little things, you know. Those like a little challenge. It, that, those are the only ones I like to do in GTA. I just in my city doing nothing until they say, "Oh, let's let's rob that many cars or let's destroy that many cars or, or go and get a briefcase or go do this," you know, because it, it feels more realistic. It feels like a and I'm in, in a city. Somebody contact me and, and go and do stuff in the city. You can see the other players, you know. So in that aspect, in that aspect, GTA has like a more than any other game. But that that little more, that little more that GTA offers is like kind of invisible. You cannot see it. Like a, it's, people don't even use it no anymore. There, those races, almost nobody's racing anymore. Almost, almost nobody's doing the highs and anything like that. Every time I go to a server in GTA, it's like a nobody's playing. It's like this, this game, it's kind of dying. I don't know. <laughs> some days, some days there is a lot of people, but some days like a nobody's there. It's kind of crazy. They can fix it, yeah, they can fix it because a lot of people are playing the, the mod, the RPG mod in GTA. So they can do something like that and fix it so we don't have to. They can do a DLC like that and fix it so we don't have to buy, install a mod or anything like that. Like, there is there is so many GTA like games that are doing better than GTA, <laughs> for real. It's kind of weird because Rockstar was the, the the company that created everything in that in that way, you know. This is big open worlds. GTA always was like a, the 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 game with the big open world stuff like that. Kind of GTA kind of introduced that in the in the gaming, you know. Like a, they put in the game, it works. Everybody was like, oh, "Wow, man!" I remember everybody was talking about GTA. How big the city was, how realistic everything was. They kind of they kind of lose in that part of the GTA, you know. Second, so said, what future multiplayer game would you like to play? Well, right now, well, right now I'm not waiting for no. The only game I'm waiting is the Cyberpunk and. It's not gonna be a multiplayer. It's not gonna be like a multiplayer game. It's, it's gonna have multiplayer, but it's not gonna be like a multiplayer game. It's more like a single-player experience. But 
I don't get I don't have nothing in mind right now multiplayer again I don't know I don't maybe an maybe a MMO maybe because I don't have I don't see no announcement of a multiplayer a new multiplayer game right now maybe they maybe they are but I don't I don't remember I don't a new multiplayer game what official multiplayer game yeah no I don't know man because uh, I don't have nothing. I don't see. I don't hear nothing about multiplayer games in the for the future. Call of Duty. Call of Duty already re, already released uh, the the War Song. That was pretty nice. I play it. I believe I stream it. I don't remember, but I believe I stream it. I don't know. Uh, no man, for real, I don't. I don't see. I don't see or I don't remember a multiplayer game. Because they don't, they're pretty quiet. This this year, because the the recent situation, I don't believe people. The, let me tell you, this this is the kind of games that we need, multiplayer games right now, because everybody's in their houses, you know, locked down and everything. But, but I don't know. I, I really don't remember any any multiplayer game for that is coming in 2021 or that is coming in 2020. Don't remember. That's weird. Yeah, this year was weird, man. This weird. They're not working. None of those companies working multiplayer games this year. I don't get nothing. I don't have nothing in my mind for real, man. I need to check it out. Multiplayer games that are coming. Because I don't. I don't got nothing in mind. Valorant release already. Like uh, almost every single new game, multiplayer games are releasing already. Call of Duty Warzone, Valorant. They'll release already. No have nothing to I don't have nothing in, them, in mind. I don't know. Oh one one of the games I wanna play maybe say Sea of Thief. I'm looking forward to play Sea of Thief. You know, Sea of Thief. But it's not a new game. This is our old game already. I'm and let me tell you something. I'm more I'm more uh, inclined to play stuff that I already released. That stuff that coming up because it, the problem with the stuff that coming in, maybe Ark. Maybe Ark. The people are playing a lot of art because it's free now. Maybe the Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption Online. I don't know if it's uh, still around. I don't know if it's people playing <laughs> the, the the online. Red Dead Redemption Online. Could we uh, Red Dead Redemption Online? Could be a game that I can go over there uh, just to work around. You know, the same thing that I do in GTA. Just gain the game. Working around, looking at stuff. That's that's how I play GTA. I don't do the missions. I don't do nothing. This one hunt, hunt showdown. Hunt showdown is, is like a pretty good game. Still expensive, super expensive, but it's like a pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm more like I'm more excited for for the stuff that. That re release the games that, that are coming. Games that are coming now, new. I don't have no idea, man. 
because EA don't, doesn't anou didn't announce nothing. EA didn't announce nothing good that's coming. Ubisoft, I don't know if Ubisoft is is talking about is gonna do a presentation. The PlayStation 5 presentation I didn't see it because I'm not, I'm not planning to get a console. I'm not planning to get a PlayStation 5 or anything like that. There is a lot of games on PC. There is a lot of games on PC that come in like Star Citizen. That, but it's, it's a game that I can play right now, so it's not like a new new either. <laughs> yeah, this year is weird in, in games. Games this year is, has been a weird thing, man. No many options, man. No many things to do, to, to play. Yeah, there is a lot of games, but new new games are like no a lot, not a lot of new games, or no interesting, no more, not a lot of interesting games to play. And it's because the situation E3 was is, there is no E3 this year, so it's kind of hard to to know what is what is there, you know. You can go to the coming soon. Let me see the coming soon for for Steam. The coming soon for Steam, maybe I don't know. Upcoming. And the comments is a uh, Cyberpunk, Horizon Zero Dawn, but there are no multiplayer. Dying Light 2. All the wars. A lot of those games are not even new. Space Station continue, I don't know. Kinda hard to tell you for real. It's kinda hard. Man, computer, there's a lot of games, a lot of games. It's too many games, man. NASCAR. <laughs> Too many, man. No, I don't know, man. No have idea. There is still a lot of old games I wanna play. There's still a lot of old games that are good, super good, but that I wanna play. But the problem is, is so many games. So many games, man. Oh, this thing goes all the way down. Yeah, this is this is the scheme that Kronos was using when he was in the in the jail. That's why he's broken like that and everything. Uh, so another thing, another thing is like a Kronos get bigger. When he get the, when, when he does the the ultimate he get bigger. It's like a Hulk. Yeah, he does like a Hulk thing. Like he get big. Everything is broken like that. Like that's why he's like a. That's why he's broken right there because he got the the he's doing like a the power you know the power thing. So he got bigger and he kind of broke the clothing just like Hulk. You can see sometimes the, the the Titan fighting in the in the thing it suddenly becomes like a big like wow that's crazy like a giant basically I always like it to see I always like it to see the the Titan in the in the in the game because you see everybody's normal and then you see that that giant coming in like wow punching everybody in the face and doing his thing it was magical, basically, to 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 see the the Titan. It, that that thing that he has in the heads and and everything is to control him because the electricity thing it was pretty crazy. 
is to keep it in control, you know? Some kind of pretty strong way to, to keep a, a, a person down. But the problem is that he was too strong, man. The electricity thing, it makes him too strong. Man, I'm telling you, there is no game like Lilo Records. There is no game like Lilo Records. I don't know why they had to disappear. And I don't know why they don't bring it back. See, they had to bring back a game. They had to bring back Lilo Records, man. I don't know what I don't know what's up, what happened right there with with this game, man. I see so many games coming back from you know from the dead, but the records is, is a game that they need to bring it. They need to bring it back, man. Second name says maybe with private services. Yeah, but you know what? When they were talking about when the developers and the and the publisher were talking about closing the game, a lot of people in the community, you know, a lot of people in the community was talking. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me show you the community in Discord for low breakers. Let me let me show you. The community of low breakers in Discord. It wasn't like a. It wasn't not like a like another community. You know, there was like a. It was like a. It was like a a real community with the developers on it. You know, the developer was there and everything. Oh, he left. Let me see. He left. Oh yeah, somebody else took it. Well, Cliff Lesinski himself was here. Was he was in this community? I don't know why he left. He's supposed to not let, not leave it. I don't know why he left, but this is a community of love breakers. I don't know why why he left, because he was he was here, the developer, the, the owner of the game was there. Maybe it's there, but maybe maybe they changed the name. I don't know. Yeah, he was there over there. Let me see. This is love breakers. Yeah, official love breakers server. Um. Yeah, he was. We were able to talk to him and everything. Let me see if if he he's in the other in the other server. Oh no, he's not in the other server. Look at them. They put me like a legend. I'm a legend in this server. Legend, <laughs> only me. <laughs> I am like the only legend over there in the whole server. Yeah, this is this is the second server, but this is the fan base. In the original, he was there. The the the, the owner of the game, the Cliff Lesinski, was there. Maybe maybe he left. I don't know why he left. He's supposed to be there. Yeah, he left. And we were talk. We were uh, able to talk to him. And when they announced. When they announce they're gonna close, a lot of people from that community. Maybe you can find the conversation in the server. A lot of people in the community was like, a, "Oh, we we are gonna be we are gonna have we are gonna make a server," you know. Even me myself was like, a, "Oh, I'm going, I I can pay for a server. I can I can do something," you know. So what I'm trying to tell you is like a the a lot of people from the community was was willing was willing. To do a ser private service, we were willing to 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 b rent service to run the game, you know. And the the developers say like, oh, no, you're not gonna be able to do it. Like uh, the technology behind the breakers in the way they create the game, like uh, 
it was impossible to create to create servers. But you know what happened? The community find out. And that's why there is a petition right now. The the community find out that the records can run in a LAN servers. You know? That's why they made this petition. That's why they, they, this made a petition for low records to release the LAN client because with the LAN client you can run low records in your own house basically. You know, you can create servers, private servers. After the developer itself told, told us, no, you cannot do the servers. You know, people find out that they were using. They were using, you know, a LAN client to use in the tournaments, you know, to use in the tournaments. So the the the, the, the people was able was the people was willing to do service private service, but they they kind of I don't know see they weren't interested in the, or they didn't want it, you know. It was no communication about about that between the community and the developer. It was no uh, nothing about we're gonna release the game to the community. we nothing, nothing about that. And you know what is the cost? Another cost was because this whole game it was an Exxon game, you know. In Nexon Games, a corporation that it's gonna be difficult to talk to them, you know. It's hard to talk to them. It's hard to. They don't even. They, this company is, is a Korean company, you know. It's hard to talk to them. It's hard to, you know. They are the ones that decided right now. They are the ones. Let me see. Sign. Sign. The Love Breakers petition. Yeah. Those are the ones that can they say, oh yeah, we are gonna let you do the server, so we are gonna release low records for the community. They didn't release for the community, they didn't allow people to use the to do the servers. Which it was like a you know I don't blame the developer, the developer itself didn't have any say into it, you know. Next one because it was the publisher was the one that it basically the one that, that can let anything, anything low records, now it's next one, you know, now it's next one, which is, uh, which is, I don't know if they're gonna do it or see they are interested in doing it, <laughs> you know, next one is another, it's another, it's a big company, you know, big companies do sometimes don't care about those things, you know, Publisher has so many games, Oh, I don't find my walk on pen now. <laughs> wow, where did I put in my pen? That's crazy. I don't even know where I put in my pen now to continue doing the, the drawing. Yeah, the problem with walk on is you need to use that pen, or otherwise you're not gonna be able to do nothing. Yeah, see, the situation of the breakers is, is kind of sad. <laughs> It's kind of difficult now because uh, the the Chris Blesinski, the, the 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 owner of Bosky Productions, the developers, basically the the guy that that put the, all of those developers together. He he doesn't have nothing, no control. He doesn't have no control in the records. And Nexon has the control, but Nexon seems to be very basic with other things, you know. Uh, Maple Story, Maple Story, which is a game that Nexon all the time is, I believe, it's developed by Nexon and everything. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm not gonna look for information right now. Uh, that game is published by Nexon too, and. That game is gonna close, I believe next month. This year is gonna close this year. So, not even the games that they are promoting 
pretty heavily are doing good right now so as a publisher Nelson Nelson always have been struggling you know they got they got many games to publish they get they got very awesome games to publish very awesome contracts but they don't see to they don't see to to go forward they always seem to to close the games to lose money yeah they always seem to lose money with the games I don't know why they don't people say like it's the marketing that they don't know they're no good publisher but man it see you are a publisher if you are a bad publisher something you know something has to be it has to be done you know you're a publisher man publisher supposed to to know things people I don't I don't find my oh yeah I find it wow it wasn't the it wasn't the thingy yeah but I'm gonna take one minute no matter what I'm gonna take one minute one minute only I had to do something get more coffee you know stuff like that so don't go anywhere when we come back we're gonna continue play, uh, working in the low records fan art book which is looking pretty good yeah which is pretty good pretty awesome so don't go anywhere I'm coming back in in combo in couple minutes while you're watching some low breakers footage which is in my opinion one of the best footage the one with the maps they show people fighting and they show the maps basically they show the whole game yeah people don't go anywhere when we come back we're gonna continue doing the thing it's
Yeah, people, we are back and we are back for more. No break is fun, but sorry that it took a while because I was uh, I was doing the ditches. Yeah, I was doing the ditches. My house over here, even though I'm streaming, I cannot, even though I cannot disconnect 100% from life. life uh, Responsibilities, you know. Second is go enjoy your coffee, but I'm going to many rejoin later. Okay, uh, second name, thank you for coming. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I hope I hope to see you later. Or I hope to that you're coming back again in another time. Thank you for your support, man. Really appreciate it. See you later. Yeah, I was doing the ditches, so it took a while. Uh, yeah, even though I'm streaming, I tell to everybody, oh, I'm streaming, I'm doing something. I cannot disconnect 100% from the reality. I had to go and do the things that I had to, that I had to do. Because uh, that's, how, that's how things are in this, in this house. You know, I cannot be just, oh, he's streaming, don't do the dishes, no, it's like, you're streaming, take a break, do the dishes, that's what it is. It is kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy, man. Yeah, let's, let's do this. I hope, uh, I hope we got, we got time enough. To finish today because I don't really like to do like a main stream for the same character for the same page. No, no good. Back in the days we used to do it, two, three streams to for the for the same guy. But I, I really want I really would not want to continue doing it like that. You know, coming back for the same guy and everything. I try. It. It's not like I'm not gonna do it. See, I had to do it, I had to do it, but I'm trying not to do it. I'm trying pretty hard. When I close my streams, it's because I am done with it, with the character, you know? That's one of the things. But see, I had to do it. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do it. I did it the other day with the same character. And um, because I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm not getting good, but I'm getting good yeah, I'm not getting good, but I'm getting good into almost create the whole thing in the same day. You know, it, it hasn't, it, ha, it doesn't have a lot of meaning to for me to to come back with with the same character because uh, I'm basically I'm basically finishing with the with the with the characters in the same day, you know? That's what, that's another reason why. Like, I, I, okay, I'm coming back with the same character that, that, that I didn't finish the other day, but what am I gonna do? Little things. What am I gonna do is gonna be like a little, little, little thing. So it's not gonna be a lot, of, a lot of stuff to do for me. That's another reason why I don't wanna postpone for, for the next stream or something like that. Yeah, it has like a, some security device. For the people that are no complain that don't complain with the with the law <laughs> in the future. Or maybe it's a I don't know. I really, I really saw like a, a high security cough. You know, high security cough for the people. This is not part of the custom or anything like that. This is a safety measure that the police were using with him specifically because it was like a considered, it was considered a pretty, pretty dangerous person. You know. So. 
So they lock, lock him, they lock him up, they lock him up, and in this kind of crazy contractions, crazy contraction. Let me do something that kind of looks similar, but it's not gonna look the same because because it's gonna be totally different. Whoa. It's gonna be our own version of the the Titan. Well, do doing symmetry stuff without symmetry is kind of difficult. Our race has a symmetry function. I don't like to use it a lot because. You need to know how to use it. Even though it facilitates a lot of your work, you know, you still have to be careful because it could break. It could break everything what you what you're doing. So I, when I do my drawings, I try not to use a lot of automatic stuff because. Uh, even though it can help in your work and everything. The problem is like uh, the software is doing things for you, you know, you don't you don't develop uh, any skills by using those things. You know, because you got a you got the software that do it for you. In production you gotta do it. You gotta use those shortcuts basically. Because in production it's different. Uh, you're doing that for me. Yeah, in production you do that because you get paid. The company has to do money, so you don't... Even though, even though a lot of companies give you like a freedom, artistic freedom and everything, you got, you got to get... Whatever you're doing, you got to get done. You got you to gotta do it, <laughs> you know? So you don't have a lot of freedom to express yourself as an artist. Like, oh, let me build the skills, let me take my time. No, you're not supposed to take your time. You're supposed to use the software that they tell you. Yeah, and do the things in the, in the way they, they tell you to do it, you know? In order, to, in order to get the results they want you to get, to have, you know? That's how it is. That's why concepts like this, concepts like this, this is basically the 3D model with some Photoshop on top. But this is this kind of concepts like that are pretty important, you know. Some people don't like to do concepts before doing the 3D work because oh, I don't want to deal with it. I don't know. I, I am not good on drawing. That that could be a pretty uh, good. Uh, valid, valid excuse like, oh, I, I'm not good on drawing, but I'm good on 3D. You know, that happens all the time. Like a lot of people, they like to do 3D stuff, but they don't like to do the do the, the this line work. You know, why? Why is important to do the drawing and the line work? Because the in the drawing and the line work, you get the the feeling, the real feel. You know, you give you like. Like a pretty, a pretty good idea how how the the cat is supposed to look. You know, supposed to to the direction. You know, that's why you see concept arts. But the concept art back in the days was like this. But right now they take like a the 3D model, they, they Photoshop it on top. They got they good good results like this one. You know, even though you're doing drawing or even though you're doing Photoshop. The concept art is the ones that are gonna give you the feel, you know, the direction of the, or how you're gonna have to, or how you're gonna make your, your 3D models. Because sometimes you, I don't wanna say, no, there is a lot of 3D model, models, people, 3D modelers, I don't know how to call it, 3D artists, that they just nailed it in the, same, in the first try. They just, oh, it's like this, like that, boom, that's it. You know, pretty good. You know, but not everybody has us got it down like that, you know. So 
it's very important for a lot of people so you can do it like that right away boom 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 that's it that's, it, that's cool but for a lot of people if they need a, the the concept art first just to, to do the 3d move based on that concept art to have a direction <laughs> yeah it then to see if it looks like in the way they want it see it doesn't look like keep modifying the 3d model then after the 3d model they go to after the 3d model if, if, if they change it until they got a feel for it but the, the first the first pass it was like this draw you know it is very important you go directly to the 3d model it's gonna be hard to you to get the, to get to to get to have the feel the feeling for the card the look it's gonna be super hard you know not impossible or it's gonna be super hard to get it so that's why they they, they do this this concept art stuff some company go far away some con some company some company do the, the they they hire people they put real people you know with the costumes if they take pictures from from real people with the custom you know it all depends on the budget too so you can do it it's gonna be awesome you to get a person with a custom you know and take pictures and stuff you get your all ref all your reference right away you know gonna have no problem but well, that's expensive because a model or a person per hour see you got a couple a couple friends that's okay but if you don't have a couple friends it's gonna be hard for you to to basically tell anybody you know you need to you need to rent a model a person that's gonna be modeling for you That is kind of expensive, you know. That it is kind of expensive. Yeah, I don't know. They should bring they should bring the workers back, man. This game, this, this was literally the game that we were playing every single day in this stream. Yeah, it was sometimes. Sometimes we we go and play other games like for a one week. I remember at that time we, we were doing the one week thing that we grab one one game and play for one week, one whole week. Which I believe I'm gonna I, I'm gonna bring it back the whole week thing. I don't know, it depends on the people. Uh, I kind of like it because it, the whole way thing, it was nice because uh, you get to know people from the community of those games, you know, and and you get to play, you get to, you get to play the game, uh, you get to learn the game by playing which is pretty nice you get to learn the game because when you play a game one day one stream it's not enough you know but if you dedicate like a whole way at that specific game you learn you learn the game you learn to play the game that's one of the reasons I was doing the, the whole week thing and I believe, I believe I'm gonna bring it back the whole week. And that way I can do a one week Space Lords, one week Apex Legend, one week this, another game. You know, you get, you dedicate like a little bit more, more time to that game, a specific game.
and you get to you get to know the most important part people from that community specific community when you jump in from one game to another game to another game you don't get to know people from the community you know anything you know it is it is basically no waste of time but it's just like a, you don't get you don't get nothing you know no experience don't learn how to play the game. It's a tricky situation, but you spend like a one way for every game. You begin to learn the game. You begin to know people from the community. It's like a, you don't waste you waste your time when you know they can. it's kind of weird because like a, you waste your time when you you don't dedicate time to those community to the to the game. You kind of wasting your time, but when you dedicate, when you dedicate time to those communities, to those games, you learn, you know the people, you learn the the, the game a little bit more. You get you, you you get your time worth, you know. You get your, your money worth basically, you know. It's kind of complex. It's a kind of complex idea, you know. But it's just, that's how I feel, you know. You don't spend time with the game. You're kind of wasting your time. Yeah, playing one time, that's it, like a couple hours, or playing like a, oh, six, seven hours, that's it. You're kind of wasting your time, you know? That's how I feel right now, because, well, we we Space Lords, no. We Apex Legends, no, but there is other games I only play like a once. I never touch it again. You know, that's what I was doing the whole week, because maybe I'm not gonna be able to touch the game again, but at least, I was there for one whole week, you know, supporting developers, supporting the community, le meeting people. It was nice. If you remember about the games, which is the more important part, you know. But when you do like a couple minutes, couple hours, or stuff like that, I don't know. Some people, some people just want to play the game, you know. I really want to be part of the, not part of the community, but I really want to kind of learn there is a community behind or, or meet the people from the community too, and, and support a little bit the developers, you know, get, get the opportunity to have some retweets and some likes from those guys, you know, stuff like that, little things like that, it makes me happy, you know, for some people this is, doesn't mean nothing, but for me, Little things like that are the ones that that makes me happy. They give me the motivation to continue. If I, you know, as a streamers, as a streamers, if you're a streamer. You're planning to be a streamer. That's kind of the mindset that you have to to have. You know, dedicate time to the games, dedicate time to the people. You know. And be happy if somebody give you a lie or a retweet, but you know, be happy for that because uh, like there is so many, so many things, so many things that people do in the in in the in one day. You know, see the person decides to to go to your stream or to to you or to follow you at some point to give you a like in the tweet. You know. You should, you should at least return the favor or or feel happy. I don't know. That's that's how I believe it, it is. You know, you need to, in some way or form, return the favor or feel happy. So you don't want to do none of that. So you are not gonna do none of that. If you believe if you are a streamer. Uh, you're gonna have a hard time in the future because uh, people will notice like, like right away, like oh this guy supporting this guy, this guy is not doesn't even this guy doesn't even give me a shout out or anything like that, you know? You know? Maybe that's not maybe it's not that the the original the original goal, maybe it's not. But it's nice when that happens, when, when when you support somebody, that person give you a shout out or something like that, you know? It is pretty good. It 
it is a pretty pretty good so that's why that's why i really like to spend time in the games and in the community meeting the people you know i'm being pretty pretty privileged let me tell you in my case i'm being it looks like the way i do things and the way i do in the streams and everything i really like people really like it you know it's not the most fun, crazy, you know, every every two minutes video in the screen or anything like that, or meme word. I don't like memes, like, uh, I, I laugh at them and everything, but I don't like to incorporate memes in my in my streams, you know, because it can be misleading, you know. Sometimes you got a title over there that, that, some, that you are playing a game, and when you go to the stream, you see, you see a video full of memes. It could be kind of misleading, you know. People are getting uh, used to the idea right now. It is, yeah, a lot of people can expect it, but I don't really like it. I don't really want to go see memes because memes are everywhere. Memes are everywhere, you know. Everybody can make a meme, everybody can put a meme. So I don't see the need for the memes, you know. I don't see the net, the, the net for the main, but, but I understand why people vote it, because they're funny. They're funny. Yeah, right now I'm just basically, right now I'm just basically fixing, bringing the, the shapes from the Bringing the change, the change from the sketch to a more detail, you know, more little detail, the little lines, the little stuff, a pocket that looks like a pocket, a belt that looks like a belt, or, or close to, <laughs> you know. They got the legs pretty open, but it looks like a my my guy has like a more open legs. I don't know, but he got the, the legs very open in the original too. Yeah, ready, nice. Pretty good. Pretty awesome. Yeah, the details and the pants are kind of difficult to see because uh, over in this picture it's almost blurry. You cannot see nothing. But in this one, it's like a, it's just there, right? Poof. They don't have the lo the whole leg. So there are so many things in the legs they're gonna have to invent or try to draw the little things that I can see. There is so many little details that are kind of lost because of that. But again, this is our Cronus, our version of Cronus. So it doesn't have to be like the original, you know. It's a fan, it's a fan based stuff, you know. It doesn't have to be like 100% like the original. Yeah, I don't want it to be like a hundred percent like that, you know. It's something that I always say in my my art streams because so you so we don't forget the, the goals. We don't forget the, what we're trying to do over here. Because that's how that's how you destroy you the art that you're doing it or get frustrated when you when you forget the the goals, you know like Sometimes you say, oh, let me do things for fun. 
if you begin to do it, and then you find out like, oh, it doesn't look like the original, and you get frustrated because of that. But don't get frustrated because you you was doing it for fun, right? So, so you keep you in your mind that you was doing it for for fun. It's not gonna pro it's not gonna have any problem in the future. But so you forget and trying to do it like the original because that happens. Sometimes you get so involved in, in whatever thing you do that you kind of forget the reason why you was doing some stuff. You know, I was doing this thing for this reason. And then you forget about it. Let me leave it like that because sometimes when you're doing line stuff, drawing like this, sometimes it's good to keep it simple. No, sometimes it's good to see to keep it simple. See too. See if you if you try to to do a lot of the details, a little little things over here, what's gonna happen? It's gonna feel. It's gonna look like. What's gonna happen is it's like it's gonna look like. Maybe you believe that because the belt that that grab this thing, those two squares is there because the belt, right? Maybe it's a big one, a big one, you know. Um, because the belt, you had two two pieces. I thought I thought it was that was the reason, but uh, -uh the pants has. Two squares. <laughs> the what? Yeah, the pan has like a two squares. The bell of the thing coincidentally go over the the two squares. Kind of looks like I use one square. That was like a, a splitting half because of the of the bell. But uh -huh, it's, it's, it's a coincidental stuff design. It's a coincidental design right there. Because the original has it, you see? See, we, if we. Whoop, see? The bell with the two things. We got the two things without the bell. <laughs> yeah? Let me see this one. Yeah, no bell. No bell. You got the two squares. Over here, you got the bell. You got the two squares. It's a coincidental stuff, you know? It's a coincidental stuff. I don't know if we did, after they did the, the thing, they say, oh, two squares, let's put it two squares. I don't know. But it's kind of coincidental stuff, like a. Kind of looks like a, the bell, because of the bell, you see those two squares, kind of looks like. Uh huh, look over here, you see? It's a coincidental stuff. Oh, you cannot see, let me see if I can put it more in the middle. Yeah. You can see right there, yeah. You see? Two squares, the bell. Two squares, no bell. You know? One, one, can, one can say, oh no, because the bell over there can see. It's a, like a whole thing, a whole square. Or because the bell is there, it divides between two. But uh huh, look. Two squares. You see? It's a coincidence. Coincidentally, the bell goes on top of the two squares. Yeah, this is something that little things like that you need to be you need to be careful when you're doing like a drawing from 3D models. There is a lot of stuff in 3D models like that that you believe is one thing is another thing, you know? Because 3D models, the light and the shadows and it makes a look sometimes. You got like a, those uh, visual effects. Visual, how they call it? Visual, visual illusions. Yeah, visual illusions. You get those visual illusions when the you're doing when you're looking at 3D model because the light and the shadows in 3D models is not perfect. It's it's not realistic. It's a simulated. It's sometimes they look good. I'm not gonna tell you if they look correct. Bro, they are not realistic enough, so they create like a, sometimes they create those illusions that maybe you see, maybe you think that you see a something there, it is not in there, you know, stuff like that. Or they create like a pieces, of artifacts. That's what they call the artifacts when the when the 3D model create the lights and the 
the shadows create stuff that is not meant to be there. <laughs> Well, because the calculation, because those lights, it's, it's in base of calculations, you know? They calculate a light, a particle of light, or many particles of light bouncing throughout the whole, uh, throughout the whole thing. Yeah, they calculate a point of light, or many points of light bouncing from the, from the outside to the model and bouncing back, you know, bouncing back and forth, back and forth back and forth and when the light touches that's how the they create the, the lighting and the shadow the shadow basically comes and it's the ascent of the light basically it's one point going boo, you know uh, sometimes sometimes well you use to photoshop to finish to give it the finishes line a lot of all the lights is created by Photoshop, you know, by using the brushes, you know. But you do it in base of, of the 3D model, in base of the 3D model behind it. Taking account the shadows and the light for the 3D model behind it. That is creating the way I'm telling you with the, with the, uh, the lights. That, that's why the ray tracing, that's how ray tracing calculates the lights and the, the shadow. It, that's why it's so so slow back in the days. So this was super slow back in the days. It was used for pictures and videos only. You know, because videos is a compilation of pictures. So you see you have a lot of pictures ray tracing, you put it out together, you can create videos, pretty amazing videos. That's why you have like those three D models. That's a concept behind it. There is a lot of more preparation behind it. It's not like a that's it, you know. But that's why you see those 3D models, the CGI's. That a lot of people don't like it when they when they announce it, games announce it with CGI because CGI is like almost it's almost like a cheating, you know. You just, you, you see like pretty awesome CGI. It's a person moving with a with a sensors like a mock-up studio moving, an actor moving pretty good. And, it's, it's, it is a lot of, it's a still a lot of work. There is a, there is a company called Blur Studio that is, that they do that. Blur, Blur Studios, Studios, yeah. Blur Studio. Yeah, this company, is one of the best company doing like a 3D, 3D stuff. But those are people, you know, moving and bleep, uh, green screen and everything, you know. That's why a lot of people don't like it because they know that there's, uh, they are not. This is not the uh, feature. This is not the game itself, you know. When they do the the, the CGI stuff, people don't like it because they know it's not the it's not the it's not the gameplay. For movies, it's pretty good. For for be, for intro cinematics and stuff like that, it's pretty nice. But for but for uh, but for 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 showing to the people the reality of the game is not good, you know. Yeah, they cannot use the the central models of the game. The same thing they did for for. For for Planet Side, you know, they're using like a the center the models. If they put animation and everything. It can, this one is nice because they kind of looks like a draw, you know. It looks like a cartoon. Uh, uh, uh it's three D models. They move it like that. And you retrace every single every single frame. You can do pretty crazy stuff. Almost everything you can do in pictures, you can do in video. You know, the same ed edition. On, on pictures you can do in on movies. This is like a, the intro movie from Valorant. Which is a beautiful game. It, it, it's just the gameplay. The gameplay is too counter strike man. The gameplay of this game is, is about picking, you know, Taking cover, picking, taking cover, like 
it's tactical. It's good. That's why Counter Strike is in on top all the time. You know. I believe Valorant they, they're gonna have to change stuff in Valorant because they, when they show the concert, the first concert, when they show the first concert in Valorant, a lot of people like it because it was kind of tactical and stuff like that. But well, they're changing stuff right now, you know. I believe they're they putting like a new character, some new stuff. Because they're kind of realizing it, like, we need to be a little bit faster, like, at ch f chasing the Counter Strike. And Counter Strike makes sense. They're military people, they, they, everything looks like a kind of realistic, you know. It, it, they got a pretty nice formula over there. Valorant. The guys like with power and everything, like doesn't make sense to be like a so tactical, you know what I'm talking about? So they're gonna have to change something to move things around, maybe change the speed, maybe a little bit faster. I don't know. They they are they're totally changing stuff right now as we speak. Because they're kinda realizing it. Like like dudes, uh, this game is nice and everything, but we need uh, we need to Check things up. Check things up. Following the the, the counter star formula is super risky, man. It's super risky because uh, so you don't bring nothing new to that formula, it's not gonna work. You remember uh, uh, Rainbow Six Siege? Rainbow Six Siege. Basically, they bring to the table the very similar counter strike. Uh, way of playing the game, you know, but they bring a lot of stuff to the table. They bring a destruction of the environment. They bring a different classes. They, well, Battleground has a different classes, but they bring a lot of stuff that you cannot find in Counter Strike. You know, you cannot find the Counter Strike, but it's still realistic. It's still part of the. Like as you play Counter Strike, I can see you pretty easily playing, playing, playing Rainbow Six Siege. So you play Counter Strike, you know. I can see you like uh, taking time in Rainbow Six Siege, like uh, no problem at all. Maybe staying over there, you know. But if you play Counter Strike, I don't see you moving to Valorant. You know, a lot of people was. Talking that like, oh, do you think the crowd from Counter Strike is gonna go move to, you know, a lot of people kind of, kind of knew, you know, they said no, they're not gonna move, they're gonna go and try, then come back to, to Counter Strike, you know, something, something that I always say, people, just because a game is doing good, it doesn't matter that the other game is not do, it's not gonna, it's, it's doing, it's not doing good because of that reason, when the lawbreakers was failing. And everything that the community was going down, you know. Unfortunately, that's that's what that was that what happened. The community people were stopped playing. A lot of people were talking about like, oh, it's because for now, it's because uh, uh, it's because PUBG, which is valid, you know. It could be valid. People playing PUBG, people playing uh, for now. They're not gonna they're not gonna stop playing their game. They're having fun to go play low records, you know. But it's not the only cause. It's not the only cause. Because the people that play Fortnite and they play uh, PUBG never gonna stop playing for G or Fortnite to go and play low records. That, that, you know? People that people that play uh, Overwatch never gonna stop playing Overwatch to go and play low records. That's not gonna happen. You know, it, it, and let me tell you, it happened with many people. A lot of people came from 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 Overwatch and to stay on low breakers. But that's that's not something that we know we have to count in it because I don't play Overwatch, but I Overwatch is a it's a nice game. You know, I'm not gonna say no. It's not a bad game at all. So I don't see people moving from their games that they're playing. They're having fun to go to another game, you know, so 
a lot of people oh because of you because they say no people it's not like that these people maybe went over there and to the breakers and play up a few times but they're not gonna stay on the breakers you know and the developer didn't try to take people from overwatch or anything like that you know what the developer did is something again that with the style that at that time only like paladins let me tell you like that at that time when when the records released we only have a few games like that you got team fortress 2 overwatch maybe paladins that's it that's what you see that's what you saw quite champions like that coming with abilities it that's why the records release because you don't have like a many options you know at that time but the only options that you have it was pretty good we're talking about overwatch and paladins you know that i didn't like it but a lot of people like it you know <laughs> unfortunately is it that's the truth you know the, the little options that people has as a hero shooter thingy it wasn't a lot but it was pretty good <laughs> you know it was difficult to move on you know people that play overwatch was kind of difficult to go and play other other game people that was playing for nine or for G was like a difficult to, to play all the game because they were having a lot of fun a lot of fun in this game and let me tell you what a lot of people that play uh, work on for nine working on the breakers you know what happened with the people from the breakers a lot of those a lot of those guys they're playing they're working on for nine they they come back to for nine they come back to for nine to play a lot of people didn't know that you know a lot of people a lot of those get developers maybe maybe they are not playing working over there anymore maybe they move on to other things you know but when the when the when the low records goes get close a lot of people from from boss key productions they went back to epic games to play to work with epic games because they call they came in from epic games a lot of them you know Cliff Blasinski, I believe uh, Ribbon Roja Rivas, you know, uh, the concert artist James Hawkins, you know, yeah, a lot of very talented, a lot of the people, a lot of those people, I, I, they come back to, to Fortnite, they come back to Epic Games to play, to work over there, you know, it's not like uh, people believe, like, oh, they are enemies or anything like that, no, no, sometimes they don't talk about it because they want people to to speculate to create news because that's advertisement free advertisement right there you know so they they let people roll the ball you know the people roll the ball but i know i'm talking like that because i know you know i follow those guys i was following those those guys i know like oh my look at the 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 this guy was playing for nice. He's, he's doing the record thing, and now he's coming back to for nice. You know, don't follow those guys. Right now, I know I'm not following like a, like I used to do before because the time back in the days I wasn't streaming or anything like that. You know, it was I have like a more time to to get into the tweeters and and check it out those guys to just to see just to see what they're gonna release that's why that's why uh, that's why uh, I knew about low breakers you know because low breakers was pretty hard to see a trailer to see something about low breakers it basically people that was following those developers could basically know about the game. Oh, you following Tramelis Ray from Planet Side 2, you will know about the Breakers. You following Cliff Blesinski, you you will you will know about the Breakers. Stuff like that. Because the trailer didn't make justice. A lot of people didn't didn't know the didn't saw the trailer. A lot of people didn't show the trailer, a lot of people didn't didn't follow. A lot of pe people don't follow. People don't follow. That's that's the part that's the part I don't like about the the new marketing systems, you know, social media kind of thingy. 
there is a, there is a lot of people that watch social media. They have social media. They, uh, you know, they are on top, but not everybody, man. There is a huge part of the the market, huge part of the customers. That you still have to, you have to still put your your cable, trellising the cable on television, cable to television cable. There is a lot of people still watching television. You know, television in some way, shape, or form is kind of easier than than sit down in front of a computer. A lot of people didn't make the transition. A lot of people go coming from work, turn it on the television, uh, and watch a trailer. You know, Netflix. I don't know. Did they put Netflix? Netflix? I don't know because it's a pay. It's a pay system, but in some way you have to do something for those those. You have to do something for those uh, service. For Hulu, for Netflix, you're not talking about ads. Some, some presentation, some documentary about your game, something to put it there. Because pe- a lot of people watch Netflix, you know. Trailers for the Twitch, for the YouTube, that's okay. But you need to continue doing television. You need to put those ads on television. You need to put those ads on radio. Man, the people are still using radio, man. Some people say, "Oh, radio is dead." No, radio is not dead. You know, maybe for me it's dead, maybe for you it's dead. There's a lot of people watching radio, uh, listening to radio. You know, especially the satellite version, the satellite radio. So you need to put ads in all those places, man. You know, it was one guy. It was one guy that told me when I was playing Low Breakers, they t- he told me, Oh, I knew about Low Breakers because of the, of the television. I see the television spot. The, the CGI trailer that they did in the records, you know. Let me see if I can show you the CGI trailer of the records. Yeah, one guy told me like, oh, I see that in television. It does what he know about the records, you know. So it's still working. It's still it's still working. You know, it's expensive. Yeah, it's expensive, and maybe. It doesn't have the the reach that maybe a YouTube video could have, you know. But discarding, oh, it's not even it's not even in the channel. Look at this is the channel of record. It's not even in the trailers. Trailers. We got the skill AF. We we got the one for the police. But we don't have the the cinematic. Oh, they kind of dropped the ball right there. They missing one trailer. They want. They missing this one. Look, I had to go to videos. I don't believe they didn't o- upload to the YouTube channel. Oh, they remove it. What it is? They remove it for the channel? Why they remove it for the channel? Wow, that's weird. It looks like they remove it for the channel. It was like at the first over here. Yeah, it was there in the channel. It's not anymore. Oh, look, it's, over. it's this one. Rise and fall. There. It's kind of confusing. Yeah, it's there, it's this one. It's kind of confusing because it was like at the last trailer. Oh, it was not the tra- last trailer, but... It was one of the last. This trailer was one of the last that they did. Uh, I believe, yeah. Oh, maybe I'm confusing, yeah. Yeah, this trailer... Uh, what I was talking about this trailer too? I don't even remember what I was looking for this trailer. Yeah, I don't remember now. Yeah, this trailer is the one that you had to put. They put in the television. That's the TV spot. If they put in... In the YouTubes and everywhere, you know? But the YouTubes reach and the... Like, this trailer doesn't have not even a million views. 
Yeah. Oh, it have a mi five million views has. Wow. At that time, they didn't have a, that, ma that many. It was like that. You see the other ones, like uh, with 20, 20k, uh, 5,000, 63. It was like that. Wow. You know what it means? It means that a lot of people are watching that, the low breaker stuff. It means like a lot of people are having interest in low breakers right now, man. Because it wasn't that high. It wasn't that high. 5 million views? Wow, it's a lot of views, man. That's why I'm telling you, man. This game is supposed to be in the market. With updates, with all stuff. I know people personally, they told me, man, I want to play the workers right now. They never played it back in the days. People that are coming from PUBG, the people that are coming from Fortnite say, man, I'm tired of PUBG, Fortnite, the same thing over and over and over, I want to play something else, I want to play low breakers. You look at the games, not even in the market. They had to bring it back, they had to bring it back low breakers, they had to, they had to do something with low breakers, man. Just putting that, Putting that game out of, out of the market was like a, no, I'm not gonna say it was a mistake, but it was something that they they should do it, but then bring it back, you know? Like, okay, you gotta you gotta keep it outside from the market for some reason, do it, but then bring it back, man. Bring bring the workers back. It is nothing wrong with the with the game. The game doesn't have nothing wrong. It was more like a. The market was a lot too saturated with many games, similar games coming, you know. We got a Team Fortress 2 that's still rocking. It's still rocking many, like many other games, you know. You got the, the, the Overwatch, you got the Paladins, a few other more that wasn't like that famous, but it was like in the same vein. Yeah, they, they, they should do something, man, with, with, the, with the breakers, man. Look at, the numbers are going up. The numbers are going up in the low breakers. If I if I check it out the social blade for low breakers, see if I check it out the social blade for low breakers, you're gonna see an increase. I believe you're gonna see an increase in the in the social blade. Let me see if I can find it. Social blade. Because I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Low breakers. The the Twitch. They 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 stop putting stuff in the Twitch. I don't know if they still. Yeah, it's going up. It's going down. Look at they they they, they win, they're winning followers. They're winning followers in the 2020. They're getting some followers. But, but not a lot because that's going down. Total channel views weekly. It's going down, but people are still going over there to the Twitch. Yeah, but the Twitch channel they they kind of kill it. They kind of kill it when the game was was around. Let me see the Twitter. The Twitter for the records. Uh, I don't know. It's it's, it's 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 dead. Almost nobody going over there. Yeah, almost nobody's going over there. Yeah, it's, it's dead. Let me see the the YouTube's. This is the YouTube's. This is the YouTube's. No, oh, this is the Twitch. Let me see the YouTube's. There is a peak over here in 2020, February, in the beginning of the year. Yeah. It's not going bad, let me tell you. You got a lot of greens, you see? A lot of video views. You don't have subscribers. 
you don't have like a lot of subscribers. No, you don't have subscribers, but. Bro, the views are not bad. You got a lot of greens, green people, you know, video views. So people are watching the the videos. 59 plus, 100, 101 plus. Look, the last view was in June, right now, in June 8. From June 1, from June 8, 200 views, 200, almost 300 views. From from June one to June eight, yeah, the subscriber doesn't go. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's dropping views compared to the other, to the May and stuff like that. But look at this year. This year, twenty twenty. Two years after they closed, people was watching videos. Was look at that peak, that peak over there. We had thousand views, you know. So people watching the video, people having interest. Not a lot of people, no, but there's some people with interest in the in the game. You know, they go over there to the channel and check it out. Yeah, I don't know. But they, now that we got the technology to keep games alive. It looks like a. It looks like our developer doesn't have no interest at all to keep nothing alive, no game alive. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Let me see if I can continue with the pants because the pants are the ones that. Oh, the pants also have nothing else to do. It's very simple stuff. Simple stuff. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. Maybe the boots over here. The boots. Well, people, I believe we are gonna re we are be ready to to do the line work. Yeah, I don't see nothing else to to add. I don't see nothing else to add. I believe. I believe it's pretty good. Maybe over here it has something over here. But it's not a hundred percent visible. I like a three things over here too. Yeah, I don't see nothing else to add. I believe I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the the line work, which is basically. Oh, I put the man. I need to be careful with the with the. Oh, I can I can merge merge down merge down. Let me put a hundred percent this. Uh, I need to be careful with the. With the layers, the other day I kind of messed it up because I was doing part of the drawing and in, in the layer they're not supposed to do it. Good thing I was finishing; it was like a final touch. They can stay, they can stay right like that. But I need to be careful because uh, the last thing you wanted to to draw something. In the wrong layer, you then figure it out. Or what you did about what you did is it's all wrong, man. Sometimes you you apply in some effects or some or do something, it doesn't do it because oh you are in the wrong side of the in, in the wrong layer. You don't want nothing like that to happen when you're doing drawings. Could be kinda crazy. Could be kinda crazy. People, you got any questions, don't forget to to ask in the stream, you know? Now is the days. 
Now is the day that you can ask questions, you know? Now that we are here, that we can talk directly to you and everything. It's the day, you know? You can ask questions any day, but today is like the best, the best day to ask questions. Because we, we can talk directly with you and everything. And no one... I don't want you to have some doubts about something, you know. So you want to know more about the the low workers fan out? Ask the questions around, you know. Don't forget to ask questions about it. So you want to know more about the stinky cards? You know, now is your opportunity. Pretty awesome stuff. Pretty awesome stuff. Let me see if I can do... Yeah. Pretty awesome stufes. Yeah, the Titan is one of the one of the best characters in the in low records. It used to be one of the best characters. Well, it's a still. See, they bring the game back. The Titan. A lot of people are gonna come back to the Titan because this character was like a. It was like a whole thing by itself, basically. A player with a Titan could be immortal, basically immortal. Basically, that that phrase, that word "immortal," I was using it all the time when I was playing the records because you got people like Hasogedon that was difficult to kill. Demonicated Jojo with the medic, it was super hard to kill. You know, you got AC80 with assassin. You know, or Steve with a with a with a raid. You know, Fuzzy Chesty with a banger. You know, Fuzzy Chesty with the banger. At that time, she, she used to she used to use the name Fuzzy Chesty, and she was crazy with the banger. So, you know, you got people like that that was like a difficult to kill. You know, because they knew how to play the game. And let me tell you, once once they put an energy region in the breakers. That's why a lot of people left too, because the energy region didn't like it. A lot of people didn't like it, the energy region. Uh, it was hard to kill people. Because what, what people was doing is like uh, get, get shot a couple times, they leave the, they leave the place. They hide. And when you hide, your energy goes, goes up. You know, because the only thing, the only thing you needed to, to, the, for the energy to go up to begin to regen, it was uh, to hide. You hide, that's it. You know, you stop, stop fighting, and the energy went back. You know, which is um, it's a good mechanic. You know, but I don't know if for Willow Breaker it was good. You know. Some people like it, some people didn't like it. It was very controversial. I, that's what I'm gonna say. It was very, a very controversial feature that a lot of people, including me, I was up to for them to remove it at some point. But that's one of the. That's one. Of, that's what was. That was one of the features that the developers kind of wanted to be in the game. You know, it's like a. 
We know that's kind of controversial. I know that people don't like it a lot, but we're gonna kind of want it, you know. They didn't say that, but that was the idea that I, I get like a energy region is something that very controversial, bro. That in some way developers just want to keep it there. They just understand that the game is supposed to have it, you know. Something I, I know agree with, you know. I don't agree with, you know, because if you see a, a feature that is kind of hurting your game, you need to do something about it, you know, you need to do something about it, man. Uh, I never gonna agree, I never gonna agree when the developers kind of put uh, features that nobody requested. And then they want to keep it right there, like, uh, oh no, the, the feature is coming for, to, to stay. Like, really, dude? <laughs> you know, like, I don't like that, you know. The feature, the energy region for the records, it wasn't that bad, you know. I didn't quit the game, I continued playing, you know. Uh, it changed the game, yeah, it changed the game a little bit, you know, because. Back in the days when the game was in beta, or when the, before the energy region, let's say it like that, before the energy region, you had to plan, <laughs> you know? It was like a thinking game. Like, you need to plan pretty well how you're gonna approach the enemies before you get out from the from the room, from the spawn room. Because once you get out from the spawn room, there is no no coming back, you know? <laughs> There's no coming back. In that aspect, like a, that strategy aspect from the game, I really like it a lot. Like, I cannot be crazy jumping everywhere, you know? Because you you know, any mistake could be deadly. Any mistake could be deadly. If that, if that gave you some flavor to the game, that was lost. That flavor was lost once they, once they put it in the energy region. Because it was the other way around. You didn't, you didn't even care about getting shot <laughs> because you, you just, you just had to hide a little bit, you know, and come back, you know, the thing. Which is, I really is good for new players, but for people that that play like a, for a long time, it wasn't that good at all. Then you got those pro players like Steve, Airless, all those guys. That, wow, man, with the energy region. They were immortal, immortal man. It keep it that feature kind of keep the new players playing, but it gives so much power to the to the experienced guys. Too much powers. Like I had so given with the title was immortal. It, to, that guy has so given has the the ability to kill a whole squad, five people, over and over and over. You know. He was good, but with the energy region, he was like a model. Like, wow, that was crazy. People people from La like Memac, it was people like Memac that was able to play with the Gunslinger, a, a character that doesn't take no shots at all. He dies right away, that character. With the Gunslinger, he was able to to play a whole match without dying, man. Without dying. You know what I'm talking about? It wasn't a 100% negative feature, but it was a a feature that bring a change the game forever man change the game forever it that it that change it, it didn't sit pretty well with a lot of people i didn't i didn't mind it i didn't mind i wanted to i wanted the game to be around is it yeah i i said i say all the time see if it takes for me to play the game to, for the game to be alive i'm gonna play every day yeah i was doing it you know, I was doing it, but but not a lot of people did it the same way. A lot of people was like, I want to have fun in my way. I want to have fun with the game that that the that was like at the beginning. You know, nobody was like a. Not a lot of people was willing to support the new changes. You know, and developers should should. You want new change in the game? You should put like a 
another mode. You know, you put another mode, and you leave the modes of people playing uh, alone. You know, I believe Apex Legends is doing something like that. Minecraft is doing something like that. When they introduce changes, they do like another mode. In Minecraft, they call it snapshots. So you can go to the snapshot, check it out. Planetside 2 has a server. Planetside 2 has a server that you can go over there and check it out. All the new things are coming for Planetside. All the new things, the ones that are coming, the ones that are not coming, are there in, the, in that server. So you can go over there and check it out. Uh, Star Citizen has like a, the Ebukari. That it's a group of people that tested out the players just like me. You just have to apply, I believe, in order to get there. It's a group of people that, that apply and now they're testing the new features, you know? It's new features, new stuff. I, uh, I believe the, the Microsoft has like a, the Microsoft Insider or something like that. You know, every single company has like a, a way to show the features so that they want to put in the game without putting the game right away or without putting the in the software right away because they understand they understand that, that it could change the the whole thing you know before change the whole thing they they try it out they test it out with the people Lorica didn't have that environment or that place for many reasons you know it's a small thing they cannot be working in many, in many super small things, like uh, less than 100 people. They cannot be like play, uh, working in the release and working in the new things at the same time. Like, see, they're going to release something, they just have to release it. They cannot put it like in one, in another low breakers to people to see it and then release, I don't know, because I believe at that time, Steam was, Steam was taking money, like I said, you got, you want to change the game, you need to pay, so, it was difficult, it was difficult for them to do like a, that kind of stuff, remember the low record was on, on exclusively, on, it was like a, on Steam, um, PS4, so, it was totally a money thing for them to do it, you know, in PS4, in, 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 in PC, like a, we just release it and people give it the feedback directly. Um, if it is positive, we keep it again, see if it is not, maybe remove it. But it wasn't that positive. It wasn't that positive. Uh, they, they keep it there. They keep it there. There was a lot of nerve for a lot of a lot of characters. It was a nerve for the enforcer. That nerve was necessary. The enforcer was OP. It was crazy. Even though I tested out after the the nerf, it, it, it kept being OP. It was crazy. You know. The Gunslinger Ultimate was nerfed too. The Ultimate Gunslinger was in a, in a, in a state that I was using it for no reason, basically. It was, I was using it, it wasn't doing no damage at all. It was, the Gunslinger Ultimate became from, the Ultimate they used to kill a lot of people, but from that, it was that good that you can basically use it to kill a whole man, a whole squad. It went from that to, oh, it's the ultimate. The ultimate you use it against players that are low energy. It was like that. Like, oh, you wanna do fighting somebody? It's low energy. You use the ultimate. You kill it. That w that was like that. And the end. Let's say, wow, man, I can use it only in the last minute. Only for those little energy guys that always escape. That's the only reason I can use the the ultimate. Because for to putting people down, no, 
you need to you need to be people that that is already down, you know, lower in, in energy and stuff like that. Back in the days when 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 the record was well, it was like a, the whole game. The whole game was like that, like a pretty challenging, you know, to keep alive. That's why they changed it. That's why they put the energy region and everything. This the speed they put it down a little bit. The speed thing it didn't affect me at all. It didn't affect me at all. Uh, I was playing almost the same way. I didn't. I didn't see a problem with the speed in the breakers. Like it wasn't no problem, no problem at all. You know, I believe the only thing that not even. Let me tell you, not even the nerf was a problem. I, was, I believe it was the region, the energy region was the problem. Not even the nerf was the problem in the game. The energy region was like a, the controversial thing. You know, Overwatch. I believe at that time they had it. Paladins has it. Like uh, many games like that has it. So they kind of. Um, I believe that's why the reason they put it. Like uh, oh, this game has it. Let's put it in this game. You know. Go for new players. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say they put it just because the other games that say it. You know. It's it's it's, it's because they, it's good for new players. You know, new players go over there the game. They can play the game until they learn. But the problem is that all players like me get super OP. Get super OP. I was doing crazy stuff with the with the gunslinger, man. Even even that the gunslinger was nerfed many times. Yeah, it was a pretty controversial move that they needed to or create a mode different mode so people can oh you wanna play with energy region go to this mode you wanna play with no energy region go to this mode because uh, because it really changed the game it didn't make it worse no it didn't make it no worse again the lowbreakers are awesome games but it did, it did change the game pretty dramatic pretty in huge ways but at the, let me tell you, at the end of the day, it's a business, you know? At the end of the day, games is a business. They had to pay the employees, they had to keep their lights on. So they had to implement stuff, you know, that they going to bring people into the game. Basically, Space Lords is in the same dilemma, you know? Space Lords is another game that I'm playing. And Space Lords, the community is, is kind of tiny because of that, so. We're talking le low records levels of community, you know, 20 people, something like NPC. And console is another thing. Console is doing pretty good, you know. I believe in low records in console was pretty good too, you know. And PS4. That's another thing. Why are you closer for PS4 to the games? I'm not gonna continue ranting about that. Yeah, the. In, in console, Space Lords is pretty good, you know, but they still have like a, the, the community problem where they, they need to look a way to keep the, the, the new players coming to the console, you know, coming to the game, you know, because uh, to make a bigger community, to make a bigger community, games need people, man, developers of push that doesn't realize it. They're not gonna know it, man. Games need people. A game without people is a game that is doomed to fail. It's doomed to fail. And yeah, the developers especially is looking away. It's looking away to bring more people to the game. You know, it's looking implementing stuff, changing stuff. There is another update that is coming. There is another update that is coming. What are they gonna do? I don't know, but there is something that is coming. Um, and it's the. Uh, if they do it good, they're gonna bring a lot of people. If they do it. Um, 
See, they don't do it good. It's not gonna do any, any. It's not gonna do nothing for them, man. I want, I want, I want them to do it good. But the uh, space race is an awesome game. It's, space race is like low break. It's like a, it's like a game that is looks good, music's good, plays good. But then you see the community is tiny. Like, <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense, you know. It's another game that doesn't make any sense. It's like a, the situation. The game is cool. It makes sense, but the situation behind it. It's like I don't know why those games are struggling that, that hard. No. I don't know why this game is like uh, struggling that hard. And. Uh, yeah, the specialist is basically in the in the low breaker situation where they need to a bigger community. If they don't seem to to see, they don't seem to to do the update or do the thing that we're gonna bring the people back. You know, even though the game is beautiful, the is good and everything, it's like a no appealing to the people, no appealing to the people for a lot of people. Some people also know that they can see some other people is like uh, they see it. See it's looks cool and everything, but it's not my kind of game, you know, that could happen. When that happens there is no until that person doesn't play the game, it's not gonna it's doesn't gonna know. When you got people like that, that person never gonna never gonna be in the game, you know. We cannot talk about that person. That person has a pass basically. A pass. Because uh, the person that look at, look at the game and say that is not my kind of game, it's not his kind of game. That, that person we need to leave it alone because there is nothing you can do to make it change their mind. When you, you know, it's not bad, it's not a bad thing, you know, it's just like that's not the game, you know, we, not, we cannot do that. That, that kind of person you cannot force to play your game or anything like that. When somebody tells you that, you need to leave it alone. Because there is nothing else that you can do to change their minds. Because it's not like a, they don't, it's not like a, they don't see the potential. It's like a, they got other games to play or... Or I don't see the motivation to play that specific game, you know. Somebody tells you like that, like, oh, no, it's not my kind of game, that's it. The end of, end of the conversation, because there is no way for that person, for you to change their mind. Changing minds over games is no, it's not even good either, because, because sometimes, because it's not about how you talk to them or how you say stuff to them. It's about how they see in the game, you know? It's about how they see in the game. If they don't see the potential, they're not gonna support it. You know? I see a lot of people like that with the, with the low breakers. I see a lot of people like that back... Uh, I see a lot of people back in the days with low breakers. I see a lot of people like that in the Space Lords. Like, they see the game. At least in my stream, you know? There's a lot of people that see the game. It doesn't download it. Doesn't download it. Even though the game is free. You know, oh it's cool and everything, but they don't download it, they don't play it, you know. Like uh, in almost in almost a whole year playing uh, Space Rush, only one guy. Only one guy is like uh, oh let's play together. You know, I was expecting more people. But again, you, you cannot do nothing. When you cannot do nothing against that, when a person sees something doesn't like it, like, like you, you cannot force that, you know, because you're gonna, you know what's gonna happen? Oh yeah, let's play, let's play the game. You gotta, you gotta play the game. You gotta play the game. Why? Well, you know what happened? That person, maybe it's gonna be your enemy, <laughs> or maybe it's gonna be worse, you know, for, to play the game. Never gonna play the game. Never gonna play the game. That's a dangerous situation right there. 
That's a dangerous situation right there. So the 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 let's nerf the game so new people coming to your game even though maybe it's not, that person is not interested at all to play the game. It's a tricky situation man. I don't recommend it to no developer to do something like that. You know the See the game appear, appears to a person, appears to a person, that's it, it doesn't you know, give him, give him more, give him the motive to some, to somebody. Every, let me tell you something. I believe almost every single person that goes to a game, because the game itself kind of motivate them to, to play in some way, shape, or form. Uh, it's gonna leave the game after, after the, 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 no, the novelty, you know, wears off. Once the novelty is, go is gone, or once they get tired of seeing the same thing over and over and over, you know, what's gonna happen? That person is gonna move on, you know? This is a player that is not gonna last. Because he's not going for the game, he's not going for the community, he's going for it because they saw shiny things in the game. Oh, there's a shiny thing. It, that's why he's there in the, in the community because he saw a shiny thing. He saw opportunity on something over there, you know. Plays the games. Once they get, once he get, he's gonna get bored right away. Once the, he get bored right away, he's gonna move on. The gamers that, that every developer wants, the players that every developer wants, is those players. You know, that feel good in the community. They go over there because they see that the community is nice. You know, they go over there, you know, because they like the game. They like the game. Not because they, not because they saw shiny things. It's because the game, it looks good. It plays good, you know. There's so many factors. But person, look at what happened with Overwatch. Overwatch was was on the top. Overwatch was on the top in the Twitch. A lot of what what I mean, what them Twitch means. The Twitch means when the game is on the top, it means a lot a lot of people are interested. You know, watching the streams because they're interested. Doesn't mean sales, doesn't mean how good the community is, how big is the community, anything like that. It means a lot of people are watching. If they, they see potential in the game, you know? They see potential in the game. If the people are watching. What is Overwatch? Look, Tarkov, Fortnite, just. You don't even see over here in the, in the top anymore. Look at. Four, one, two, three, in the third line. You know, pretty down. The turn line is not even here. It was here back in the days. What is that? A lot of people jumping to Overwatch because their friends was there. Because they saw shiny things in the game. You know? Automatically they get bored for those shiny things. They, they say bye bye. Automatically they the friends stop playing, they say bye bye. You know? A lot of people didn't win over there. Oh, it because what's the trend too? The trend. Oh, is, that's why the game that people are playing, let's play it. You know? A lot of people didn't win to play Overwatch because they like it the game or the, or the game plays good or anything like that. A lot of people was over there because it was the trend. The friends. You know? Or because it was full of shiny things, full of eye candy, you know? Full of eye candy and shiny little things, you know? You know? I'm not saying there is no legit players over there that really care about the community, they really care about the game itself, having fun with the game. There's a lot of people. Yeah, really, that's the ones, the ones that are supporting Overwatch right now. The ones that like the game, 
because it plays good, it moves good, you know. It, 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 it really had fun over there. It really had fun over there and everything, you know. Those are the people that are supporting the game right now. But of the people that was for, for the shiny things, oh my, look, look how cool this game looks. That wears off. That wears off. After, after a few months, you know, after a few months, the things that you, you was looking at it, that was pretty awesome. It becomes boring, you know, it doesn't shine anymore, it doesn't shine anymore in your eyes, That's, that person is going to quit, that person that went from the, from the friends, that's a faster quitter, that's the, that's the one that is going to quit faster, because what happens is that once the, once the friend quit, they're not going to continue, you know, See the friend move to Destiny, they're gonna go there. See the the friend move to War Friend, they're gonna they're gonna go there. If you know as a developer you don't want that that kind of game, you know. You're not gonna block them, you're not gonna ban them from the game, <laughs> you know, you're not gonna say no. No comments you're coming for your friends. No no, you're not gonna do nothing. But it's a, it's, it's not it's, it's it's not gonna last. That's a game that is not gonna last. You know, the the game that lasts is the game that go for the game. The see the game. Oh, it's beautiful. Let me try. They try the game. They move good. They feel good. You know, winning. They win couple matches. You know, or they lose the couple matches, but they're still having fun. Like the record was that. The record was a lot of people like that, like, uh, I'm dying all the time, but I'm still having fun, you know. That's the game that you want, but you need to do your game like that as a developer. You need to do your game thinking in those, in those details. The game has to be fun. It has to be interesting, you know. It has to be... Not good because good is is pretty. It's pretty broad. It's pretty broad term, you know. Something that is good for you could be bad for somebody else. So it's it, you cannot take you cannot take good as a as a way to do your game. It's not, that doesn't work anymore. Back in the days, maybe, but now it's, it doesn't work anymore. You need to you need to think in in aspects that are less broad like it plays good it has good graphics the music is nice you know the record has all of those elements all those elements the, the soundtrack for the records is, is pretty good it's pretty nice the gameplay was awesome the maps it looks beautiful everything looks beautiful it still fail, you know, it still fail. Even though they took a lot of elements, realistic elements and stuff that that kinda guarantee them to have a healthy community. They went down. You know, they had to close the studio and close the game, you know. Why? I don't know. That's why that's why I always say the low records that's another reason why I say Lorecas was confusing. The the, the Lorecas closure was confusing. For me, it kind of feels like a something happens internally between Boss Key Productions and the and the publisher. Something happens. Now maybe Cliff Blesicki say, "I'm not gonna continue with this." You know. You know. I knew at that time Cliff Blesicki has like a lot of personal problems with families I believe his stepfathers he was he was talking about his stepfather all the time man. and when you got when you got problems like that with uh, that is related to a stepfather or a stepmother or something like that I believe he was kind of sick I believe the stepfather was kind of sick he was worried about his stepfather all the time when you got stuff like that, it's difficult to focus. You know, it's easy to quit anything. When your family, like, person that you really like it. 
you know, you really, it's important for you. That could make you quick anything. And I believe Chris Blasinski and Bosque Production was like a, the most, the most perfect example on how personal problems, like family problems, stuff like that. His dog was having, how was sick too, his dog too. He was, uh, I don't know if he, he's still alive, I didn't follow. Because all of that, I was, I'm not gonna lie, it was made me sad too. I was playing the game and everything, but every time I see a tweet about Cliff, let's see, he's talking about his, his uh, grandfather and his dog. It was, it kind of affected me too. It kind of affected me too, you know. And kind of knew it. I kind of knew that the record is gonna be like a close in some some way, shape, or form. You know, which is it's just, which is something that it's something that's kind of sad, you know. Especially for uh, for low records, that, that is a game that was uh, have, we were having a lot of fun, having a lot a lot of fun. But it is, but it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Yeah, those pro personal problems like that could could make you quit anything, man. Like, that's why I can understand the closure of the record. That's you know, wasn't it wasn't the game itself? So, yeah, it was at some point. It was like a zero player at some point, stuff like that. It, it wasn't a meme. It was something that really happened. But it wasn't the, the only cause, you know. That came from another cause, you know. The zero player thing, it came from another cause, you know. We're talking a developer that that has like a many years in the market in the in the gaming community, creating pretty awesome experience, you know. I'm moving from company to company with a huge following. Everybody knows him and everything. Of course, it's gonna be controversial, you know, because he, he moved from company to company, you know, in creating pretty awesome, great games. Yeah. We have a lot of people following, you know, pretty famous games, Unreal Tournament, Gears of War, you know, and be like at the face of those games all the time like uh, oh is this guy and then quit at some point and leaving communities behind every time you look as a developer or whatever industry you have a, fo a, a following if you quit or you move on or you you're gonna create a lot of people a lot of people will disagree with you you know a lot of people will disagree with you it does what happened. The guy, the guy was super controversial for that because even for because he he tried to, to take a rest. He tried at some point to take a rest. Let me quit. Come back later. People they didn't understand that. But right, yeah, I am taking dinner. Take yours. Yeah, that could be nice for me to take dinner. That could be pretty awesome. That's why I'm drinking coffee and drinking milk and stuff because I cannot, I cannot just take a break, you know. I cannot just take a break, especially now that we are just too far away from finish. I believe uh, I'm not really hungry either today. Right now, I'm not, I'm not really hungry, but I believe this this. Character, I'm gonna have to do another stream. 
in order to finish because even though it was a couple hours, those couple hours really makes a difference. Because without losing, without losing those uh, those two hours, without losing those two hours, the the time wasn't enough to finish a character. You know, there is a lot you can do in two hours. But without 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 losing those two hours. I still like a right there, you know, no time at all to finish a character. And now when you lose the two hours, it's like a no hope at all to finish in one day. Because 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 you didn't you don't have time in the first place, like five, six hours. It sounds like a lot of a lot of hours, right? Five, six hours to finish something, anything. But it's kind of hard to finish these characters in six hours because uh, this character has a lot of has a lot of the little details, a lot of little things. It takes a lot of more time to finish one of those characters. Well, when I begin this, I was I was doing a lot of hours for one card. Then then I kinda realize let me see if I can do it in, in less than in less than than all the hour in, in, in less uh, in less time, you know? In less than in less time I say like let me see if I can do it in less time. That's why I'm trying to only do in six hours the whole thing, you know? Finish it, the whole drawing thing in six hours because back in the days I was taking a long time a long time I said this is good can, this cannot be like that all the time I need to change it uh, and I change it it works for it works for a lot of characters but for other characters like a, it's not working a lot because those characters has like a lot of a lot of details, a lot of little things, you need more time to do the little things and everything. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, but we just, we just have to continue forward and, you know, hoping six hours is, is enough. That's how I do. I know how like I calculate it. You know, you go the faster you can. You go the faster you can, and hoping you can finish in six hours, six seven hours. That's all. That's how how it is. But it all depends on, on what you want to work. So you're working for a company or for a client. Of course, you need to you need to have a schedule. You need to have a. You cannot be weeks upon weeks upon weeks doing something. You know, you need to. Well, almost every single client that pays money, the one that the one that anything you do in art. They want it between a limit, you know. They want a limit. They, they they're gonna give you a limit, a time limit. They're not gonna tell you, oh, take the whatever time you want to finish it. No, they, they're gonna give you. Most of the time, it's like, a, hey, can you do this in a couple hours? Can you do this in in a one week? I need that. I need this for one week, or for the next Monday or something. They're always gonna put you like in that position, you know, like. We want it. We want it in this specific time limit. They're never gonna go to tell you like, oh no, do it, take your time, and do it, whatever you want. No, that's not that doesn't exist. Because <laughs> a lot of a lot of people, a lot of clients are people that know how to draw stuff. Sometimes they got another project. And they cannot do the project. They give it to you. You know. For for half of the price or less of the price, 
that they're gonna get in the, in the in, you know? Don't believe a lot of a lot of the clients are like uh, people that you don't even know. Uh, people that doesn't even know how to draw. A lot of a lot of those clients they know about art, everything. It, maybe they work for companies. You know, you know. It's pretty. It's pretty weird to find a customer that doesn't know nothing about drawing. Is willing to pay for something. You know, it, it doesn't know nothing about drawing. It's, it's kind of weird because when you have people like that, you know, that doesn't know how to draw anything, if they are willing to pay, most of the time, they're not going to pay the money that you, you're telling them to pay, you know. Most of the time, they. Yeah, they, they're always gonna, oh, can you give me, because they don't have no concept, you know, they have how much, how much time. Sorry, somebody was talking to me. Had to take one minute because somebody was talking to me. Telling me in 10 kids. 10 kids. That was, uh, that, that was, I was mute for a while. Yeah, I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> That's the problem. Well, people came over here. And crash into my stream. That's why I don't, I don't use uh, the camera. It's a lot of people just crash into my stream. Oh, what are you doing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Crazy situation, people. Wow, it took a while. Yeah, that's not the software, it's the computer. Computer map. This. The room is still hot. I got my AC that kind of keep it 
a little fresh, a little fresh, but not cold because uh, it's making a lot of, it's hot outside, man. Super hot outside. Demonic Kitty Judge, welcome to the stream. Demonic Kitty, welcome to the stream. So I hope you're coming ready to have some fun. How's it going, Demonic Kitty Judge? How'd you feel today? Yeah, the room is not, it's not cold, but it's just fresh. I got this little AC, mobile, portable, little AC. For our room, it's pretty good, but it still, see, if our size is too hot, it's not gonna work like a hundred percent. The Monica the Joy, I say tired from war, but pretty good, man. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine, having fun, doing the Titan today. Doing the Titan for the our love workers for our love workers fan Abu, which is looking, in my opinion, pretty nice, pretty awesome. Yeah, and talking to the peoples. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Wow, you had you had to work today, the Monica the Judge. Working on Sundays is pretty tough. I admire people that go Sundays and work because it's it's something that I I, I know I'm never gonna be able to do. I did it back in the days, but now it's like a a big no no for me. Well, good, good that you went to work and come back to the stream and come to the streams directly from work. Pretty awesome. I really appreciate that. The Monica de Joyo is cool. Yep. Yeah, it's hard to play to work in the in the in the weekends, man. The weekends for me is far. Yeah, back in the days I had to do it. Like in my country, you gotta do it. There is. Uh, it's, it's my country is normal to to work on Sundays and on Saturdays stuff like that. But over here in USA, I don't recommend them. Man. It's kind of it's kind of hard, you know, because you're tired, you wanna rest, but you have to do almost the same work that that you do normally. Because in my country we, we got it. we work on the Saturday and Sunday, but it's like a less work those days. Like a, you're gonna be there doing almost nothing. But at the time, the times I was working in this com in this country on Sunday and Saturday it was like a almost. This is it was the same work than than the week. Like pretty tough, pretty tough, man. I hope that's not your case, man. So you can go over there and work, do your thing, come back, no problem. Are you are you gonna stream today, Mr. The Money Girl? Yeah. Yes, looking pretty awesome. When I begin to do the shadow thing, the little shadows, the little things like that, it's gonna be, it's gonna be look better. Oh, I have to do a string with the, to do the, oh no, I know how to do the Titan thing again. You say, I believe it's the same, yeah, it's the same logo. I just, I just have to use the one for the law. I know how to use a different one or anything like that. The morning killer yo yo oh no no tonight dude I might try again next Saturday, next month in July. I will try hard to have better schedule. Yeah. 
Yeah, that could be nice. I literally, I literally can go to other people's streams on the weeks, but pretty late, pretty late at night after my stream, or in the weekends after this stream. That's how how I can do because in the morning I'm sleeping. Sometimes I had to do go grocery shopping like today. I had to go grocery shopping today. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard for me. But today, after the stream, I'm going to be giving the rate to somebody. So, so you're streaming tonight. You're going to get the rate tonight. I tried to give the rate to the people that that come into my channel. Yesterday I couldn't give the rate. My computer restart. It was so crazy. I didn't have I didn't have the mood to go to other people's stream. I was I was dumb, man. My computer my computer decided to restart in the middle of the stream. I only did like a five five hours, which is not bad. But I was, I was trying to do seven, eight hours yesterday. From Command and Conquer to Bait and Twilight. The BOD is available. <laughs> you want to check it out. But I was pissed, man. I was pissed. I began pissed because in the beginning, they began my streams. The computer told me right away, oh, we need to restart, but so you, you want to postpone for 11.34? I say okay, 11:34, you know, and I begin to stream. I forget about it and everything. Then come back again. Oh, you need to restart, you know. But they don't give me more time. Like, a, okay, you give me more time in the beginning. You tell me 11:34, you're gonna restart the computer. In 11:34, tell me the same thing. Or before, you know, they tell me the same thing. Tell me like, oh, 11:34, we're gonna well, give me more time. Give me oh. You can restart right now, or you can restart at three o'clock in the morning. You know, keep giving me options. No, it was like at oh, in level thirty-four, we are we are restarting the computer, so, so save you water, restart right now. Like really, dude? You not giving me more time? Not giving me more another time? Anything like that? I was so pissed, man. I said, I said to the people, people, see if my computer restart, I'm not gonna come back. And then when I get it. The second, the second advice, I say, people, I'm gonna finish the stream. I'm not gonna, I don't feel good, man. I'm not gonna take this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the streams right now because now my computer is the one that knows how much, how much I have to stream. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. The monarchy judge said in July I'm gonna try to stream more. This month has been pretty big, pretty rough because I am trying to work more than normal to make do with a few days I miss it. Yeah. Yeah, with this situation, with this situation it's hard. But yeah, I understand. As long you got always a plan, you know, and how you're gonna do the things, I believe it's good. Uh, there is no problem when you have a plan, you know, because the the all, when you have a plan, the only thing you have to do worry about is to execute it, you know, execute it. But you need to have a plan. So you don't have a plan. That you tell it to the people, oh, I don't know when I'm gonna stream. That's that's why the things are ugly. That's a, that's why there is no hope. But if you have a plan in July to come strong, it is pretty good. I always say the, the, the important part is to have a plan, you know. You have, you have a plan, you have the 50% of whatever you want to do done, basically. You know, 50% done. Because 50%, almost everything is, is required like 50% planning. You know, video games, whatever, house, you want to build a house, you need to plan your house, you know. As long as you have a plan, you're good. Yeah, not, uh, glad to hear that, the Monica de Joya, glad to hear that, that you got some plan to come back. 
on July pretty strong and I highly recommend it I highly recommend it not because I am here but I highly recommend it to to give it some streams in over here in the platform because this platform I, I, for people like you that are like a affiliate already it's it becoming pretty good you know it's becoming pretty good with many with many features when many features that you I believe you you're supposed to take advantage of those those many features the money could yeah yeah it will be more stream on Twitch now oh pretty good pretty good glad to hear yeah because uh, maybe back in the day it was not like that but now now they have a lot of features now I see like wow now it's pretty interesting to stream over here because these people are doing awesome stuff man awesome stuff you know and that's why I'm doing almost every day <laughs> I say no I want to take advantage of those or those things that sometimes at some point they're gonna go away you know I don't want they go gonna go away but we need to be realistic man we need to be realistic now they're doing awesome stuff maybe but we don't know until you know we don't know how many times we don't know until how long you know we don't know how long it's gonna stay that, like that because I remember remember I remember YouTube YouTube was awesome at the beginning but now it's like hard <laughs> now it's hard because many things happen eh? A, a lot of those regulations and stuff like that are coming over here, you know, but we need to uh, take advantage now before those regulations land 100% in the, in the Twitches, you know. In the Twitches. Yeah, people, next week we are planning to have a, like a indie games to play some indie games. I got a lot of indie games I want to play and I wanted to to give it a try. You know, it's not gonna be, it's not, not gonna be like, it's not gonna be like, uh, It's gonna be like a, it's not gonna be like a like long stream, seven hours stuff like that. It's gonna be like a gameplay stream more than anything, you know. Uh, I don't see myself playing five hours, six hour, six seven hours, uh, uh, in the arcade game because let, let's be honest, almost every single arcade uh, in the game, almost every single, no, no every single, but almost every single game in the game is like arcade. And I'm not like a fan of arcade games. Yeah, yeah, I am not like a fan of arcade games. But we need to try the indie games, you know? We need to try the indie games because, believe it or not, innovation is being done by the indies right now. Yeah, people. I don't know what happened with the AAA industry. They tried to make, like, mobile kind of games. And I hear like a lot of people from the AAA, they want to do like a simple games, uh, simple experience, you know, by sites, by sites uh, stuff, <laughs> you know, yeah, because they talk like it's food or something, like a, it's a snack, snack size games, stuff like that, what are the indie, one, indie games are doing like a pretty awesome stuff, bigger games and more immersive games. Everything is, is going like a around, you know. The indie games wanna big games and the and the AAA games want like a little games, you know. It's, it's kind of crazy situation. Um, if from the AAA, for AAA developers, we got the same games. We got the shooting game. We got the RPG game. You know, we got the we got the, the same thing. 
you know, we, we got the same thing. I'm not gonna say the indie developers are not doing the same thing. They they, they kind of repeating the the wheel too, but but they do it meaningful, more meaningful, you know. Uh, the history and everything is happening. He's doing it pretty good. It's easy. It's easy to find a game going for a triple A game for a triple A developer. That is like a cops and robbers. That's it. <laughs> That's the history. It's, it's bad guys over here. You need to stop it. That's it. You know, while like indie games has like a this deep, very deep, uh, pretty deep uh, lore behind it. Maybe no the nicest graphics, bro. They got like a this deep lore. Everything has like a almost every single game that they have playing from the the indie games. It's like a, they have this deep, pretty awesome history behind it. You know, very simple game play mechanics that you can understand right away. Yeah, you see, it feels it feels more quality for a lot of indie indie developers. Like they try to bring more qualities. The AAA developers, they, they are done with quality. The only quality they bring it is like a more graphics, which is good, but it's just beautiful, boring games. Demonically just I imagine if I, if if one of the cloud gaming service makes a new genre of game, one that is reliant on server farm or some kind of cloud exclusive. Oh, that could be pretty awesome, Demonically Georgia. That could be pretty awesome, but I don't know. See, you don't have nothing in mind. What could it be? I believe it's gonna be pretty hard to find something like that because cloud servers they are more faster than normal servers. They are that's the thing that the people are using right now because uh, easy to upgrade and everything. But the the idea to have a game living in a server or something like that or or the idea to host serve uh, to host game server is not new so i don't believe cloud service bringing nothing new maybe a service exclusive mmo yeah that's what i'm trying to say it's like a what could it be because uh the idea of hosting games in a server is not new. It's like, yeah, that, that could be something, but we got games already like that. We got like, a, we got the 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 Avon lines, you know. We got the Planet Side Twos. We got the Planet Side 2s, we got the Eve Lines, we got the World Warcraft, so look, what kind of stuff you can put a, in a game that is going to be like different, you know? The Monarchy is something that allows a lot of players on at the same time, but it isn't normal. The Monarchy is like an FPS with hundreds of people. Planet Side 2 does that. Planet Side 2, you can have. Uh, Planet Side 2, you can have like 2,000 people for server. No, a thousand, some, almost 2,000. A lot of people for server. A, a thousand people. 500 and 500. Yeah, it's hard. It is hard. No, you're going in the right direction. The Monica de Jojo, you're going in the right direction. The problem is it is hard to find something that has to be like a, like you say, like a something exclusive from cloud that you can do. Because because look look at this. This is Evil Line, look, Evil Line, right? Like execute Evil Line. Evil Line is like a one server one server uh, one server everybody's in one server the service is called tranquility yeah, tranquility server 
is the one server. You know how many people are in that server? 20,000 people already, right now. 20,000 people in Evo Online playing. I don't know if you can see it. I know, it's over there. Tranquility, 20,000. Evo Online is a marvelous or innovation. You know, that you can put a lot of people together in that. That game, that game has the, the system that can hold a lot of people. 20,000 people in one server is a lot of people in one place. They, ha they are a single chart. The architecture is like a proprietary stuff. Even companies like Intel and NVIDIA has been working with them to learn new stuff and to improve stuff in, the, in this game. Yeah, it's, it's a it's online. It's a it's still there because of that because it's it's not normal. It's not normal game. It's, it's again the the it bring that innovation, the single single chart server stuff. What what I believe, cloud ga cloud cloud gaming, streaming service gaming is bringing a lot of new no new stuff, but it's bringing a lot of. It's, it's bringing a lot of stuff that I, uh, or I like a cloud-based only stuff. You know, for example, you can you can install a game in a couple seconds. You know, for example, I don't know if I'm gonna make I'm gonna be able to do it. <laughs> in even in, in Steam only three thousand Steam. But Evo Online is, is outside the Steam too, so don't take those like a, like a the only peoples. Yeah, check it out. I'm gonna go to the NVIDIA GeForce now, just to show you. These are the these are the games, these are the games that I have, you know, that I have in, basically installed, you know. And this, let me see the free to play. And these are the games that they offer that I never installed. I can I can get basically this Cuisine Royale game that I never play. Look, click play. You know, click play. Uh, they install it for me in a couple seconds. You're gonna see. Look, it's installing, updating pretty fast. Dumb. Everything is dumb. I'm gonna wait a little bit before punching over here because sometimes they they launch by themselves. Yeah, I had to I had to click it. Some game does that. But look, you see, it's not installed. Look at two minutes. Two minutes, 50, 57 seconds. It's gonna be installed. Six gigabytes. Agree. It's gonna be right away. Uh, this is not happening in my internet. This is not my internet. I, I'm not using my internet for that. That's why I'm, I'm able to stream. Um, I'm doing this because it's, this. Look, yeah, that's it. It's already there. It's already there. Look, it's downloaded. That's a six gigabytes in a couple minutes. Downloaded. Ready to play. You see, ready to play. Let's click it. Let's click it right away. You see? Pretty easy. Not even five minutes. Couple minutes. You know? I had to click in this game. I had to click a couple more times, but almost every single game you click once. That's it. Then install it right away. In this one, it took a little bit more. But other games is like a super fast. You know? It doesn't. It doesn't interfere with my internet or anything like that. Look, it's it's, it's 
is running already, you see? Lo login BST and everything. No problem at all. So cloud cloud gaming, cloud streaming, gaming thing is basically bringing something already. Let me take him out. It's bringing something already into the. <laughs> now I got that that game in my. Look at that guy. How now that guy? I got that game in my in my in my library. Cloud gaming already is uh, is bringing something like a those fast install. You know. It it saved you. It saved the. Uh, it saved. Uh, um, it saved. Uh, a space in your computer too, which is a must. That game installed in in their server. The, 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 it didn't install in my computers, so this is pretty good. But uh, to make a game around that, I don't know how. You know, but it can allow that, that can allow that can allow to make like a huge games. That could be nice, like a huge open world games. The infinite. Because we got No Man's Sky, that's pretty huge, you know. We got Elite Dangerous, that is pretty huge too. So I don't know. I don't really. I don't really don't know what can what can we do different with the cloud gaming. Very fast on stars, but make a game around that. I don't know how, but that could that 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 is pretty good, you know. It was like a console. It's like a. That's the only way I believe computers gonna work like a console with a streaming service, with cloud-based streaming service. I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. Cloud service. When they when they begin the when they did at the beginning, it was clunky. It was difficult. Some games didn't work well. Some games work. Now. That we can play Quake Champions, <laughs> you know, we can play racing games, racing games. I, I'm happy with the with the service. Like, uh, man, these people, there is future right there, you know. That's the future right there. Uh, it'll get more from Ubisoft. They they say, you know, it'll, it'll get more from Ubisoft. The CEO of Ubisoft. Uh, this guy, if game mode, he said long time ago. This guy, let me give it this one. He said long time ago. You know, look at look at look over there. Ubisoft CEO says streaming will eventually replace dedicated. You know, he said he said maybe he saw something pretty cool. At that time when he say that, but he he kill it, he kill it, you know. We replace dedicated gaming machines, you know. For me, it's happening, <laughs> you know. For me, it's happening. And I don't know for other people, but for me, it's happening right now. I don't have to to go to any other place or anything, and I'm looking forward. To not use dedicated anymore. I'm looking forward to go full stream because I believe it's good and it's, it's gonna be it's gonna become better. It's gonna become better. He said, I don't know. At that time, he said that like a long time ago. He said that 2018 when nobody was talking about streaming. You know. Maybe in BG Force was like a around maybe Shadow, but nobody was talking about those services. You know, nobody was talking about those services. He said, you "No, know, maybe he saw something pretty promising." You know, maybe he saw something very promising. And he said, "Yeah, that's what's gonna happen." He's his friend. He's a French guy. He's from French. You know, uh, he kill it right there. You know, and he—I hope he do—he does the stuff. 
Because it doesn't matter if you believe something, you gotta work on that, right? He gotta bring something to the table now that now that he basically now he basically uh, set in stone what's gonna happen with the future of gaming. You know, he need to be one of the first. To bring something pretty good, and I believe Ubisoft is working on something. I believe Ubisoft, Ubisoft is working on something. The problem, the problem with streaming cloud right now, is like the companies that are doing it are companies that are dedicated on that only. Companies like Ubisoft that make games and make this and that and that, uh, like Google. I don't believe. Uh, I don't, I don't, it's going to be hard for them, you know, it, it was hard for Google, because Google has so many things in the bed, so many things, are, you know, at the same time. I don't know, see yourself, you're going to be able to pull it off. NVIDIA, NVIDIA is like a, basically the only company that is doing it right, and uh, it's a company that is not like a dedicated to to that kind of technology. The only one I see like uh, is dedicated to streaming, cl uh, gaming, stuff like that. Shadow, Shadow is. It, 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 they, they don't even. It, they don't even. It's about gaming, you know. The, you can game over there, but it's not about gaming. It's about having a full computer. You know what I'm talking about? It's hard to find, like a, a space, a. a a, a, comp uh, a company that is just cloud gaming or something like that. A lot of them do something different too, or they don't do, they don't rely on cloud gaming, you know. So that's why maybe they're treating. Maybe it's going slow. That's why maybe they're going slow and treating that like a, something that is not for everybody, because. Uh, their money doesn't come from that, it comes from other things, you know. But in the future we are gonna have, we are gonna see dedicated companies, dedicated companies doing cloud offering their cloud gaming stuff. I'm pretty sure man. once they once they, a lot of people once the the technology get there because let me tell you I'm able to play cloud a shadow, I'm able to play NVIDIA, you know. But still, the technology is not there. It's not there for 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 everybody, you know. It's not like uh, you still need a uh, internet. You still need like a. I'm not gonna say like a crazy internet, but you still need some internet, you know. Twenty twenty megabytes at least. Twenty megabytes at least. Uh, for some people, it, it's a it's easy. For other people, it's not. For other people, it's not easy because sometimes in the states or in the country that they live, they don't offer. You know, if you gonna go for G or something like that, it has to be for G LTE or something like that. It has to be a pretty good, pretty good amount of data. The money kitty judge says, "Yeah, my guess would be a lot of the companies out there are afraid of the amount of money it probably costs to launch something like that." Yeah, it's crazy. That's why you see like uh, companies that are doing something else, doing it. The only one, Charo is the only one company that that is like a dedicated to a streaming. It's because it's not just gaming, you know. It's not just gaming. It's just a full computer. But the other companies, they do something else. Nvidia do some graphics card. They do all kind of stuff. Google does the Google, you know, all the all the stuff that Google does. The Android, the, you know. Maybe in the future we're gonna find dedicated because it's, it is hard. You know, the technology is not there. That's why that's why I say the technology is still not there. The client needs need to have a decent internet connection. The, the company itself that offer the server it needs to it needs to pretty crazy servers in, you know it's not easy basically state of the art servers in order to run all, all of that and 
they cannot offer it to everybody either because there is a there is a geographic problem you know you need to be close to the servers I'm good because I got MIT at, at 30 minutes I got the MIT I got the Harvard so my internet over here is pretty good because we got pretty awesome universities and stuff like that over here in Boston I'm not living in Boston but I'm pretty close you know so that's one of the things so you are like that in a place or close to a place that is like that you know <laughs> they use the internet a lot you're not gonna have a problem but not everybody is like that so once you go commercial to everybody you need to you need to offer it to everybody you cannot be like uh, oh no sorry we cannot offer you today you know companies does that bro that's not the that's not the goal that's not what you're supposed to do <laughs> you know but yeah uh, I'm pretty happy they are moving that over there you know the risk there is a lot of risk let me tell you the games that you download uh, the games that you buy becoming like a it becoming like a harder and harder to to have like a some kind of ownership on those games you know because cloud gaming the day let me tell you NVIDIA GeForce now and Shadow has been pretty good for me but there is some days there is some days I cannot get in in those days uh, I need to wait for them to you know, to fix that thing. It was day I cannot play. The days, those days I cannot play. I'm being lucky, but those, I got like a few weekends that I wanna play at certain times. I cannot play. It's like a wow. I cannot play now, man. I wanna play. You know, you have to wait for the for the service to update or their servers or everything. But one good thing that it doesn't last the whole day. You know, it's not it's not something that lasts the whole day. It's something that maybe lasts a couple of hours, and then you're gonna be able to play. You know, totally different from when you have your computer. The, when you have the game in your computer, you can play anywhere, any moment. You don't have to wait for nobody. Especially if it's a game like a Cyberpunk 2077. It's gonna be single player. You know, and stuff like that. But. Uh, but at the same time stuff like that happens right now not for the same reason but the stuff like that happens right now because a lot of people already has like a digital games digital downloaded games that no physical copies um, companies like Sting, GOG I believe they're doing it pretty good JG, GOG, Guru Games they specialize in all games. They got like a a lot of old games over there. Uh, they are supporting it. So uh, it's a risk, but I don't believe we need to worry about it because uh, they kind of make sure you got your games available all the time, you know. But but it's a, it, it is true. The more technology we got in our games, the the less you own those games the less ownership you have on those games you know is, is, is the more risky is the most risk to not play it again like a low breakers you know we got low breakers we play low breakers but we don't have physical copies of low breakers we cannot play, we cannot make land we cannot make service we cannot do nothing so it's, that risk is is it's gonna be always there man <laughs> the risk that one day that game that you like to play is not gonna be around you know there's something that that it happens on physical copies too you know it happens on physical copies too because you can have a physical game it then not be able to run it anymore because the computer or they so so much that doesn't run that game that happens with a lot of games that's what that's why we got good old games that's why we got GOG because a lot of games it was so old that you cannot even play anymore 
but thanks to GOG, we can go over there and buy games that are pretty old that nobody support it, but they support it, you know. So it, that, that even hap that even happened with physical games, you know. I play uh, Microsoft Simulator on Steam because my physical copy, my my physical copy of Microsoft Simulator, I cannot install it anymore. This this computer doesn't have uh, doesn't have the the, the CD ROM over there. So I don't have, I cannot install it anymore. I don't have no disk drive in, my, in this computer. So I cannot, I cannot install it anymore. It's stuff like that happens all the time. It's stuff like that happens all the time, man. So it's a risk, but it's, it's, it's a risk that nobody can avoid it. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be there all the time, lurking. To see who is gonna gonna take the bait. Looking to see who is gonna be his his next big team. Yeah, this is looking pretty pretty nice. I believe. I did the whole. I can hide this one. Yeah, I really can hide this one, so I don't have that over there. Um, let me see if I can get the. Let me see if I can get the the other. The Titan. Titan logo thingy. Yeah, part of, part of the accepting new technology is to. It's to really realize what is the problem is, you know. It's to know what is the where where, where is the real problem uh, is because uh, we live in a culture. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> We live in a culture where the people like to complain about everything without realizing. See that thing is, is good for them or is bad for them, you know, without knowing this the stuff. That's what I see, that's what I see all day, man. That's what I see all day. People no wanna support some stuff because they believe. I believe this could happen. Everything in life is like that, you know. You make a pl airplane, you buy an airplane. Yeah, nobody likes it, bro. So you're not careful, the airplane can go, woo you know. You buy a car. Uh, so you're not careful, the car could do crazy things like. You always have that. That risk is always there, you know. That risk is always there. Nobody, how you avoid? Just, there is no way to avoid it. The only way to avoid it is to try to be careful and hope for the better. That's what it is. Try to be careful and hope for the better. But. Just be like, oh no, I'm not gonna get the streaming service because uh, it's not gonna work for me or my games. Like one day they can take all my games. That's true. That could happen, but it could happen right now. You know, it can happen with the physical copies too. How? They can they can send an, an update. They can you can fight it. So you got a physical copy, you can fight it. You know. There is so many games I got for Xbox I cannot play in the Xbox because they don't support it no more. It, it, I cannot get the update anymore, you know. But you can fight, you can mod it, make sure that you know. But you're gonna do that? I don't believe no a lot of people are willing to be modif modding and 
and do something to play again, you know. Some people could do it, but it's not like uh, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I believe that's, that's a risk that everybody has to take. You know, one day, one day you can have a problem with your, with your games. The money could, yeah, as long as I own the games, I won't worry about that. Yeah, but that's the main problem. The the cloud service, the cloud service makes basically makes the less ownership to you, you know, less ownership you, to you. But they have, co I I don't know if they have contract contracts in place to avoid that kind of stuff, you know. But. It's a complicated situation, you know. Like you don't in the cloud server, you don't know nothing. One day they can go away. If you, <laughs> if you lose all your games. That's why. That's why Nvidia GeForce do GeForce is doing it good, and cloud and Charo because Nvidia is linking you a Steam account. You know, it's not like a games that they serve. And Shadow. You can you can install and sting in shadow and play over there. So basically those two services are doing it right. You know, because Sting is doing a pretty good job by keeping your games out there, you know. Nobody is like a nobody having problems like oh my whole library my my whole library is gone or anything like that. You know, uh, until now it has been Good, you know. Yeah. Uh, but not every single company is like that, you know. So I hope nothing, nothing like that happened. But but that's a risk. That's a risk that that is there. You know, one day they could go away. And everything is everything you bought it, the three hundred dollars on games that you bought it, the four hundred dollars of games you bought it. More than that could be say bye bye. The Monica Joya says I love Puffy's welcome to the stream. I love Puffy's welcome to the stream. So how you come ready to have some fun. That is one it's one of our game our goals is for you to have farms. Oh, Love Buffy says, how do you get a stream card? It's pretty easy. You watch the streams. If you might automatically get points for the stream laps, backcourt points, you know. You see, you have, if you have 200 points, you can get a Steam gift card, a five bucks Steam gift card. By clicking on the on the screen at any moment, you click it on the screen behind the little square over there. Select redeem backup points. If you select into a Steam gift card or Minecraft Minecraft servers, you know you can join our Minecraft servers too if you want it. That is on live right now. Pretty nice. It's a pretty nice. Uh, system pretty easy nothing complicated man the money can you just say that was that was a problem with on life their games were purchased and on it through on life only yeah towards the end of their life they started to link games to your Steam account but by the time it was too late and the company went under yeah, I remember the, the the Steam Link options that they have for the people that want uh, to get the, the for the people that that play uh, the board games on live, they can play on the Steam. I remember that, but uh, yeah, I had to play. I had to buy 
games on live too. Games that I already own on Steam, like a Borderlands, I bought it, I bought it on, on Steam and bought it on live. Another game that I did that was uh, a submarine one. The I don't know how, how they call it. It's a submarine game. They had to buy it in on life and on Steam too. Let me see if I can show you the submarine. It's pretty nice. I don't even know if they have, still have the. See, they still have the. The store open. Silent Hunter 5, this one. This one was the one I bought it on life. This one. A lot of people was playing it too on life. But this release day is wrong. March 2010. I don't believe this. This game is older than that. I don't know. This thing has like a crazy, crazy skate, crazy, crazy dates. Yeah, this this game I have on on, on life too. When your life went down, let me see on life. On life, Wikipedia, Wikipedia. Yeah, on life it was from oh yeah, from 2009 to 2015. Yeah, that that game I was playing. Why was it 2015? Couple of years only. Let me see the phone 2012. Liquidation then Phoenix in 2015. Oh, yeah, 2012. 2012. We're going on there. Say, wow. Everybody has like a, the wrong the wrong date. Yeah, 2012. Yeah. Founded in 2003. I believe the founder, this guy Steve Perma is the, is the guy that... Yeah, he created QuickTime, WebTV and PSELF. MOBA. He created a lot of stuff, that guy. That's why OnLife was able to work in the way they work, because they got like... Uh, the WebTV technology. I believe, yeah, that was the... That online was using it. <laughs> With the service 2008. Yeah. Yeah, I used to play that game, the, the submarine game. I bought like a two games only. But I, I was I was more watching people play than play my by, my by myself. I was like a more watching people. Watching people online was awesome. You know? Uh, something like that could because it didn't require a chat you could, you didn't require it to chat it was like a giving likes or oh they, they were getting earning points by giving likes and stuff like that was 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 a pretty awesome streaming thing the monarchy yeah, is nice I don't remember seeing that game oh yeah that game that guy was there, I was Borderlands one, Borderlands and uh, at the submarine one. You know, let me see if I can, let me see if I can show you the, let me see if I can find the, the on live, on live games when they launch. Maybe it's, maybe it's in the Wikipedia. Let me see if I can. They talk about the games. Oh, this is this is the console. I remember the console, the controller too. They got the controller. Controller is pretty good. One of the best controllers I, I ever seen. Pretty awesome, beautiful. The console, the that was a micro console. 
Yeah, the Micron console. They got this one. Oh, I believe it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same console. Different views. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can find the the games. They got Bad Mark and Silent. Assassin's Creed 2. D3, I remember D3. I play, I bought it. I bought it that one too. Unreal Tournament 3. They got more games. They're always talking about those little games, bro. They got more games. Crazy Warhead. I, I never, I never see Crazy Warhead on life. I never play over there. But it could be nice. It could be a very good selling point if they put it there, but I never see it there. Well they don't they don't show the line now. That's weird that they don't show the line now of, of of games. But I can I can check it out the footage of the selling hunter. Selling hunter does it does it again? Silent Hunter 5 on life. I don't believe I'm gonna find any footage on life of this game. Because it's, it's, that was too far away, man. That was fine. I believe YouTube wasn't. Oh, YouTube, YouTube was there because my channel was in 2006, so YouTube was around, but. Wow, everything. The problem with on live, that word on live, it always got confused with online. Every time, everything goes like online, online. No, it's not online, it's own life. Let me see if I can find the own life liner. Let me see, own life gain list. Oh, Giant Bone has a list. Look. Yeah. Alpha Khan, welcome to the stream. Alpha Khan TB, welcome to the stream. So I hope you're coming ready. What's on phone? Mr. Alpha Khan TB. Lurking. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you for the luck, man. I really appreciate your support. It is pretty nice, pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Whoa, there's so many games, man. So many games. Let me see if I can find the silent one. Silent. Silent. Silent thingy. And border. Let me see if this border. Borderland was there, yeah? Um, silent Hunter. Silent Hunter. Oh, they're missing Silent Hunter. Look at the D D D sex. What happened with the with the sal Oh, it's only thirty-four titles that they have over here. Oh, next page. Next page. Let me see if I, they got over here Silent. Silent Assassin. Only one. Let me go to the next page. Why always Giant Bone is the is the one that has like a, the other games? <coughs> Look over here, you see? Silent Hunter. Battle of, of the Atlantic. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, they have the they have like they have many games, man. They have many games that 
like a deal tree, a split seconds. Remember split seconds? That was required to have a pretty good connection to play because racing games in on life you need to have a connection, man. If they were, if they said it was good at that for the time. At that time, yeah, it's pretty sick. A super fun racing game. Yeah, I wanna play, man. I wanna play. I wanna play a split second. Split second is pretty good. It's one of the very creative game. The monarchy just. I found a recent article of him being interviewed. It's from a year ago. I will try to read it later. Because I always been interested in what he did after on life. Yeah, Steve Perman. I believe. Yeah, I, I didn't know nothing about him after on life. I never, I never knew nothing about about him after on life. Never. Never heard about about him anymore. That's weird, man. Well, uh, Yahoo, Yahoo is so good for pictures, man. <laughs> is uh, I believe uh, Google used to be like that. If for some reason they take him out. The Monica Joya, I still have the console and multiple controllers. They were a slick. Oh, you still have the the console and everything? Wow, you should keep it, man. You should keep it, man. Because uh, that's, a, that's a part of the history of the gaming. Yeah, man, take care of that. That's part of the history of the game right there. The first streaming service, man, that that's gonna that's huge. This man, I, I always wanted a console on like console. I can I I believe I can get one. Because I believe everybody anybody that that play that, that, that got a service uh, they should they should get <laughs> Yeah, they should, they should, they should get some, some kind of, some kind of, of, of life piece. It's part of the history, man. There is no deny. It is part of the history, man. There is no deny. Yeah. But it is what it is, man. It's, it's something that it was ahead of this time. I believe that's one of the main problems of the whole life. It's like nobody understood. Nobody understood. Nobody get it. Nobody get it. People. You need to be like a, a person that really knows about technology back in the days. I really know what's going on in the around in order to in order to understand why so light was all about because it basically was the first service to try to do something for everybody man it, it was mind blowing man it was mind blowing it's still mind blowing how they did the stuff because now it looks so it's look very software like right you can be the force now it looks nice but it, it looks like a very software application wise you know it's like a, an application like a normal thing you see you got shadow is the same thing it's like a window with it you know but live was like a you push that you execute on live it was like a freaking it was like a freaking ceremony, man. <laughs> like a wow. It was blown. Since the beginning of life, it was like a mind blowing, man. It's like a what? You see all those screens and coming coming down to the planet and everything. That was super crazy stuff for uh, for the first service like that. Like, they went all out, man. They were super crazy. 
The guy, this guy was like a. They went big. There is no deny. It was not denied, man. But I, at that time, was everybody was like a physical disc and everything. I, they, it was too ahead of this time, man. It was too ahead of this time. If the other company that bought light didn't didn't do nothing to keep it. Because let me tell you, when you are when you have an idea that is ahead of this time, if you know it's gonna work in the future, you know that that is gonna do. You have to keep it. You have to. You have to have plans to bring it back in the future, or to keep it alive, you know, to keep it alive in low profile mode, maybe at least. Because look at now, look, look at now, now everybody wants, uh, you know, now companies are doing good. Look at Nvidia, Nvidia is doing good with streaming. Look at Google, Google want to be in the streaming service, like a, you know. He is struggling, bro. They they fighting, they fighting that. You know, you got Chato, a French company that nobody nobody heard about, it, doing the the same thing. So at some point, a streaming service is gonna be huge. You know, and let me tell you something. Chato is doing, is trying to do VR. Chato Chato is trying to do VR in in streaming like that. So you get your headset and you're gonna have to maybe wireless headset without any cable or anything like that a streaming games directly to the headset you not even need a computer or anything like that. that that's gonna be huge if they do something like that it's gonna be huge man play any game any moment pretty quick install VR no computer, no nothing. Huge for VR. If Shadow is doing, Shadow is, uh, Shadow is trying to, to go like that. This is the paper for Shadow. You know, let me see, uh, Discover. Discover is? Yeah, I believe it's, it's over here in Discover. Technology Shadow Ghost <coughs> Let me see community Yeah I believe I believe it's over here they're talking about BR and stuff like that like what see more articles You shadow VR you see BR my friend You might have a hex that you can install the games directly from B, from B, from the VR and run any 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 VR game. That's gonna be huge for Shadow. That is gonna be huge. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. You got a headset. You stream. You don't need computer to run the hexes. Remember now, VR is very. A lot of people don't 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 use it because it's expensive. You got a headset that costs like a thousand dollars or maybe close to. And then you have a. You need to have a computer to move that. See, they do VR. You don't need computer or anything like that. Just the headset that can stream games directly to the headset. Just like just like the service. It's gonna be crazy, man. I'm telling you, man. It's gonna be crazy. See, they go like that. See, they go like a oh, you need a you need a console to connect the VR. I believe I believe VR it needs to be wireless in order to be appealing. You know, it needs to be wireless, just like the the Oculus Quest, just like the Oculus Quest. That doesn't require a computer. Yeah, just like this, the Oculus Quest. 
de, de, de dat ze neer kon puren. Uh, it is to be like this. No cables, nothing. You know? And maybe eight hours. Maybe, uh, maybe you're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna last eight hours, but maybe a battery with eight hours. Nice. Yeah, this is pretty nice. It's not expensive. It's not expensive at all. 500 bucks. You got everything over here in the headset. Of course, the graphics are not the same graphics that that the one they use in computer, but I believe it's a pretty awesome headset. Look at how many games you can play there. It's a pretty nice headset. See, if I get it, I only get it for VHR because VHR is the only thing that. That's why. That's why I don't. I don't have a headset right now. Because the only one, the only thing I can, I, I can use is for VHR. I can use VHR without headsets, you know. <laughs> Look at the, this one. This one was the first one. Oculus Go was the first one. But does it have the does it have the features of the of the Oculus Quest? It's not not even close. Not even close. But the one the one that I wanna get is the, the quest. Oculus Quest. It's the one that has all the features, all the stuff. It's pretty nice. Nicey, yeah. It's pretty good. That gaming gaming right now is 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 is, is being pretty awesome. But I still don't. I, I still. I still not sell in the idea of having something in my face, a strap in my face. That's the only thing that kind of kind of stop me to get a one of those. Being disconnected from reality, basically, it's not my. It's not my. It's not my. It's not my, it's not my idea of play. I want to play, but I want to be able to to see what is around me and everything. I don't want to be like a disconnected 100% from the reality. But people that they can do it and, and doing it and having fun, they're having a blast right now. They are having a blast right now, man. Oh, this thing. Oh, I didn't check this thing over here. Let me see if I can. Can I fix it? Can I fix it? Can I fix it? Let me see. Oh. Let me see if I can. If I can, I fix it. But I don't get it. What? How they how they get over there because it's kinda I don't see the problem. Oh maybe it's down there. Maybe this is part of the Yeah, maybe it's, it's this is this is this No Yeah, this is sometimes happen stuff like that. Like, uh, you don't even know how it happened, but it happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it manual, basically. Manually. Sometimes happen stuff like that. You don't even know how that happens. If you look forever, look forever, you don't find the solution either. That's why I'm gonna do it like that. Pretty fast. Nobody got time for that, you know? At the last minute. Yeah, the Monica enjoyed that. So many awesome stuff is coming. So many awesome stuffs are coming. And when people when people begin to do like a 
the augmented reality stuff is gonna be more crazy. It's gonna be huge. The re the augmented reality stuff is gonna be huge. Huge, huge, huge. Be be able to see around. Be able to put a glasses. See the real life augmented. Like a, you look at a chair. You be able to to change the color of the chair without painting it. You know. Or be able to to know information about something right away. That could be nice. A mental reality is, is going to be huge too. That's why a lot of people are not getting VR because they're more interested in augmented reality than VR because VR kind of escape you from reality but augmented reality, augmented reality is the same reality augmented, you know. You can see everything around you a little bit more. Like uh, your room, you put your glasses, augmented reality. If you paint, you change the color of your room from the comfort of your bed and put everything you want in the walls, everywhere, you know. You put your room in different color. Of course, it's not going to be like that in reality, but... You can customize stuff with augmented reality, you know. It's gonna be pretty awesome. You know, have different different monitors. Put like a ten monitors around you while I watch it, while I see the reality. You can put monitors and have like a pretty awesome setup. You know, pretty awesome computer with, with like a twenty monitors. Or crazy stuff like that. <laughs> that's gonna, man. Let me tell you, that's gonna, that's, that's gonna be crazy when when the augmented reality get better. On when the Hololens get better, it's gonna be crazy. There is a lot of stuff that a lot of those companies they're making television and stuff like that. They're gonna have to stop making televisions. They're gonna have to stop because it's not gonna make sense to have television anymore. Just pop with those glasses. And, and you can see everything. Manipulate everything. That is gonna be crazy. I'm pretty excited for many many things uh, many technologies that uh, I'm being developed right now. Very excited about many things that are coming. Yeah. People are gonna take one minute, one minute only. I'm gonna get some coffee, some stuff. And when 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 we, when I came back, we are gonna continue drawing the thing is, you know, we are gonna continue doing the thing is, so don't go anywhere, you know, keep watching some low breakers footage, which is the game, the game where, where we are doing the catches from, yeah, so don't go anywhere, I'm coming back in a couple minutes.
Yeah, people are here. I'm back, and I'm back for more. Love Brook is fun. Hard book. This is pretty nice. Well, this music, even even the slow music, it, it, it kind of suits perfectly the videos of Love Records. Can I go together and see, ah, and see the, the, the landscape and everything? <laughs> it suits pretty good. I was watching and the other with the other song, the other trailer. I say, wow, it goes like a very kind of coordinated. Yeah, man, I don't know. Little worker, it needs to come back, man. Little worker needs to come back in some way, shape, or form, man. You cannot find, you cannot find a game like this. You no cannot find a game like this. That's crazy. What's happening with low breakers and the gaming community is crazy because okay, don't bring low breakers back, but at least bring, bring give me a, a game like this. You know, don't bring low breakers back, but at least give me something similar. There is nothing in the market like this. I'm gonna have to look for similar games like Lowbreak and Google to see what, what they bring me. You know? I'm gonna have to do a search in Google. Let me see similar games games to low low breakers. A lot of them dead. Paragon, Battleborn. Battleborn could be the Quake Champions. Gigante dead. The cooling is not similar. Paladin is not similar. Rising Star, no, they just put in the stuff. What similar games we have every to the breakers? Games like the breakers. Let me see what, what, let me see if they got a good list. Let me see if they got a good list of game like low breakers. Game like low breakers. A split gate. Could be Titanfall 2, could be, yeah. Quake Champion, yeah. Team 42, yeah, of course. Team 42, but it's, it's too far away. Oh, mid, mid air. Yeah, that, that, I, I, I cannot forget about that game. The mid-air game. Yeah, that one. Somebody told me, yeah, it's pretty similar to Love Breakers. Tribes Ascend. Yeah, Tribes Ascend too. Pound. <laughs> oh, it was in the beginning. Alpha gay. <laughs> yeah, me. They, they, this one. I was looking forward to check it out. This one. Yeah, but this one looks more like a tribes, more than the breakers. Yeah, basically, this is tribes. You know what I'm talking about? At least tribes, maybe the original. Nobody's playing it, bro. They did, they did his own tribes. Look at me there. They got this game going on. It's basically uh, tribes. Well, we cannot have that with low breakers. Like, uh, okay, don't bring low breakers, bro. Bring me similar again, like low breakers, man. I'm gonna try this one mid air because oh, it's free too. Oh, I'm gonna try tonight. I'm gonna see if I can try tonight. No. Let me see the charts. Oh, 
Wow. It looks like a <laughs> it looks like a nice playing it. But I'm gonna try it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if nobody is playing it. The best way to know if a game is playing it is by going directly into the game. Going to the charts. I use the charts, but I don't take that like a, the definitive. Let me see Trice. Trice is still there. I don't even know. Trice of Midgard. This is another tribe. I said. Oh, they. I believe they remove it. They remove tribes. They remove tribes. I said. I believe. Yeah. High res. Yeah. The high res is a company that that they close a lot of games, man. Yeah. Wow. They, they close. They close tribes. They only says Real Royale, Paladins, and Smile. Not even Global Agenda, not even Trust, nothing. It's like, we all. The three games that are making money from him. That's it. That's crazy, man. And they, they abandoned tribes, basically. It wasn't like a. It wasn't like a, the game was doing bad or anything like that. I heard like a, they, they just closed it because Smile was doing pretty good or something like that. Something like a Apex with something like Apex with the with the Paragons. Like oh, let's close this game because for nice making the money. What about the community? What about the people that like the game? Don't think about it, man. They will, they will move on to another game. Which is something super crazy, man. That stuff like that happens. So. How you close a pretty... A game that is... A game that... Maybe not doing good, but it still have a community behind it, you know? I never understood. I never understood that. How people... How comp companies does that. Because look at Paragon. Paragon not even release. Paragon not even release a, like like full, right? I believe it was like a, still a, like a beat or something. Did they just close? Like a, at least give it some chance, man. <laughs> give it some, you know. Now that you're making money with another gang. Because that's that's one of the reason. That's one of the reason you're making money because you're making money when another gang. again. Take part of that money. Or the resources and put in the other game like that. The the Paragon, the, the low breakers closure was it had more sense than the Paragon one because the Paragon one, okay, Epic Games is doing good with Fortnite, you know, you're making money for Fortnite, put more content in Fortnite, but put more content in Paragon, like. Keep Paragon alive because you you making money with Fortnite, you know. I don't know something like that. Like you making money, a lot of money. Put some, put some money in Paragon, you know. Keep keep the team, make another team, you know. Make another team f to keep Paragon alive. No, the year's closer. Like Paragon's not doing money. No, it's not doing money. Let's close it. Yeah, Paragon is not doing money, but. But you got the Fortnite is doing money for you, so why close another game? That isn't because Unreal Tournament is not doing money, but they're still there, you know. So I, the Paragon one was crazy, man. I don't, I don't get it. High Res, High Res Studio is another studio that closed games like for no reason. Global Agenda was doing good when they closed it. They didn't even were free to play. They they didn't even say we are doing better than than before in the free to play market. I remember. It was they, I believe the articles are still there. When the global agenda went free to play, uh, people like me that bought the game, we becomes elite right away. All oh, the, the people that pay the money becomes elite. 
And the people that come in noon to the to the game, they got they had to grind on to become elite. You know, it was like a I was getting tokens. Every battle, I was getting my tokens that you only get it when you are elite. Si you are elite, you get that new currency. They call it like tokens they get you like a more no more powerful stuff but more cosmetics like a, at least it was the, the ones that, that can get like a cosmetics and stuff just by playing the game it was a nice system that's why that's why they were doing pretty good in global in global agenda when they before the closer it one day one day they you just get tired or something like we're gonna close this <laughs> like like really dude <laughs> people like me that, that really enjoy the game we couldn't play it no more the global agenda has like a campaign multiplayer campaign which is pretty nice the other day I went over there in global agenda and play man wow how many memories man how many memories man the global agenda Global Agenda, if you didn't know people, Global Agenda was the first MMO created in Unreal, in Unreal Engine. Like nobody knew, nobody knew that Unreal Engine was capable to do like a MMO and everything like that. Or something similar to MMO because it was Global Agenda wasn't like a full flesh MMO. You know? It wasn't like a full flesh MMO. It was similar to MMO. Um, but it was it was the first one, you know, created by High Res Studio, the creators of Paladins. The money killer, yo, yo, all right, dude. I gotta head out now. Great chatting with you. Okay, thank you for coming, Mr. The money killer, yo, yo. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. It's pretty nice, pretty awesome. You took some time to come to my streams. Thank you for your support. Really hoping, man. Really hoping to see you soon. To be one of your streams, maybe. I don't know. Nobody knows. Maybe be there in one of your streams. I almost finishing too. I'm not planning to do more more hours on this because uh, once I once I finish with the with the drawing, I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna be closing the streams. Yeah, I'm gonna be closing the streams once I. Once I finish that thing, I don't know. Alpha Kang is a streaming because I I wanna I wanna give it a raid to Alpha Kang when when I finish. Oh, he left. He's not streaming today. Today, let me see. It's there. It's not there. Oh, I believe I will. Oh, he's hosting. Yeah, Alpha Kang is not. It's not live. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to give a uh, Fakan the, 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 the thing is. Yeah, he's not live. Yeah, he's hosting somebody else. The money career is for sure in July. Yeah. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, I hope you come back with all all the banks, you know, with the schedule and everything, so we can go over there and like uh, the old times, man. Like in the old times, but I, I I really I really understand. Everybody needs to work, and work is something that we cannot stop doing. Eh? Something that we cannot stop doing, man. Not right now. Maybe in the future. Nobody knows. But right now is something that, that we need to have to do. Uh, people like me, we are going to be doing it forever. Because. Because there, there is no other way, you know. <laughs> That's what it is. There is no other way. There is no other way. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, pretty nice people. We are doing the first character. The first character of the Titan class, Kronos, which is the Titan class for the Breakers, for our low breakers Fanabrus. Kronos was a pretty awesome character in the game, low breakers, that maybe you you heard about, which is it was a game, was a game developed developed by Bosque Productions. And published by Nexon of America that unfortunately is not between us but was a game that gave us beautiful moments all the time without mercy you know right now there is no game like low breakers different diff, uh, very very hard to find similar uh, very hard to find a similar uh, like against like low breakers death stranding in, in which way 20 games like low breakers death stranding they <laughs> what, really <laughs> wow who, who is doing those lists maybe borderland maybe not even who what, really mesh water what 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 they taking in account to, to say that they are similar? They don't even close. I believe this one is like a RTS in clean words. I believe this is a RTS. Yeah, it's an RTS. What the fuck? <laughs> they don't even close. Well, they don't even know what lowbreaker is. <laughs> they don't even know what lowbreaker is. An RTS like lowbreakers. Let me see these other. Alternative for low breakers, Team Fortress 2, Real Tournaments, Sonotic. Oh, they, this one is better. This is a better list. This is a better list. You know, Quay, Sonotic, Real Tournament, Team Fortress 2. Yeah, they, they know what they're doing. Warsaw, yeah. Overwatch, yeah. The Cube 2, I don't know. Cube 2. Never see it. Red Eclipse. Yeah. Oh, it's like a Quay one. Stuff. Yeah, this list is better. This list is better than the other one. Yeah, the Sonotic, that one. A lot of those games are similar to Quake, more than Low Breakers. Yeah. A lot of those games are similar than to Quake than Low Breakers. Like Low Breakers is unique. It's unique, but yeah, now that we know how, a Quake Champion is, is a is a pretty good. That's why I was playing Quake Champion all the time. If we are gonna stream Quest Champion, maybe pretty soon. Pretty soon we are gonna be streaming Quest Champions. Kinda stop it a little bit, you know, because I don't wanna get burned from the game. The game has like a just a few maps, just a few characters are good. They got enough characters, but the maps, the places where you play is like a, I don't know, too many, too many. It's not too many maps, but it's too many playing the same maps over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over. Uh, back in the days, I remember back in the days, we used to have maps that you can play in Team Deathmatch, in Deathmatch, Catch You the Fly, like the same map. You know? So, sometimes, we used to grab a lot of maps. So, Playing the same map in another mode could make it feel, could make it feel like a different map, you know. So they don't even have to do more maps. They, they just have to allow people playing other modes in the same maps, basically. Because play Catch of the Flag, um, Team Dead Match is not the same. So it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's the same map. Like in Quest Champion, you only can play Catch of the Fly like in one or two maps, that's it. That's the problem, that's the bigger problem right there. So since you allow to play, uh, to make the maps that you can play other modes or something like that. It doesn't matter if it's the same map, if we're playing different modes, it's gonna feel different, you know? It's gonna, be different like a, it's gonna feel like a different map. Something that they used to do back in the days 
and now they can with great champions they cannot draw the ball in that aspect and and now the it doesn't matter if they have like a pretty good amount of math they still feel like a lacking on the map department <laughs> yeah back in the days the, the the developers used to used to do very smart move very smart move now they, they're afraid they're afraid to put some feature and then lose money yeah now they're afraid now they want every single feature in a game to make money if they are afraid that oh I put this thing for free, it's, it's basically like that. Like oh we put this new game mode, we're not making money from the new game mode. It's just free, and a free update. It that is that is like I don't know if that is the case or question, but it kind of feels like it's the, it's the case because they kind of lacking over there in the, in the map department. I don't know now because I got like a couple months I don't play the game. Maybe they put a new something new. I don't know. They always have skins and stuff like that. So in the skin department, they're pretty good. They have a lot of stuff. But I don't know about the. I don't know about the maps and stuff like that. Yeah, Quake Champions, right now, they only need maps. They, they only need maps, that's it. They can sleep with the characters and everything for, for longer. Because they got a lot of characters in the game. They even have characters that we never imagined they're going to go, they're gonna go in the, into the game, you know. Characters from Quake 2, and stuff like that. That they, they from from Quake 3, they are lacking some characters from the Quake 3. Yeah, they're lacking many characters from the, from the Quake 3. Many but Quake 3 was like a, the 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 game with all the Quake champions. The, all the all the Quake characters was Quake 3. You got the Ranger. You got the the Sergeant. Sergeant is not there. We got Ranger, but we know how Sergeant. The Ranger is from Quake 1. The guy that I was looking for to get home, you know. But we don't have the sergeant. We don't have sergeant. We don't have the, the Chinese guy. I don't remember the, his name. The eye, the little eye that walk with legs, the little drone. We need that one. There's some plenty of character for Quake 3 that they can put it, but Quake Shepard doesn't feel like uh, it's lacking on the character department. They got the characters, you know. They got Bison, they got Sergeant, they got a lot of characters. So question but only need maps. A space loss it needs like a campaign. Whole campaign to explain things, you know? That it, it will bring maybe new characters and it will bring new 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 maps, you know. Especially there is some way in these maps too. Can we just repeating the same maps over and over and over? I got a big problem with repeating stuff. See, see the content that you're repeating is good. It keeps you engaged. That it doesn't matter, you know. It is it is good right there. Because I remember playing, when I used to play Nintendo games back in the days, and stuff like that, those, those games used to, be, used to be tiny, tiny. You used to play over and over and over the same maps and the same places, but the, it was engaging because you was doing things, you was doing many things in those maps. And still, you, you pick up play, you pick up any games of that time, it's going to be super good because... Uh, you got stuff to do, you know. Well, first person shooter stuff like that, no, but but games in general, you know, platforming stuff like that. You're gonna always gonna have to to do. Back in the day, was like, people was like a very creative, you know, with everything, even the graphics. It, it is looks pretty nice. 
It doesn't look modern, it doesn't look sophisticated, but that looks nice. But I don't know, man. The music, the music, the music back in the day was better than now. Now we got like a realistic music, like symphonic and orchestra kind of stuff. That is not that good. Uh, back in the days, the, the, the people that used to do music it used to be like a master of music, basically. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people was doing that for games. And the little one, the the ones that was doing it, they used to be pretty good. They, a lot of them, they still doing it for new games. A lot of them, they still doing it for new games. It's crazy. It is crazy how the people are still after so many years, man, still working in the industry, doing awesome stuff. Yeah, Lobrek is, is, is Lobrek is coming back. They need to allow to be the community very involved. Allow the community to make uh, servers or rent servers. Man, that that could be that could be a a pretty good business model for them. Renting Lobrek servers, man. Renting the record so could be pre a pretty nice model, but I don't know. It was that the I believe it was the publisher. The publisher, the publisher was dropping the ball all the time. Man. These people, man, they know how to drop the ball, man. They really know how to throw the ball. That's crazy. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Yeah, see, they bring the workers back. They need to let the community be involved more, you know, creating servers and everything. So people like me that want to have, you know, pretty good ping and everything, run the server. And allow people close to me to play, you know. So that problem with the ping that we used to have in the low breakers back in the days, we don't have it no more. Because yeah, it was dedicated servers and everything, but see, you didn't have the problem with low breakers and the server was like a. This is total speculation, but it was like that. Like, see, you don't have enough people in your area to play low breakers. They go to another server, whereas more people was connected. So sometimes you got the only option that you have is like a to work to play in Europe because that, that that was the server that the people was playing. We're talking about 200 pins, something like that. You know, they kind of fix it with the 150 pin solution. You know, the game doesn't allow you to connect uh, to servers that are like a more than one, uh, 100 pin but the problem was like you not get no matches you know you didn't get no matches because uh, because it was the 100 pin team but Lorica has like a, a way to force to select the the, the server you want to play with and sometimes we had to go to Europe 200 pin in order to play because uh, the matchmaking wasn't working with the 150 pin because it's not the lack of people, you know, the lack of people. It was like a 
Sometimes it was like a 10 people playing only, so we had to go basically manually over there to to Europe to play. That the game has uh, the, the options to select the to select the regions. That was a uh, that was the way we was able to to get a little bit better chance, a little bit better chance to to gain to the game. It was crazy. No easy at all, speedles. No easy at all. Yeah, we learn. We learn a lot from lawbreakers. We learn a lot from lawbreakers because all those co all those conversations. It was like a prime time lawbreakers, you know, conversation about networking and everything. The community talking about the developer trying to fix the stuff. We learn a lot of stuff too. We knew, man, those developers are awesome. But you know what? Again, like Love Breakers, unique like Love Breakers like that, can be always only be developed and supported by that group of developers that Cliff Blasinski has together. I don't, I don't believe any other developer can be able to maintain, to create, and to keep the, the vision that Lovrekas has. It was pretty unique, you know. Clip Resinki put together a pretty awesome group of people, you know. F people from Planet Side 2, people from Division, people from Fight Cry, pe people from Fortnite, that, that was, that w they were to do a pretty awesome job out there with Lovrekas. Artruk, welcome to the stream. Artruk, welcome to the stream. So I hope you come and ready to have some fun. Artruk says, "Nice art." Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Artruk. I really appreciate it. This is the the Titan guy from the Low Breakers. I really appreciate it that you like it. Every single Sunday, we create one character from the game Low Breakers. So don't miss out. Tommy Sal, you know, which is pretty nice, pretty awesome, pretty cool. Watch my streams to get points and redeem Steam gift cards too. Every 200 points, which is pretty nice. Yeah, this is a, a thing that we are doing for the community of the channel, you know. So you want to download these things, you're going to be able to download it. See, you follow me. See, you follow me on the Twitter. You're going to have pictures. You're going to have pictures, you know. So you follow my Twitter. From time to time, I put pictures from the art book, like this one. So you can have these pictures available to you. It's a way to say thank you to the people that was playing the game, that was playing the game back in the days, and they're still coming, you know, they're still coming to to support the channel, even though that we're not playing the records anymore, but this is an opportunity to talk about the game, to make art, you know, to meditate on the situation, the why this game that is basically a pretty unique game that offers something that no games right now are offering let me tell you no games like right now are offering the kind of gameplay that Lovereke used to offer back in the days I cannot find it, I cannot find a game like Lovereke, like this one anywhere and it's kind of sad situation for the, all the people that want to play the game right now. So we meditate and talk about it. No. If you play the game, all the breakers, feel free to share your experience, man, because it is something that 
it was sad when 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 the game has to go. Man. It was super sad. There is many awesome games out there. We're not gonna say no, but they know they don't offer the low breakers experience. They don't offer nothing that low breakers. Overcast was pretty unique. Pretty, pretty unique, man. The music, the way it plays, the game modes. The, the, that Blitz Ball game mode from Low Breakers was unique, man. That, 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 that game mode was like a, the best thing ever, man. Let me see if I can show you something for the Blitz Ball. Blitz Ball has... Yeah, Blitz Ball in Low Breakers was like a super unique. Super unique, man. What's my my favorite mode in the whole game was the Blitz Balls. When you can play like a, some kind of football game with guns. You take the ball, you see? Take the ball and you go to the goal, to the enemy goal and put the ball over there. But as you can see, the enemy goal wasn't like a right there open for everybody. No, it was people taking care of that, you know, waiting for you to see if you're gonna. Man, that was super awesome. Man. I know Real Tournament has something like Blitz Ball too. So if we can play, if we wanna play Blitz Ball, we can go over there to Unreal Tournament. But but Lo is in the way they plays with the zero gravity stuff and everything was special, man. It was a good formula, good combination. And the the classes, too. the classes was amazing. You know, everything you see over there was was possible in the game. But with no problem at all, because this is this is a gameplay footage. This is not like a CGI, nothing. This is this that's the game right there. That's how the game used to look at. Beautiful game. We a lot of action and everything, but nobody can play anymore. Nobody can continue taking making uh, having fun you know which is kind of sad it is kind of sad but I don't know I always say Lobrecas is again that it has to bring they has to bring it back some developer in some capacity there is a game they, they need to do again somebody has to do again like this and bring it back man in some capacity you know it's two years it's almost two years, yeah, almost two years. In September, it's going to have two years close, the game. In September of 2020, it's going to have two years because the game closed on September 14, 2018. Yeah, yeah they, somebody, they need to bring the back the game or somebody has to make a game similar to the breakers. I don't I don't see why now, man. That's the first thing that they need to do with Low Breakers. Bring it back. It doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if there is no developers that that could make continue that with the with the Low Breakers. It doesn't matter, you know. Eventually, man, that happens to to Planet Side Two. Planet Side Two, it was a Sony Online Entertainment game. If for some reason they had to go, a lot of developers of Planet Side 2 leave the company. Even one of them, it worked low breakers. You know, one of the main, one of the main, main developers of Planet Side 2, he left and worked on low breakers. You know, and. Um, And look at look at now, uh, Planet Side Two is still working pretty good, you know. So, yeah, Planet Side Two was struggling for many years after after the all this after the uh, Sony Online Entertainment stuff that they become they break and everything. They were they were struggling, you know. Like uh, they didn't have the developers uh, complete anything. Everybody everybody thought that oh man, Planet Side Two is gonna is gonna go bonkers. 
they just they're not gonna be able to to keep with the game man. if they even try to make a new game they even try to make a new game planet, planet side arena stuff but what happened the developers kind of learn how to the pace you know kind of take a while to learn the stuff and everything look at now now they're doing super awesome stuff <laughs> let me tell you they're doing crazy awesome stuff right now so I don't so I don't see the I don't see the problem see they do something like that with low breakers bring back the gang you know maybe at the beginning the developers gonna be struggling maybe, you know it's gonna take a while for them to to take the the the, the full development of the game and then you know then it's gonna be nice then it's gonna be nice but see they they are smart and let the the, the, the community to get involved people that know stuff you know and giving them tools to make maps, to game game modes, to make stuff like that. It's it's on real engine, so real engine is not that difficult to understand. You know, it's not that difficult to do things like that. Real engine is super easy. It's, uh, game engine, you know. So people will pick up pick up pretty pretty fast, you know. But they need to let the community do the things, man. They need to let the game, the community do the things. They let the community do the thing. That's why. That's why one of the mistakes that they did with low breakers. Like, okay, you're not making money with the game, but you got like a 40 people like willing to make servers and keep, I keep playing the game. Give me the abilities to rent servers or do something, you know. That maybe in the long run you're gonna make money too as a company, you know, because it's your it's your IP, it's your IP. You know, you know the thing you, the thing you cannot do is like a you still have the holding the rights. They still holding the rights. So. See, they do a smart move, you know, and let the community get involved under some com conditions. Loreka could be a ram, a ram. Loreka, Loreka, it was like a one year in the market. It was super awesome, man. Super awesome, man. The only game that I was like uh, executing and be like a. Uh, very desperate to continue to come to 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 begin to play was low breakers man that doesn't happen with any other game yeah i'm playing nice games but that those are nice games but they are not exciting like low breakers was low breaker was like an event it was like an event you know like you want to play you want to you want to do the things you want to you know that's why i don't understand why why the lack of the community you know, a lot of people was struggling to get connected. A lot of people was struggling to to get matches. I'm not gonna deny, but I, I don't believe it was like the game itself. You know, I believe people has their own problems with their own machines and stuff like that. You know, because the the lack of community was super crazy, man. Super crazy. People that bought the game, they couldn't. They didn't want it to play, like, oh, no, I don't want to play, and stuff like that. Like, dude, let's play, man. This game is pretty awesome. But I don't know. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe I was blind. Like, still blind. I don't know. But it's like, it's pretty... Now I'm looking for games that are similar to Love Breakers. Look. I got a search. For games that are similar to Love Breakers, because I really want to see what what is, is out there about Love Breakers, and people are, and people are saying stuff like, "Oh, this game, that game." They don't even close to Love Breakers. 
but they are pretty good pretty good options like Quay Champions and Midair you know Sonatic I believe yeah Sonatic and stuff like that you know somebody say say Tribes Assemble Tribes Assemble I don't know say Tribes Assemble how many people w was in Tribes Assemble in the last minutes Tribes Ascend. Wow, it was. It went from. Well, it didn't make a lot of a lot of people. Three thousand people. From three thousand to thirty. To less than a hundred. If that if, if that game was. Was basically bring it back by high res because of the community. The community basically wanted this game to to be back. Yeah, this this game tribes are same was again that that the community was like a the tribes community the people that play tri uh, tribes. They wanted it. They wanted the game back. You know, they were, they were like, I remember. I don't know why, why it dies like that, man. I didn't play it, but it looks super exciting, man. Because the movement, tries to say, this game is all about movement. You know? This game is all about movement. The movement is pretty unique. He got vehicles and everything, wow. I don't know about bring it back. It has like a because it was a high res studio. It has like a little bit of global agenda kind of feel <laughs> in the animation. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to say to bring it back because if they bring it back, it, it didn't work. Bring it back again. I don't know, but. Yeah, everybody. Every time people talk about glow breakers, they 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 talk about tries. You see the movement that they have, like a do slide and fly for the sky. This is something like uh, it's pretty nice. But I believe you need to learn how to do those things. To so slide like that in the mountains and everything. I believe you need to you need to learn how to do it. I believe one of one of the reasons why Low Breaker fell is like I didn't have a tutorial in place that kind of teach you. They put something at the almost at the end of, the, of the, his life, but it wasn't good enough. Yeah, this game has like a like a song. You need to learn it, how to play. Oh, that guy went went from flying to the, to the motorcycle. Bloop. Yeah, you, these are the kind of games that you need to learn how to play. So, for a lot of people, so you need to sit down and practice and learn something. Then, then, then not, not a lot of people are into it. That could be that's a tricky situation right there too. You know, that's a tricky situation right there too. That's why you see a lot of games like. Overwatch and Fortnite games like a created for for you to learn it right away, you know, pick up and play it right away. Even even though you die a lot, but you you're gonna be able to understand it right away. 
are doing pretty good because uh, nobody got time for that, you know, to learn stuff. And Lobrecas has that problem. He has it was he has a learning curve, how to move instead of G, instead of gravity, and how to move, how to use the the blind fire that the Lobrecas has. It was like a lot of stuff, yeah, that you need to kind of learn in Lobrecas. Yeah, I see that. I see that many games. The game that has like a learning curve, people are not gonna spend time. I don't know how Evil Line is doing is that good. It's still doing good. Because because Evil Line has like a not learning curve no. They have that game has a, a learning cliff. <laughs> that's how the people That's how people describe it. It's kinda hard to learn. And I didn't see it in the beginning, but yeah, because I play Evil 9, I cannot see in it right now, after many years. There is some stuff that I don't do in Evil 9, that I don't even bother to learn because Evil 9 has like very complex stuff. Very complex stuff. There. Like the scanning, I don't understand the scanning in Evil 9. It's like, a, okay, I know how to scan and everything, but it doesn't give me the results that I want to. You know? Then they have like a, the probe scan. That is super crazy. It's super crazy. You throw those probes over there, but what you do with those? Sometimes I, I detect thingies in space. I detect thingies in space, but what the benefits you know there's so many so many questions boss like years welcome back what's that year says gotta sleep around 11 for work tomorrow oh really wow i have 12 38 a.m 12 38 a.m so maybe you are close to 2 11 or you are 11 already yeah well, Boss Lightyear, what can I say? I'm gonna say thank you for coming. Thank you for being the streams. And I hope to see you soon. Remember that we got our next stream. It's gonna be uh, Tuesday. Tuesday we Space Lord, uh, Space Lords, yeah. It's gonna be a pretty nice stream. So dumb side, man. Don't the dummy side. And I hope it's the best for you. Thank you for your support, Buzz Lightyear. Thank you for your support. It was pretty fun to have you here. To have you here, indeed. Yeah, thank you for everything you do. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Choo -choo. I really appreciate it. Buzz, Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear. I try to make a music with your, with your name, but sometimes it's difficult, you know. Let's see if we can finish this today because, uh, as you know, we always try to finish the characters the same day we begin those. Because coming, coming later, we another coming next Sunday, we another. The stream with the same character is not it's, it's not my my kind of stuff. I don't like to do those. I don't like to do those repetitions. See, if I had to do, I do. I don't have no problem, but I don't, I try not to do it. it doesn't, I don't feel good when I have to repeat the same drawing, you know. But yeah, it's, this is. This is something that I make it for you guys. You're gonna be able to download uh, the the whole book. It's a PDF file. It's a PDF file. It's gonna be available for everybody that come into my stream. As you can see, we got many, many other characters that we did already. And we're looking forward to continue doing the other characters that we're missing. Having a lot of fun doing those these things. Having a lot of fun doing these things. Yeah, there is some characters that has like a little head, other has like a big head. <laughs> but they kind of look cool, you know. They they don't look that bad at all. So this is uh, some redemption points right there. 
But see you like it, no matter, no matter what, how it looks, see you like it. This is the most important thing, you know? Because this is for you. I don't want to do something that you maybe don't like it, you know? Yeah, maybe in the future I'm gonna, when I finish everything, maybe we could do like a, another pass, second pass to the cartridge to fix a little things. Oh, this has, this head has to be bigger, man. Because this is a little tiny head. <laughs> this tiny head right there. Yeah, this one got like, like a super tiny head. This is the Titan for for the for the for the law, which is, was a lady bombshell, bombshell. Killing everybody without mercy. Yeah, as you can see, we have many characters in many stuff. The one we finish, we're gonna make a better for you to download. It's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be pretty nice. Boxer of years, 11:42. Yeah, you are close to 11. Yeah, I really appreciate the boxer of years. You, you was spending time with me, you know, because I know you, you are pretty busy, dude. Uh, has many stuff to do. I'm kind of privileged, you know. I'm kind of privileged that you decided to spend some time in the streams. I really, really appreciate it, man, for reals. Tuesday's stream is gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be a space lords. The only problem I'm not gonna be talking because it's gonna be late in the night, in the week. That's what it is. Weekends kind of doesn't matter. On weekends, you know, people can expect it. To hear somebody talking and having fun, but but Monday to from Monday to Fridays, people don't expect a lot of a lot of, a lot of noise in the house. So that's why I do it just it's just gameplay stream on those days. I used to stream normally on those days back in the days. You know, I used to do like a normal streams, talking and everything. But uh, there is two two causes. First, people. Are, already getting ready to go to bed to sleep people are getting ready to go to work too so when that happens you know you need to be quiet you know you need, you need to be quiet not be talking at that time because we're talking three we're talking about 2 30 in the morning you know <laughs> like we're not talking in the afternoon it's 2 30 in the morning it's like a pretty late in the night um but yeah, we we used to do it back in the days, like every day it was like that. The another reason is I'm coming tired, coming super tired to talk at that time. You know, I remember when I when I used to do the the streaming, talking and everything. It was super crazy, man. It was super kind of tired, super tired. It was like a one hour only, only like a one hour. Now I'm trying to do two hours, you know, but it was like a one hour only pretty fast you know it was with low breakers I was doing low breakers at that time man. yeah it was crazy but it, but, but, but it was fun crazy but fun you know I don't regret it don't no rehearse no regrets. Yeah, no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, we begin with the breakers. I thought I'm gonna be like uh, taking more time and everything to do the breakers, but we're going f we're we're going kind of fast with the breakers, you know. We're going kind of fast with the breakers, not by at all. It's not like a uh, slow or anything like that. With the low, we went like a we were we were going like a kind of slow. And I believe it's because uh, 
I was trying to. Well, I was kind of learning how to, not learning how to draw, but learning how how they're gonna do it. You know, the approach. Didn't have an approach. I practically have an approach right now. They basically know how I'm gonna do things. Because you can you can be able to draw and draw pretty good, but uh, since you don't have like a plan, like okay, I'm gonna do this first, then I'm gonna do that later. So you don't have like a, a plan, it could be pretty difficult. That's what I was talking about with the Monica Judge, I believe. I was talking about early, like planning in almost everything. It's like at the 50% of, of or something. So you got a project, if you don't plan, you're gonna have a problem. <laughs> you gotta have huge problems, man. But since you got a project, a game, whatever, if you planning how it's gonna be the gameplay, how it's gonna be this, how it's gonna, how's, how's gonna be the controllers, you take the time to, to plan, to make a plan, and how you're gonna approach every single process, you're gonna be you gonna be successful, you know. And the creating a plan give you motivation to do it because why a lot of people why a lot of people lose motivation because they don't have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you're gonna lose motivation, you're gonna drop any project that you have. Any project that you have. That's why that's why companies do you know what the company does? They make a plan, they begin the project, they finish the project, but they don't release it sometimes. You know? They finish the project, everything, they don't release it for some reason. Put and they save it, but they finish the project because they they always do a plan. Companies, that's that's how they do. That's how you see companies doing things all the time. They got a plan. The first thing that they have is blueprints, a plan, something that to follow. If you don't have something to follow, you're never gonna get. You know, never finish no projects at all. You know, developers that doesn't finish the project, developers that cancel project, they don't have a plan. EA, EA Games with, with the Generous 2, Generous 2 that was showing early, they didn't have a plan, you know, they didn't have a plan, they went, they progressed, they did a awesome progress, for, for some reason, they didn't want to continue, you know, the community say, oh, this doesn't feel good, that's not the way we won the game, it did because maybe they didn't have a plan, you know, not maybe a plan to do the game because they they call, they almost finished like, Generous 2, you know, they were they were in the beta, they were in the beta, so when, when you are in beta, you are pretty advanced in the project, you know, but for some reason they didn't have a plan in the, in the monetization business model or something, it was a lack of something, man, over there inspiration too, maybe because I don't know I was talking about that early. EA every time that they're gonna do like a common and conquer something look at they remaking for part one what is that yeah it's nice because I got part one I got the original part one from origin it doesn't work right it kind of need a, a, a remaster you know I'm not gonna say no it kind of need a remaster I'm gonna get it for free I don't know I'm supposed to get it for free. Let me see. Let me see if I can get into the origin. I'm supposed to get it for free because I got the, I got the, I got the, the 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 other the original version. You know, or oh, cheaper price. I don't know what's gonna happen. Whoops! The start and counter an error, right? Yeah, that's why I'm gonna move to 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 a streaming service, man. That's why I'm gonna do the, the, the origin thing because it's stuff like this. Let me see. Starting the version. She's supposed to start it, man. I don't I don't see why it's complex. 
Yeah, yeah. Just installing the freaking launcher, man. Bro, the the one from the from my from my streaming server, I'm pretty sure it wo it's working pretty good. Cancel installation. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get. Up. Let me see. Oh, you're gonna go no matter what. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the website. I'm not gonna go with the. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the website. I don't want my my computer to restart, do something crazy, because that could happen. That could happen, man. I don't want that. You go to the website, you get the same stuff for cheap, <laughs> basically for cheap. Yeah, especially the HD and battle. Let me see. Plus 10% discount on all origin purchase. I got the original. They're supposed to give me this one. Oh, they changed the, the, the sidebar for real air. From console to PC? Is this game was launched on console? Whoa, I didn't know that the original Command and Conquer was released on console. Oh, they're using the original voiceover actress. Welcome, Commander. The, la the lady. I had to I had to get in my in my account to see if uh, I got some gift. Yeah, but they, they need to they need to give it to the people that already had the the ten years. Let me see. Come and conquer. The ten years. Oh, I don't have the ten years over here. Oh, the ultimate collection that one. This is the one I have. With all the common and conquerors. Yeah, they, they had to give me the... The remaster too. Or at least give me a price. Yeah, they don't have the remaster. This is the one that they remastered, the first one. And the Royal Air, the first one, I believe. Yeah. There is so many. I didn't play Royal Air Counter Strike. I didn't play Royal Air Aftermath. I played Royal Air 2, Royal Air 2, Jewish Revenge. Renegade, pretty good. Generous, pretty awesome. Zero Hours. Excellent. Tibetan Wars, pretty good too. Kane's Rat is pretty nice. Real L3. I got, yeah, I play it, both of them. And Tiberian Twilight. Command and Conquer 4, Tiberian Twilight. That's, a, that's the one I was playing the other day. Tiberian Sun is one of the best. Tiberian Sun, that one. Even though it's, it's kind of old, it's one of the best. Hey, I didn't play Firestone. I need to play Firestone. That expansion I didn't play. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out once I, I get into my account. That is working pretty good in the, the streaming service. I don't know why my local account doesn't wanna doesn't wanna join. Oh, it's not my account. It's the it's the it's the update. This computer. I don't know, this computer, some stuff want to update all the time, one stuff doesn't update. I got, this computer has serious problems, man, I don't know. I never heard those, I never saw those, those problems like that, man. It's always we updating. It's always about updating, man. The whole updating system in this computer is broken. 
This is pretty. It's pretty weird. All my problems right now is about dating. Doesn't all date, or they want to date all the time. It wasn't like that back in the days. I remember when I purchased the computer, it was good. Everything was updating pretty good. If from time, from one time, from a few months to now, it's like I don't want to do nothing. Man. Some people tell me, oh, that it fix, get fixed by itself. I don't know in my case because. The other day my computer doesn't even wanted to to get in in the in the yeah it didn't want to get in. In order for me to get in I have to basically recover my system. In order to get in. What's crazy man? Recover my system. I always cry man because it was like I was gonna lose everything man. Well, I'm putting I'm putting all my all my my projects online. I got Domino Rising online. I got this project online. So, if something happens to my computer, at least the projects I'm working in the moment are gonna be safe. But I don't use my computer in the way like it to be broken. You know, I don't know why it's always wanna broke. I don't know why I always wanna broke, wanna break. This crazy. It doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't really make sense to me. Doesn't really make sense. Sensey sense. But it is what it is, man. Sometimes we have to take it. We have to learn it. We have to learn about those stuff. Instead of complaining. Sometimes it's time to understand, you know? Not to complain. But we are fast to complain and not to understand. That really is something that we all need to strive for. Try to understand, not to complain. Something that was telling everybody in, in the low records, like, okay, we got problems with the game, the game has some problems and stuff, but we need to understand, you know? The first thing that we need to understand is like, a, the, the studio is tiny, it's like a 60 people, at some point it was 60 people, less than 100 people, making a game that looks like a triple A, triple A game created by come up for 3,000 people. <laughs> Not 3,000 people, but Lorikis looks like a, a game that was created by 200 plus people, you know, like a, for a big studio. And that's why the confusion for a lot of people, it's like a, they thought, they thought it was like a, a lot of people working on it. Like a big studio like EA or, or Ubisoft and stuff like that. No man, it was like a tiny people. It was like a two, three guys. They did it that pretty awesome. Yeah, because in a company, when you have 60 people, like maximum, including finance, including shipping, including all those guys, you know, warehouse. How many developers you think that was working for real in, the, in Loop Breakers? Maybe 20 people. Maybe 20 people. That's why I never was like a very critical on the um, on Loop Breakers because I kind of knew, man. Those, you know, I kind of knew those guys. The, those guys are guys that take the time to do the st the stuff. 
Because they don't want to put crap over there. It, it, the rocket was awesome. You know? But people are still thinking that it was like a, a big studio doing awesome stuff. They, do, they did a lot. I did a lot. Let me tell you something. They did a lot. Cliff Resinski, Cliff Resinski and his team and Bosque Production, they did a lot. And they did pretty good. But in the business, nobody cared about those. You know? That's the, that's the crazy part of the business. I was playing the game, I was supporting because I, I knew it was a small team that was doing a lot. A lot of people don't see it like that. A lot of people see it like, it's a game, it's been 30 bucks, it needs to work 100%. It needs to have a huge community because I spent 30, bu 30 bucks in the, in the game. It has to it has to have a huge community behind it. Is that it has to be uh, alive already, you know? Because I gave my money. It's all like that. You know? I agree with the game is, is supposed to be alive. I agree with that because see you got people behind. See you got people that bought the game. If they are willing to do service for the game. If they want, if they are willing to keep playing the game. The game is supposed to be alive, you know. The game is supposed to be alive. And at some point, Epic Games kind of understood that with Paragon. You know? That they release all the assets. All the assets. All the, all the features, all the maps, all the... Everything they release it to the people. Because at some point, he, they, they say, you know, at some point, they, you know, we're close to this game, bro. There is a community behind it. They, they are willing to play the game, you know. Yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them people spend money too, you know. They refund a lot of those people, by the way. They refund a lot of, a lot of people. Yeah, so they kind of see that, like, uh, okay, we are closing this. We are not working no more. But we got a community that we had to do something about it. If they just release the, the assets, you know, a, a few billions dollars in, in assets and stuff, you know, money that they already paid to the employees, if they give it to the community, you know, so Paragon didn't, didn't get wasted. Uh, Willow Breakers, no, it didn't happen, nothing like that happened. You know, they got the LAN version. A lot of people telling me that they got the LAN version. But they don't, they don't, they don't want, they're not going to release it. We're making a petition and everything with the hope, with the hope that they will release in the future. Uh, but I don't see that. So you want to sign the petition, I'm going to put it in the chat. You know, for the petition, low breakers petition. To bring back low breaks, bring back low breaks, huh? but it's something that we are doing to basically to pressure Nexon, you know, basically to pressure Nexon. But I don't, I don't know, I don't know if, if, we, if they're gonna do it, you know. There is not enough in the petition. That's why we still talking. There's not enough people like to put a pressure. No. Maybe it's enough, 393 people interested. Maybe it's enough to make a couple matches. You know, 300, 393 people in, in low records is a lot. It's a lot of matches, man, together. Because I remember when the game was like that, we were playing all the time, all the time, man. But I don't know if it, this is enough people to 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 make sure I don't know if there's enough people to make sure they they do something I don't know I hope because I want the game bad but I want the game bad but but I don't know man It is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. 
Yeah, I hope, but it is kind of crazy, man. Is that? It's like the lack, of, the lack of interest, you know. Publisher always gonna be like indifferent in many ways because they they publish many games at, at the same time. So, in the case of Nexon, why are they gonna take? Why are they gonna think about the records if they got Maple Story, Vindictus? They got many games that they had to take care of, you know. Now Vindictus having pretty awesome, pretty awesome updates. That I should play Vindictus a little bit more, you know, because they got like a pretty awesome updates. Yeah, they got like a pretty awesome updates right now. They kind of makes me feel like they're giving. They making those updates, those stuff, maybe for cl to close the game. Kind of feels like they're gonna close Vindictus. I don't know. Something tells me like a Vindictus after those updates, stuff like that, gonna be closed. But you know what was Vindictus? Vindictus was the first MMO. The first MMO with the Source engine, the same engine for Counter Strike. Our truck says so. I have a question. How do you I get a chance to redeem a gift card? Oh, the way to 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 get a, a gift card is by watching my streams. Did you watch my streams? You know, and when you have 200 points, you can do it in any moment. You click on the the little square over there to check it out. So you have 100 points. You have 200 points. You can go to the redeem backup points and redeem the Steam gift cards with 200 points. But in order to have 200 points, you have to watch the stream. You need to watch all the streams, you know. A truck. This thing, this little square over here, it tells you the points that you have and everything. You know. Back points. Or if you want to join our Minecraft Realm server, you know, in Java. Minecraft Java Edition, you can redeem it with 100 points, pretty pretty cheap, to give you opportunity to play in our Minecraft server, Minecraft server, you know, pretty nice, pretty awesome, it's pretty easy, our truck, let me see something, it does how you redeem a beautiful gift card. Beautiful gift card, hard truck. Let me see how much, how much, how much points you have, hard truck. Let me see if I can find it. Because you have a uh, some time over there, so you need to. I believe our our truck. Oh, you got one point right now. <laughs> Yeah, because every point is one. It's ten minutes. It's ten minutes every point. So that, that you have to do is to watch the streams. A lot of people are getting cards all the time. So you can be another winner of the cards. <laughs> Back in the day, it was a hundred points only, but we had to change it because it was too many, too many for us to keep up. So in order for to us to continue to giving cards, we need to race. To to 200, which is, I believe, it's a, it's a pretty nice uh, price. Until now, every month we do a review and check it out. See, we are gonna continue, you know, in that price. So, see, we check. See, 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 there is too much for us to keep up. We raise it, you know, but. I was talking earlier about that, that maybe next month we are going to continue with the 200 points, maybe, next month. We are going to continue the same with 200 points, because it's, it's, go, it's going good with 200 points, you know, it's not going, it's not going pretty heavy for us, and it's going nice, and people are getting the cars, you know, people that get the cars, which is a... Uh, which is uh, the most important thing 
could happen in the next month to go 300 but I believe I believe we're gonna stay in 200 you know 300 points could be kind of be a little bit see, see things going the way it's going right now 300 yeah could be pretty difficult for the people to get it together but it all depends all depends you know I'm not gonna say no I'm not gonna say yes because it all depends our ability to to keep up because remember it's, it's, it's a lot of people come to the streams you know a lot of people are interested in the car so we have to create a system where we can serve everybody we have to keep a price we can serve everybody you still can redeem it trying to be fair over here you know trying to be fair with all the people because at the end of the day our goal it's not just playing games and do crazy characters no our goal is to support our viewers that's that's our, our goal at the end of the day at the end of the day support our viewers and to make people happy to make people happy you came to my stream and you spent 10 hours watching my streams at least you can you can get something back you know you can go home with something in your hands you can get some loot for some games, I don't know. Could be Space Lords, could be Quake Champions, could be whatever game you, you want to play, you know. It does, it does the reason behind it. That is the reason behind it. That is the reason behind the people's support. Our viewers. Many streamers do it, but I believe we're doing over here pretty good, you know. Come over here, watch the stream, get something. That's what it is. That's it's all about. It's all about you can get your stuff. Because we, we see we see all the time the gamers struggling to get stuff. Sometimes people do give it away, stuff like that. It's like, oh, follow this, follow that. Follow all my social medias. <laughs> like over here, like over there. You know, send me a picture. You know, stuff like that. Like, I put this game in your wish list. It's like, it's like a mini game. They have like a quest <laughs> to get stuff like that. You know? And I don't agree with it. If you want to give something to somebody, you just give it to the people, you know. The only reason I have the, the 200 or the, or the 100 points over there, the only reason we have that is to, is to make sure we can serve everybody. That's the only reason, you know. It's to make sure we can serve everybody. But let me tell you, when we begin giving cards, I'm gonna tell you how it was. You came to the stream, you say hi. If you are the first guy saying hi in the stream, you get a card. That's what. That's how it was back in the days. <laughs> we don't have no interest at all. We don't have no interest at all to make it difficult or to make it like a freaking quest. We just wanna give the stuff. But when you have 20 people, 30 people together, they wanna give it, wanna get something, you have to use the systems, unfortunately. Unfortunately, you have to do the pointing, or, you know. But I'm never gonna do like, follow all my social medias and 
and give and bring me a picture and put some game in the wish list. Nothing like that. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna make it difficult like that. You know? I wanna make it a system. I'm gonna always go for systems that are easy to use. They are realistic. You know, realistic because they sometimes they got they got these systems. People has these things like a they not gonna, they don't even gonna give you nothing if you follow all the social medias and stuff. They are not even gonna give you nothing. If this is the chance to gain a raffle. You know what I'm talking about? It's like a chance to participate in some raffle that maybe you're not gonna get nothing. It's like a they just caught one one time, come second time, and then they give you no opportunity at all to get nothing. <laughs> you know, it's like it's, it can it kind of feel a scam. It's, it's a scam basically. Making sure you you follow everybody, it's kind of scam. It's, I don't work like that, man. I don't work like that. You came over here, you watch my stream, you're gonna get caught. That's it. <laughs> Guarantee. Gonna that's it. That, that's that's the thing I don't understand. Many streamers, many people, many companies, companies, companies are supposed to be doing that. Companies are supposed to, I got a hundred bucks, and give it to the people. They they're not gonna get they're not gonna get they're not gonna get broke for that. Take a hundred bucks, couple hundred bucks, and give it to the people. That's it. You're not supposed to be like uh, telling everybody to follow all your social medias. See, the people see value in what you do. See, people see value in what you do. If they want you to keep pressing in their life, they're going to follow you. They're going to follow you. You know, they're going to follow follow all your social medias. See, they see value in you. I don't want people to follow me because I'm telling them to follow. I don't want people to to watch my streams just because I'm kind of kind of uh, uh, telling them to do it. See, people see value in what you do. They're going to follow you. You know, organically, organically, you know how to tell it, you know, you know, man, sometimes you can explain, you explain, I don't know if you was early today, but we are doing seven hours, eight minutes uh, uh, right now, seven hours in the stream right now, I didn't, I didn't say the, the, the word follow to anybody, you know, sometimes you go to other people's streamers, if they, People don't forget to follow and subscribe, like all the time, you know. Or oh, they got something in the screen that te that remind you. It's good to remind to the people, you know. It's good to remind to the people. I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disagree a hundred percent because sometimes they watching your streams, and they forget to follow. That happens to me too. Sometimes I was watching. At uh, one time, I was watching a stream. Pretty good, having a good time. It what happened? He finished. I didn't get the name. I didn't follow him. That guy lost. That guy get lost. I lost that guy. I lost that, that streamer forever. I said, man, I was having so much fun with that guy. I lost the the channel and everything. But I was so focused on the stream. I was so focused on the stream that I forget the follow and everything. I thought I, I did it. No, I lost the, the streamer. Couldn't couldn't get it. No. Never ever, man. I come to Twitch, I go to the main channel, and I cannot follow. I don't know if he, every time I try to look for him, it was a long time ago too, so I don't know. I don't even know if he's streaming anymore. It, it wasn't a, a, it wasn't a, he wasn't a, a famous guy either, you know? It was like a small streamer doing pretty good, having a lot of fun. He, I lost it. You know, so I'm not gonna disagree 100 percent. You know, but I'm gonna disagree in a, maybe in a 60 percent. You know, I'm gonna give it a 40 percent. You know, I'm gonna disagree in 60 percent. Why are you gonna disagree in 60 percent? Because what is good, what is good to remember to the people to follow you. It, it, it could be annoying, you know. It could be annoying to tell it to the people to do something. Well, they just wanna when the people just wanna relax, you know, and have fun. You're not supposed to tell them to do stuff. You know, that's that's my philosophy. You come over here, you're not gonna hurt 
people fo follow, subscribe. Do you, do you know what you're gonna hurt? Congratulations on the redemption, the five bucks, the stinky cars, you know, stuff like that. So you ask me about the drawings, I'm gonna tell you this is gonna free for you. This thing is free for you, people. This thing is a book that we are doing. It's an art book that we are doing. You see, with many many characters. I read. I'm gonna put it like that so you know, have a uh, many many pages, many many characters. You know, this is gonna be free for you to download. Look, 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 look. How many? Look, look, look. You know. See, put it, I put it here to go fast because see, I put it like that. It's gonna be, it's gonna take a while. You know, it's a lot of drawings, man. <laughs> a lot of drawings. It's gonna be free for you. So in in my streams, what you get, you get stuff. In my stream, what you get is you get stuff. That's what it is. That's why you, that's why you are here to get stuff. Because that's that's what we live. We let you put stuff. You give stuff to the people. And the people will be happy. That's that's what it, that's what, that's what we believe. That's what we believe. And we try to to get people that think the same way, you know. I see the value. I see the value that on the things that we are doing, and, and maybe. Maybe in the future support in some way, shape or form. Because I'm not gonna tell you how to support me. I'm not gonna tell you you have to support me. Either. All my content is free. All my content is free that you can check it out for free and everything. You don't have to worry about nothing. You know? I'm trying to make sure so you so you wanna make a move. It's because you wanna make a move, you know? It's not because somebody telling you to make a move. This is a, you got the freedom to decide. People have the freedom to decide, you know. At the end of the day, the people, the people are the ones that know how they're gonna consume, consume the content, man. At the end of the day, people are the ones to know about how they're gonna consume the content. And people ask me questions. Don't wait for me to stop talking. I, I have seven hours talking bullshit over here. <laughs> you gonna wait? So you wanna ha wait for me to to stop talking? You are gonna have a hard time because I never stop talking, man. I always have something to say. Always have something to say. So just give me that. Just give me the. Just ask me the question. Just just give me the question to begin to begin eat, eating. To begin eating little bit by little bit. Because that's how we roll over here. That's what we roll over here. Yeah, this is the most consuming. This is the the most time consuming part of the all of this and it's crazy it takes a while for me to It takes a while for me to It takes a while for me to to finish this part. Because it's the most it's the most consuming, time consuming part of the of the whole process. What it, you have to work with the shadows, you have to work with the lights, the textures, you know, it's kind of, kind of complicated part. A lot of zoom in, zoom out to make sure everything looks good, or in a minimum way, look good, you know, because we're not doing the, the we're not going to 
we are not doing justice to the original. You know, we are not doing justice to the original. This is a fan made stuff. We're not trying to be like a a Burroughs. You know, that does uh, amazing stuff. Oh, used to do amazing stuff. But but you know, we're trying to to get like a minimum minimum of the minimum of 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 quality enough to, for you to basically say basically to identify basically yeah it's basically it's not even quality right here we're not, we're not even making quality over here we we're trying to make something that you say oh look this is the titan i believe from Blowbreakers, you know so enough for you to identify the bodies <laughs> basically that's what we do over here. We don't even do injustice to the original. I really the the characters from the records was too amazing, too unique. You know? Every day where you where you gonna find a character like this in any other game? You're not gonna find a character like this. people people are not making that kind that kind of a characters like they for games anymore. With that kind of details and everything, they don't do it. They do it cartoony stuff. They do cartoons. They're not doing this anymore. You know? This photorealistic stuff that you say, wow, this looks like a functional, you know? Functional stuff. People are not doing this anymore. Because it requires knowledge. To do stuff like that requires knowledge. Knowledge that Chris Blasinski at Bosque Production was able to. to to bring into the table, but you you go you go any other on a, any other game out there, if you what you see, cartoony stuff. So you go to the so you go to the Twitches. So you we go to the Twitches. Let me show. You. I, I know I know I spend so much time talking and everything because uh, we don't have a, we don't have a, a talk show anymore. So I have to do my art like a talk show too. So you see, so you go to the Twitches. Almost everything you see is cartoons, you know. You got that cop, that kind of realistic. You got Call of Duty War Zone, kind of realistic, you know. The Last of Us, maybe. But you have, let's say, in the top, maybe Grand Theft Auto, but Grand Theft Auto is like a, kind of cartoony right now at this point. But then, then you see the other things. You see the League of Legends cartoon, Fortnite cartoon, Grand Theft Auto cartoon, basically. It's a cartoon, you know, Valorant cartoon, Minecraft cartoon, Hearthstone cartoon, Dora cartoon, Apex Legends cartoon, Overwatch cartoon, World of Warcraft cartoon, like I do, it's so many cartoon, Yu-Gi-Oh cartoon, so many cartoon, that's, a, that's what people are doing, eh? then you got like a Free Fire, stuff like that, the kind of realistic, Magic the Gathering, Starcraft 2, even, even Starcraft 2 is kind of cartoonish, but it looks like a kind of realistic, right, Warcraft, Warcraft 3, because Warcraft, World of Warcraft is like a super cartoonish. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's like I know everybody's doing a Black Death, so it's kind of realistic. Drawings, Shadowbringers, maybe. Then you see a lot of cartoon, anime, stuff like that, like a, who's bringing it, you know? Almost nobody's bringing it. Sekiro, Sekiro, yeah, it's pretty good. Monster Hunter, maybe, but it's kind of cartoonish too. Gears of War is pretty good. Titanfall 2, you know. You got you got some, but 90% of the games out here that people are playing, the games are coming out. They're coming in this cartoon kind of style. Look at Valorant. Valorant it was like the last game that we got it, right? You look, at it's, it's cartoonish. You know, it's a cartoon kind of game. So, I don't know, man. I don't know the 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 gaming community is supporting many cartoons, man. Either either, either realistic stuff is coming. It's not like let me tell you. Don't get me wrong. I like games that are fun, you know. I like games that are fun, you know. Is it required for you to to make a cartoon to make a fun? Go for it, you know. Maybe we support you pretty good, you know, because Space Lords, even though 
like a, that lady, that lady that I have in my over here, my schedule is from Space Lord. They, she, she looks like a realistic, but it's a cartoon, you know. But she looks realistic, still realistic, you know. I'm playing games that kind of the art style and everything kind of kind of fall into the cartoonish <laughs> ways, you know. I'm not gonna deny. Wow, is, is that late? One thirty, one thirty-one. Oh, people! I believe really, I believe really we're gonna have to to go a little bit faster and call it a day because it's getting super late. Well, yeah, we we are going we're going to the eight-hour mark, eight-hour mark, which is, is is not bad, but it's it's late. It's one thirty-two. We are Monday already, Monday in the morning. So a lot of people are gonna go to work. People going to the bed to sleep. So I cannot be rambling. I cannot be rambling at this time anymore. So let me see if I can up up my my thing is over here and go a little bit faster because it is kind of late. Yeah, people. Even though I'm playing games that kind of kind of go into the cartoonish thing, uh, it's, it still looks realistic, you know. It still re looks realistic. It's still looking like could be, you know, like it would be possible to do something like that. Which is 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 pretty good, you know. You got something that kind of looks realistic, uh, a sci, but it has a hint of of sci-fi, kind of look cartoonish. You know that. I don't want to say they put a lot of more effort because a cartoonish piece could have a lot of effort too. And, you know, it just looks the style is different, but they could have a lot of effort too. You know, I'm not gonna deny, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not against cartoony games. I'm not. I'm not gonna like take the values from those. From those, you know. But we're not getting the the sci-fi realistic, you know, almost almost movie-like kind of kind of games, you know. No movie like kind of games in the set that because a lot of a lot of games has movies now more than ever, but no movie like like a, in the sense of the movies itself is I'm taking up in the sense of the photography the quality you know because Lovecraft but Lovecraft has a pretty awesome characters so they look kind of realistic and everything but the game was the game was super super gameplay heavy. You know, they didn't have like a lot of movie things or anything like that. It was super gameplay heavy. It was more gameplay than anything. You know, but the quality, the photography, the quality in the characters and the photography was pretty awesome. Almost like a movie prop. Yeah, Lovecraft. Almost every single character has like this movie prop kind of thing. You know that you can you can totally do it. You can totally do it with, with no problems because they're using like a uh, realistic belts with buckles and stuff like that, and they're not creating. Those characters are not made with. with there is some characters, maybe Sunshine, but that that suit that Sunshine has, you can totally create in real life. You know, so you know how to create costumes and stuff. You can totally create in real life because it's, it's not that hard. I see pretty similar, a little bit more complex than Sunshine. Made by people already doing cosplays and everything like that. So, I don't see no, you know, I don't see no can be possible. Yeah, we, we have a lack of, we have a, like a, a pretty invasion of cartoonish games right now that it needs to change. That needs to change, man. We got people. I am in the forties. Let me tell you, I am in the forties. I still playing games. So, where is where are my games? You know, there is a lot of people that are in between the forties and fifty playing games. We want our stuff, you know. 
we want our realistic kind of stuff, you know. But something sometimes you need to you need to understand something. There is game out there that trying to be realistic. But they don't get there. You know, Grand Theft Auto in the beginning was very nice. In Grand Theft Auto, it looks pretty awesome. You know, it looks pretty awesome. I'm not gonna say it doesn't look pretty awesome, bro. When, but when, but when you get hit by a car or something, <laughs> that you got to go flying, and you do three, twenty, twenty, twenty flips in the air. They smash the ground, it's still alive. It's like, you don't even know what you're playing anymore, you know? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you die, but sometimes you, you don't die. <laughs> you just, oh, <laughs> you know? It's, it's like a cartoon. It's like a kind of cartoonish. Yeah, they can't fix it. They can't, they can't fix it. They can't, they can't fix it with nothing. Put a hunger, give it hunger, something that the, the the survival games has, you know, it kind of give it the immersion and so a little bit of realism, you know, a hunger bar and water bar, something like that, just like the, just like other games, you know, you give it, you give it something like that. To Grand Theft Auto, you fix it right there, you know. At least that. So you make sure people. So make sure people can survive. Uh, Try to survive, you know. Try to survive. Because right now, in Grand Theft Auto, there is no motivation to go and buy food, you know, or to buy something. I believe the only thing you can buy. In, and, and Grand Theft Auto is like a weapons, that's it. Just say, it's like... The only motivation to... You have in Grand Theft Auto is to buy weapons so you don't get... So you can defend... Maybe defend against the other people that has weapons, it's like... There is no motivation... For almost nothing over there. Yeah, well, why the stores? Why they? Well, we got stores in Grand Theft Auto. I don't even know what they sell in the store. I never went in a store in Grand Theft, in Grand Theft, in Grand Theft Auto. Never went to a store in Grand Theft Auto. I don't even know what is the what they do in the game for real. I don't even know what they do in the game. I know people rob them all the time, rob the stores, and the store has to close something like that, but. For a while, that's it. I don't even know what, what the stores in Grand Theft Auto does. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, Mister Add Troop. Don't worry. Every every single system, every single stuff that we have over here is for you to get the stuff. You know. Uh, it is no. We are not trying to. To, to mislead or, or to make sure people don't get stuff. We are trying to make sure people get stuff, but we had to put those, those system in place so so people can so we can keep doing it. We can keep giving to the people what they what they need. It. You know that's that's basically it. Because back in the days we used to give it to the people when the when the community was smaller, we used to give it to the people like oh you say hi. First, give it, take your car. It was like that back in the days. We had to remove it like that because it was creating problems. It was creating problems for me. It was creating problems for the people. You know, it was a. It looks like a. At some point, some people figured it out how to get cars all the time. <laughs> if they were getting the cars all the time, you know. So now nobody fight for the car. That's another aspect. That was back in the days, like people was fighting for the car, like somebody get it, that's it. So one, not because they want to fight, not because they really fight, it's because the, see you get a car, it was like a one car every day, 
No, no every day, every weekend, I believe, it was like a one car every week. And so you get a car, that's it. Nobody else can take it. It was a one car for a strength. So if somebody get a car, that's it. So can I, can I put the other people that didn't get the car in a situation where, oh man, I'm not going to get the car never in my life. Yeah, at those, in those times, it was a lot of people not getting no cars. It was like a, almost the same guy getting the car. You know? And it was nice until I, I put the, the loot system. There was another guy only getting the car because it was the only guy willing to do the loot. I remember. It, it was good. And it was good, but I see that like, a, oh man, it's only one guy doing it. Uh, the, the car thing, the car thing, I, I, I always see it like a something that anybody can get it, you know, until I get the idea to have it, to do it with the points. Because with the points, nobody fight, nobody fight for for nothing. It's like, come to watch the streams, you get the points, and you get the card anytime you want it. Anytime you, you want to redeem it, you get the card. You don't have to wait for nobody, you don't have to compete against nobody. It was the system, you know, it was the system that really, it was the system that really I saw that it gonna be working in the channel. Well, but I believe I will really finish this. I really will finish this. Can I look kind of simple? Because they, maybe I'm gonna retouch some stuff. Maybe in the face. Yeah, maybe in the face. Let me see if I can do some retouching. But I know I'm planning to to stay a lot because unfortunately I had to go. But but the 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 face thing I do it basically on purpose, you know, because I don't like to be touching the face all the time. Yeah, I don't like to be touching. Because you can mess it out the face. The face faces are very delicate. If you retouch a lot, you try to fix a lot of stuff, you can you can destroy the face. It does, you know I don't want that to happen, you know. Yeah, the Titan was a guy that when the he had a skin, he had a skin that with the rem, the face removed. He's ugly. He's an ugly guy. He's a guy that you don't want to be close to. But he's not ugly because he's ugly. It's because the the, the all the marks in the face. He got like a kind of Freddy Krueger kind of look into it because of the mask that he using. That mask is no it's no a, a mask. It's a it's a de device, electrical device, to make make sure he he don't escape from police. It's like a cuff for the head. So yeah, it's just a, like a torture torture device kind of thing. Yeah, pretty gruesome stuff. Um, yeah, it's not part of his. It's not. It's not part of the or his uh, life or anything like that. It's, it's, it's something that the police put in the f in the head to to control him because he's like a it's not a normal human it's it's, it's enhanced it's a hands human he become giant it's just like a Hulk it's kind of Hulky because he become giant like a Hulk and and tiny like a person yeah something like that yeah any any other thing that, that maybe could fix in the future is gonna be when I do the second pass but I, li I, li I believe it's, it's looking pretty good one thing that I'm gonna do is to put in the in the art book right away something that we do always do to make sure we don't miss out you know we don't miss out from the to put in the in the book it's one of the things that we do. 
I always do it off camera, you know, that what we do over here, maybe you're not able to see it, but you're gonna see the, the result before before we leave and you're gonna see the the final results. But the time is up for me. I have to be close to the streams. You can stay there because I'm gonna take like a maybe half an hour more, yeah, maybe half an hour, fifty minutes to close the stream because we just don't close the stream, it's a process over here. Yeah, over here it's a process, it's not just, it's not me just saying bye bye, and, you know. I don't like, I kind of feel, if I do it like that, I kind of feel like uh, I'm closing the door in the people's faces, I don't like, I don't like to do that, I like to give a proper bye bye to the people, you know, that's what, that's what I do. So don't worry, you can stay there until like until everything is done. Until everything is done. Let me see if I can yeah, grab the duplicate duplicate some pages. Don't worry you, I'm gonna show you, so don't go anywhere. Duplicate some pages out here. Duplicate some pages out there. So many pages, man. We got fifty something. This is gonna, this this book is gonna have a hundred, hundreds of pages, man. This book. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is pretty awesome stuff, man. Pretty awesome stuff. Let me see, Titan. Titan. Pretty awesome stuff, man. This this is the soundtrack from Cabal Online, man. That game has a like a the only modes that are playing Cabal Online has like a, the best soundtrack ever. If that game is old. <laughs> that game is super old. It has like a, the best music, man. It is crazy how they how they achieve that kind of awesomeness. And the animation of the game is still looking good, you know. It's still pretty awesome. The attacks and everything. I want to do a long string of Cabal to show you more stuff at some point. Because Cabal Online is a game that is going to be available on Steam until July 15. After that, no more Cabal Online on Steam. But you can go directly to the uh, website and download it. Because the game is it's a free MMO. It's a, Kore a Korean MMO, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's a Korean MMO. But everything, the they, they drawings, everything is super good, man. Super good. I can show you something from the from here. Let me see. Oh, well, that's a problem, man. I, I, I begin to talk and show his stuff. I never, I never finish the, the streams. And, you know, look at the look at the graphics, man. The graphics are pretty awesome. You know, the the characters and everything. It is pretty nice. The characters in the game too, in the in the te in the game. You know, they take an account it's our old game, but you can see how how cool they look like. You know, the faces, the faces. It, it caught my attention. The faces, the faces are the nice faces ever. They put so much emphasis in their faces. The faces are pretty good. You know? They got pretty nice faces. Almost every single memo, the faces like you don't understand what's going on. But they 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 really do beautiful faces, man. Look at the lady. Beautiful face. Every single character has like a this beautiful face going on. Yeah, yeah, they, they did a pretty good job. They did a pretty good job. It's like, a, okay, you say, you maybe say, oh, it's an anime. The anime is like that. No, no, anime is like that, bro. This one has like a detail, you know. You can see the lights, the shadows, you know, the smoky eyes, and everything has detail. It, it's not like a random detail. People that is making the faces for the for the for the art of Cabal Online, they know how to about makeup they know about the, the face it's not like they do it pretty good and let me tell you faces are difficult to do hard it's one of the hardest things 
hands and faces are like a, the, the hardest thing to do in, in, in games and stuff. But the, 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 the guy that is working, do you know who, who is the, who's doing pretty awesome stuff the, from the MMO, the Magna Carta, Magna Carta and the I be Soul and Blade, it is the same guy. That guy knows how to do. But he, he does bodies more better than, than, than faces. Faces, they do good faces. I'm not going to say no, but the body is the, where he like uh, put more uh, more energy into it. Kind of kinda looks like. Yeah, but it's hard to see an anime like that. They don't, they don't do it something like that. The companies that do... Companies that do games, that do the CGI stuff, they should do like uh, anime stuff because they they're doing pretty good in characters. But the people that do anime, they don't do pretty good characters. The characters of anime right now, anime is pretty bad. Back in the days, it was pretty good, but now it's like a no way, you know. <laughs> no way we are gonna are gonna sit down to watch stuff that they don't they don't. They don't put in a lot of effort. Yeah, let's see if I can download this thing to show you. I already put it in the in the art book. I already put it in the art book. Yeah, once it download, I refresh over here. Refresh and refresh. And when we go down, ba -ba, we got the Titan class in the page with the Titan stuff. Pretty good. Pretty awesome. People, I'm going to take one minute, one minute. When we come back, we are going to say thank you to everybody and, and say thank you to the hosting. So don't go anywhere. So you want to be part of the raid too. We are going to raise somebody to love us. So don't go anywhere. We are coming back. We are coming back. We are a little bit more. We are a little bit more. Not a lot of more, but we are a little bit more.
Yeah, people are pretty awesome, pretty nice. We are come back to finish the, our string of low breakers for an hour today. We see it's pretty nice, pretty awesome stuff that we're doing every single Sunday. As you can see, we were working with the Titan class, Cronus, which is one of the best characters in the game, in my opinion. I didn't play with him, but my friends that was playing with him, Kajaj Zegido, a pretty awesome, pretty awesome uh, supporter of this, these streams. He basically my only subscriber for a long, long time ago, two years and two months. He was playing with him with the Titan, killing everybody without mercy, which is pretty nice. And it was a lot of fun. I played a few times with the Titan, it was super fun to play with too, because you can demise the enemy without mercy. Pretty fast, pretty quick. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, people, I'm gonna say thank you to everybody that was in the stream today. I'm gonna say thank you too. Let me check it out my sound. Thank you too. Let me check it out my sound. <laughs> yeah, because and to make sure everything is working. Uh, I wanna say thank you to AC2020, thank you for coming to the stream. I wanna say thank you to Cody Joker, thank you for coming to the stream and thank you for the host. I'm gonna say thank you to Hyde Park Corner, thank you for coming to the streams. Belushi, thank you for coming to the streams. Buzz Lightyear, thank you for coming to the streams. I wanna say thank you to Loa Dude, thank you for coming to the stream. I wanna say thank you to Watch It 305, Watch It 305, thank you. Thank you for coming to the streams. I'm gonna say thank you to NBA 2016. Thank you for coming to the stream. I'm gonna say thank you to Second Name. Second Name, thank you for coming to the streams. That was pretty awesome to have you here. To have you here. I'm gonna say thank you to Demonic Eddie Judge. Demonic Eddie Judge, thank you for coming to the stream. That was pretty nice. Pretty awesome. I wanna say thank you to I love Puffers. I love Puffers. Thank you for coming to the streams too. That was pretty nice. Alpha Canty TV. Alpha Alpha Canty TV. Thank you for coming to the streams. I wanna say thank you to Al Truck. Al Truck. Thank you for coming to the streams. Pretty nice. Pretty awesome. Yeah, people. Thank you to everybody that for was on the streams. That was pretty awesome to have you here. You know. Remember, so you wanna know more about the stuff that I do. Don't forget to follow my my Twitter. Pretty awesome place to know about all the all the things that I do. You wanna know more about the the cars, about the streams? Check it out the my Twitters, you know. Don't forget to check it out the Outrage Twitter. Pretty awesome place to know about all the things about all the things about the awesome application that we are using to create. The pages for Love Records Fan Artbook. Highly recommend it. You know, don't forget to follow the Walk on Tablet Tutus. Walk on Tablet Tutus, which is a very awesome device that we are using to create the pages for our Love Records Fan Artbooks. Pretty nice, pretty awesome device. Highly quality, quality product, man, peoples. Quality products. People, don't forget to follow the Love Records Fan Artbook. Uh, Fan Artbook, no, Love Records Twitter. <laughs> Which is the Twitter for the already closed game, you know, where we we doing the cuts for the from the low breakers. We are doing the cuts for the uh, low breakers artbook, you know. Check it out. It's pretty nice, pretty awesome. All the weapons the cut is using. This is the Conslinger Alpha and Omega, you know, the Alpha the Omega gun and the Alpha Alpha gun, which is pretty nice. Which is pretty good. And people talking and everything that. Yeah. It's pretty awesome stuff. So don't miss out. Don't do, 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 do miss out. Don't miss out. It's pretty nice. <coughs> people, remember to say thank you to House again. I'm pretty awesome dude. Supporting my stream for 26 months in a row. 20 months, 26 months in a row. House again is a pretty awesome dude. We're talking about two years and two months, people. You know, since the beginning of my streams, he is still. Since the days of low breakers, he says still supporting my stream, which is pretty nice, pretty awesome, pretty good. And don't forget to say thank you to him. He has been a pretty awesome help for my channel. People, this is our streams. 
We're coming back Tuesday, June 23 at 2.30 a.m. USA is time, people. USA is time. You know, Google it. USA is time. You know, 2.30 a.m. USA is, is time. And they're going to tell you the, the, the time in your country or in your area. You know, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, don't forget to comment because uh, it's going to be another opportunity to get more points. You know, get more points so you can get more, more, more cars and more stuff. You know, yeah. People, see, see, you have points for the cars. Now is your opportunity to redeem your cars before I leave because you're not gonna be able to redeem it after I leave. People, 200 points, 200 points for the cars. That's it. 200 points. You don't have to do more than that. Maybe, maybe next month. We're gonna check it out to see when I wanna to see if we're gonna keep it 200 or or we're gonna raise a little bit into 300 points maybe maybe it's not sh I'm not sure you know we had to check it out first we had to check it out first because we don't wanna we don't wanna raise the price of the car but we don't wanna break the bank either you know break the bank either so. I, I believe I believe we are good in 200 you know but we have to check it out maybe it's unlikely that we will raise the price unlikely you know all depends all depends yeah people we were doing the the lowercase fan album which are pretty nice pretty awesome stuff and now I want to take a couple minutes to say thank you to the people that was hosting my streams basically giving me free advertisement without mercy to the channel, bringing more people all the time, you know, spreading the word about my channel and bringing more people to the streams. So I'm gonna say thank you to Ranging Spank. Thank you for the host. Thank you for the spread the word about my channel and bringing more people to the streams. I'm gonna say thank you to Medical X. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate it. It is pretty nice, pretty awesome. I'm gonna say thank you to Coyote Joker. Howdy Joker, thank you for giving me free advertisement without mercy. It is pretty nice, pretty awesome. Keep it up. I'm gonna say thank you to Sufficient Geometry. Sufficient Geometry, thank you for spreading the word about my channel and bringing more people to the streams. I'm gonna say thank you to Jello Blade. Jello Blade, thank you for your support. Thank you for the host. It's pretty nice, pretty awesome. Keep it up. I'm gonna say thank you to Eremit. 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 Eremit, yeah. Thank you for the host. Thank you for the spread the word about my channel and bringing people to the streams. I want to say thank you to Hasagidin. 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 Thank you for the for giving me free advertisement without mercy. Really appreciate it. It's pretty nice. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. I want to say thank you to Fossy Panda Sacks. Fossy Panda Sacks. Thank you for the, for your support. Thank you for all the things you do. Really appreciate it. I want to say thank you to the one you from PSN. Pray also on the Space Lords, Space Lords players, you know. Thank you for your support, thank you for all the things you do. Really appreciate it. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. I'm gonna say thank you to Station 6. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the host. Thank you for the spread the bar about my channel. I'm bringing the people. I'm bringing the people to the streams. I really appreciate it. Demonic Kitty, yeah. Demonic Kitty was today over here, yeah. Demonic Kitty Joe was today over here. I'm gonna say thank you for your support. Thank you for all the things you do. I really appreciate it. Keep it up, man. Really, really, really makes me happy. I'm gonna say thank you to Limet. Thank you for for the spread the word about my channel, bringing people to the streams. I really appreciate it. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna say thank you, White Lightning. White Lightning, thank you for the hose. Thank you for giving me free advertisement without mercy. It is pretty nice, pretty awesome. Skip it up, man. Talkers. Talkers all the time. Support him straight with the hose. Talkers. But I don't, I don't know why he's not coming. I don't know why he's not getting cards. Yeah, Talkers, thank you for, for the support. Thank you for all the things you do. Really appreciate it. AC80, we were, we were talking today. We talk about AC80. Assassin lady with assassin lady killing everybody without mercy. Yeah, he's a guy, but he was using the assassin lady in low breakers to kill everybody without mercy, which is pretty nice. Thank you for the host, thank you for all the things you do, really appreciate it. I'm gonna say thank you to Girl Dagger Heart, Girl Dagger Heart, thank you for the host, thank you for spreading the word about my channel, bringing people to the stream. Skip it up, man. 
really keep it. I'm gonna say thank you to Sorceress. Sorceress, thank you for the host. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate it. It's pretty nice, pretty awesome to have you here supporting my streams without mercy. I'm gonna say thank you to Golden Freeman. Golden Freeman, thank you for the host. Thank you for the spread the word about my channel. I'm bringing people to the stream. Keep it up, man. Really appreciate it. SPS Frost. SPS Frost. SPS Frost. Thank you for the host. Thank you for all the things you do. Thank you for your support. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to, to, to give it the raid, man. Give it the raid one day. But I don't know. People change their schedule all the time. Yeah, you brand new hater. Thank you for the host. Thank you for the spread the word about my channel. Bring on people to the stream. You new brand new hater. Really appreciate it. Your support. It's pretty nice, pretty awesome. People, we are gonna raise somebody. We are gonna raise somebody. So don't miss don't don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We are gonna check it out to see which peoples which peoples we are gonna raise. No, we are gonna check it out to see which peoples we are gonna raid. You know, so we can go together. We can go together for the raid. So you wanna put little things in the screen for the raid? You can use this. You know, so you can raid in the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> in the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, uh, yeah. You don't need to be subscribed for those. Those are default. Twitch channel stuff. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, this guy is pretty good supporting. Let me check it out. We did the other guy already. Is Alpha Khan? Alpha Khan is, 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 is a streamer? Let me see. No, he's not streaming. He, he cannot finish streaming. He's like uh, hosting somebody. Yeah, he's, he's hosting. So he's not streaming. Um, let me check it out. See this guy, this guy. That lady, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna host that lady to uh, raid that lady at some point. This guy, this guy is pretty awesome, but I did it the other day. This guy, which is the dead? I did it the other day. This person, I have to, I have to, I have to. I have to, I have to. I did it the other day. Did it the other day, did it the day, did it the day, did it the day, did it the day. Yeah. That guy said, did it the day. He wasn't streaming, he was like doing nothing in there. And the thing is, yeah, I'm gonna do this guy because this guy was, I really jested in the streams. Pretty awesome dude. Pretty busy too. Yeah, we're gonna go in for the. It's pretty fun. This guy is pretty fun. Yeah. People, we are gonna raid Jaden. Jaden Ray is. He changed the name. That's that. I don't believe it's good to do it. We are raiding this guy because you can lose. You can lose people. You know. I was super confusing when he changed the name. Yeah, I had to go to the Twitch, to the to the Twitter to see if he's the guy that was supporting. It was in fact the guy I was supporting, but but it's kind of risky move to change name, man. Yeah, people. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your support. We coming Tuesday. We coming Tuesday uh, at two thirty. Yeah, at two thirty is gonna be a pretty awesome, awesome. Two thirty is gonna be a pretty awesome. Well, it's not like it's gonna be a pretty awesome. It's, it's the time I can do it. <laughs> uh, thanks for your support. We coming Tuesday at two thirty a.m. You say it's time, you know. You say it's time, so don't miss out, people. It's gonna be pretty nice. We are not the strings. We are not the strings. Yeah, one thing I'm gonna say is like, if you wanna participate, Ray, stay in the chat. You know, we're gonna put a trailer, then we're gonna go with the Ray. 
so don't go anywhere just stay there we are gonna go together to support uh, the Raiden Reyes, Raiden Reyes, which is a pretty awesome dude, you know. So you wanna, so you wanna support there, you know. Stay a couple minutes, you know. Don't just go after after a couple seconds. Stay with that a couple minutes. Give it, give it five minutes. Give it ten minutes to the guy, you know. So we can make the difference. So we can make a difference, make somebody happy. Because if you go over there, you just go right out of the way. You know, so you have something important to do, you can do it. You know, but if you can help, please help. You know, to support the guy. I'm gonna be there like a one or two hours. So I know I know expect you to do the same, but at least give it give it some some couple minutes. You know, couple minutes. So thank you for your support. Thank you for everything you do to me. Thank you for all the things that you do. And see you uh, Tuesday. We are on the stream. So gonna say bye bye. Hannah Artificial Intelligence initialized. Roll analysis. Titan. Bombshell. Well, that was more fun than Mardi Gras. Born into a life of crime and hardship, Bombshell used her street fighting skills to eventually become a celebrated MMA fighter. Growing tired of a self-serving lifestyle, she found inspiration in helping the greater good by joining the task. Searching. Kronos. Your pain was my pleasure! As a sadistic killer, Kronos' savagery is legend in the lifers community. Grid search. Reason for initial incarceration has been redacted. He recently escaped prison with Baron, gaining notoriety with other criminal organizations outside of just the lifers. He is considered armed and extremely dangerous. Beginning Titan Combat Evaluation. The Titan is best at drawing aggression and disrupting the battlefield. Most effective in close to medium range and damage to multiple enemies at once. Titan's primary weapon is the Hammerhead Rocket Launcher. Loaded with airburst rockets, these projectiles can be remote detonated mid-flight if the trajectory is not favorable. Rocket jumping and blind firing in low gravity scenarios can provide increased movement speed. Additional weapons found. The CRISPR Lightning Cannon is fueled by electric energy that is practical to deploy during close quarter or zero-G combat scenarios. Damages primary target and can change a nearby assailants. Favorable defensive tactics include the Neutron Mine. This device creates a dense field of gravity when detonated, slowing down enemies within its immediate zone. Best armed near a captured objective. To decrease distance from targets, the Titan can activate inner kinetic energy to perform a powerful leap that sends out a shockwave of damaging electricity on impact. Secondary application is a brief slowdown to those in the impact zone. A feat of instant death for any other human, the Titan's berserk is extraordinary. The grid is currently unable to calculate the amount of electric energy produced, as the Titan can focus this energy as a weapon. Additional curiosity, this exercise is so extreme, it enlarges the subjects in both size and health. Scientific anomaly noted. Evaluation summary. The Titan excels in disruptive combat and snare tactics, and can inflict high levels of damage in a short amount of time. Also, the Berserk ability is just unbelievable. Even by grid standards. Trust me, I've seen it all. Analysis complete. Uploading data to the grid. Hannah out.